Spooky 2 User's Guide June 3, 2015 by David Burke Table of Contents Before we begin 1 Important Advice 2 System Requirements 2 What you get 3 What's new for the Spooky 2 Rife System 5 Making Connections 7 Spooky Remote 10 Spooky Tube Electrodes 11 Standard Electrode 13 Plasma Units 13 Installing the Software 14 Installing a Beta Slash exe 40 installing a database 43 windows warnings 45 testing and configuration 46 spooky boost and remote mnbn 46 original remote and direct connect 48 treatment choices point four nine click on chapter title to go there click on back to contents at the bottom of each page to return here remote mode 54 contact mode 55 plasma mode 56 ok let's rife 57 jw killing 75 jw Healing 76 TH, Killing Healing 77 Spooky Spectrum Sweep 78 Spooky Converge Sweep 79 Morgellon Slime Molds Sweep 80 Remote and Contact Modes 81 Spooky Boost and Dual Remotes 86 Foot Plates and Tens Pads 91 Inverse Plus Sync 95 The Spooky 2 Interface 107 Menu Bar 108 File Menu 109 Create Frequency Set 111 Create Spectrum Sweep 116 Click on Chapter Title to go there, click on Back to Contents at the bottom of each page to return here Database Menu 118 Edit in Notepad 119 Global Menu 123 Online Menu 124 Utiles Menu 126 Advanced Menu 128 Help Menu 131 Conditions and Database 132 Program Options Pane 134 channels and user data web 142 status bar 145 channel control panel 146 biofeedback scanning 152 wobbles and feathering 160 waveform and frequency 164 waveform and offset 170 duty cycle 172 understanding spooky remote 174 remote and frequency 175 click on chapter title to go there Click on back to contents at the bottom of each page to return here remote. An amplitude 177 remote and waveform 177 understanding spectrum 182 formulas 185 multi leonid spooky 2 186 Clark Zapper 186 pests and molds 188 how the universe works 190 speed, space and time 194 how life works 195 appendix A, terrain 198 appendix B. Spectrum Story 200 Appendix C, Making Waves 210 Appendix D, Serial Numbers 217 Thanks and Acknowledgements 218 Precautions for Users 219 Legal Notice and Disclaimer 220 Spooky 2 Software License 221 Click on Chapter Title to go there, click on Back to Contents at the bottom of each page to return here before we begin. Welcome to the new Spooky 2 Users Guide. This replaces both the 101 user's guide and the manual, and takes the reader from setting up and testing a new Spooky 2 rig correctly to loading, running, and saving programs. We also examine Spooky 2's interface, explain the controls in plain language, and show how they can be used for maximum benefit. The guide has also been completely restructured. Practice now comes first, so that you can put Spooky 2 to use straight away. Then we dive deeper into the controls and underpinnings of the system. Next, we show you how Rife and Spooky 2 actually work, getting to grips with this is essential for effective program design. We also deal with other ways you can use Spooky 2 for health and home. Finally, we look at the big picture, the mind-blowing quantum laws that underlie our physical universe, how they dictate our lives and health, and how they relate to Spooky 2. However, the most important change of all must come from you, the Spooky2 user. Despite the personal time and effort that went into creating the first edition of this guide and the Spooky2 manual, I found that many people didn't read them, and asked a question on the Spooky2 form instead. In some cases, this is due to illness, but in too many, let's be honest here, it's laziness. Answering such questions is a huge drain on Spooky team resources. So, since this guide is now encyclopedic in scope, we expect you to play your part, and read it. In future, forum questions already fully answered by this guide will not receive a team response unless we're aware of extenuating the circumstances. Knowledge is power, but gaining it takes time and effort, viewers. 
Unusually, my name appears on the front cover because I alone am responsible for all its contents, and the opinions and experiences recorded herein are mine alone, expressed on my own behalf and not that of any other member of the Spooky team although it's all been checked by John White for technical accuracy. So far, what I laughingly call government still allows me the basic human right of free speech. Now take control. And I salute you all with Goan Ari and Bothar Leet. Irish Gaelic meaning may your road rise with you. David Burke, December 2014 Back to Contents 1 Important Advice 4H Don't touch the generator controls unless you know what you're doing or you're being guided by tech support. The spooky to rife system is designed to be totally controlled by the software. 4H Drink pure water, lots of it. Ideally, you should drink from 6 to 8 pints daily, half of it before noon. This does two very important things, it flushes toxins and dead organisms out of your body quicker, and it improves your electrical conductivity. HD Don't keep your spooky 2 rig in your bedroom or general living area, the magnetic spooky remotes are so powerful that they sing when they're running frequencies in the human audio range. And it will eventually drive you crazy. If you can't put it into an unused room or space, Line a cardboard box with foam or polystyrene and append it over the remote S. HI The Spooky Spectrum Sweep and Spooky Converge Sweep are intended for use only in the absence of a reliable diagnosis, not as a general panacea. Both these sweeps will kill all bacteria, pathogenic and beneficial. Prolonged continuous use may damage the immune system unless you supplement with natural probiotics using fermented foods such as sauerkraut, kefir dairy and or water, kimchi, pickles, and the like. In no case other than an emergency should either of these sweeps be used continuously for more than 4-5 days. System Requirements PC, Spooky 2 was originally designed for use with Windows XP, but it also runs perfectly on Windows 7 and Windows 8 and 8.1. USB 2.0 or greater is required for frequency generator connectivity. Mac Linux, regretfully, there are no native Mac or Linux versions. We recommend you pick up a pre-owned Windows PC and dedicate it to Spooky 2. These can usually be bought for a very modest price. Since many of you will wish to try experiments with long run times, this may be a good idea anyway. Alternatively, you can use Bootcamp to create a Windows partition, or purchase virtualization software. You can download our helpful Spooky 2 Inches Linux or Mac PDF guide here under Useful Documents. Back to Contents 2 What you get Spooky 2-5M Generator built from high quality components and optimized for Spooky 2. Unique Wave Cycle Multiplication enables frequencies up to 25 MHz. 2 Damped Wave from Square and Sinusoidal with Configutable Decay Oscillations. Brand new H-bomb waveform both square and sinusoidal, plus BXBY cancer, square harmonic, and Lily spectral processing can transmit up to 1024 frequencies simultaneously with uniform amplitude. High voltage multiple spike injection into all waveforms to increase effectiveness. Enhanced signal gate control. Software amplitude, offset, and phase angle control. Auto calibration, no adjustment necessary. Dual Configutable Amplitude and Frequency Wobble Systems Selectable Wobble Functions Configutable Automatic Frequency Transposition Up or Down Direct Entry of Light Wavelength in the Database Randomized Gate Global Controls for Multi-Generator Rigs Global Pause Scheduling Windows 32 and 64-bit Support with Auto Detection for Driver Installation Internet controls to update the database online. Database editor. Improved multiple subject handling. Auto resizing supports all screen sizes. Biofeedback spooky pulse accessory to detect MORs and yes no body responses. Program preset save and restore, including frequency set S, waveform S, and all settings. Download spooky to here. Visit the Spooky2 website to see full-size versions of main screen graphics contained in this guide. Back to Contents 3 What's new here's what's new in Spooky2 03062015 June 3rd 2015, 
Spooky 2020620015 June 2, 2015, and Spooky 2010620015 June 1, 2015, new, facility to wrap amplitude up and down at program start and frequency changes soft start. HI new, warning alert a spooky pulse is not detected and a biofeedback scan is initiated. Improved, further speed increases. Pound improved. Increased size of value field for spectrum to allow greater decimal accuracy. 4. Improved, minimum allowable refresh rate is now 0.1 Hz, not 1 Hz. Pound improved, reverse lookup now uses octal harmonics when matching frequencies above 5 mHz. HI improved, removed restrictions on maximum frequency and frequency limits. Improved, O Hz now allowed as a valid frequency in manual reverse lookup. Pound improved, increased text field sizes so the text is no longer truncated for certain screen resolutions. Improved, camera shutter sound added to screen's capture facility. Pound fixed, unsupported DTR handshaking removed. This fixes delay issues. 4. Fixed, code for reading configuration files on version installs corrected. Fixed, synchronization in Spike Plus Sync. HI fixed. Saving of database file path. Fixed, serious bug where Spooky2 failed to load newly created waveforms, causing problems with the May release. Pound fixed, code changes to increase speed, plus other fixes and optimizations. 4. Reinstated, Spooky2 Tahoma font install. Pound changed, screen captures, USB log, system log, and email logs now written to data directory. June 3, 2015 Back to contents for the Spooky2 Rife system Here are the components that make up a basic Spooky2 Rife system. All of these, and much more, are available only from here. Spooky2-5M Generator While the Spooky2 software is the brain that controls the system, this generator provides the muscle. It comes with power supply connector cable, USB cable, and a BNC to alligator clips cable which is used to connect a pair of spooky tubes. Spooky tube electrodes, used for contact treatment. They are connected using the BNC to alligator clips cable that comes with your generator. An extended cable is also available. For hands-free contact sessions, you can use TENS pads and a TENS cable instead, also available from the website linked above. Spooky Remote VIL 1 MN and BN used for remote treatment. The Magnetic North version black pad is best for killing pathogens, but is not generally recommended for long-term use. The Biomagnetic North version white pad is best for healing and regeneration. Both models come with a short BNC connector cable. Spooky Boost, this clever signal mixing cable can quadruple the power of contact mode, and double the power of remote. How it's connected to the generator depends on which model Spooky Remote you use. The connectors are color-coded for ease of use. This cable is essential for some of Spooky2's most powerful features. Back to Contents 5 Warning. To use the Spooky2 Rife system safely, UMUST, always connect your Spooky2 XM frequency generator to an electrical outlet before attempting to use it. Don't use USB only. Pound C never unplug it while in use, always stop and switch it off first. Ensure that plug socket adapters cannot be accidentally kicked or nudged by cleaning vacuuming, small children, or curious pets, causing momentary disconnection. Failure to observe these precautions at all times may result in damage to your generator and will void your warranty. Back to Content 6 Making Connections Let's get your generator S hooked up first. Connecting a Spooky 2-5M, the first essential is power. With the 5M generators, power means electricity from your home's main electricity supply, not from the PC's USB port. While a 5M generator's display will light up when you connect it via USB alone, it's designed to be driven by a normal 120 220th volt wall power supply, otherwise it won't work correctly, and is highly likely to sustain damage. So connect the small connector on one end of the power cord to the socket on the left side of the generator and make sure it's pushed all the way home. Then connect the wall wart transformer plug on the other end of the cord to the wall power socket, 
along with any adapter you may need for your particular country's socket design. If you're connecting multiple 5 milliseconds, you'll need to go to a hardware store and buy one or more surge-proof socket strip extensions that can plug into a single wall socket and provide power for between 4 and 6 devices. Connect each generator to this in turn. As you can see, the unusual orientation of the transformer plug only allows 4 to be connected per 6 socket UK style strip. Back to content 7 now take the USB cable that came with the generator and connect the long boxy end to the socket on the left side of the unit. You need to be careful with this connection because both plug and socket are shaped so that they can only be mated if the plug is presented correctly to the socket. You can see this in the image on the left, the specially shaped plug is on the lower right, closest to the camera. Theoretically, it shouldn't be possible to force the plug into the socket the wrong way round, but we've come across cases where it's happened. And the result is always a burnout data chip in the generator. So care is advised. Connect the other end of the USB cable to your PC, or to a USB hub if you need to connect multiple generators. The one shown on the right is a 4-port non-powered hub, and you can use it to connect up to 4 generators to a single PC USB socket, this looks decent. These hubs can also be daisy-chained, which means you can use one of the sockets on the first hub to connect a second hub to it, giving you 7 USB sockets connected to a single socket on the PC. You can also buy 7 port hubs, even more efficient. I've successfully daisy-chained 5 4-port hubs from 2 PC USB sockets, allowing me to connect 10 5M and 6 UDB generators to my netbook, and still have one socket left over to connect a USB stick. However, because these hubs are non-powered, the UDBs on the end of the daisy chain don't receive enough power from the PC to display the frequencies clearly enough on their front panels to be legible, but they work perfectly. Back to contents port USB 2.0 mini hub 8 substituting a powered 28 port USB hub like this one solves the problem, with more than enough sockets still available to connect an external hard drive and a camera and to extend my spooky 2 rig substantially should I need to. One when I I, L by the way, although it looks like this unit has just 12 sockets, there are actually another 16, 8 along each side that you can't see in this overhead shot and every socket has its own individual power switch and LED status indicator. Connecting a UDB 1108S, this older generator is USB powered, so the only connection required is to your PC hub with the supplied USB cable, no mains. Now we have our generator S, connected, so we'll move on to the Spooky 2 accessories. And we'll start with the Spooky remote. Back to Contents 9 Spooky Remote there are a number of different ways you can connect a Spooky Remote to the generator, and we'll go through them here. The first is by using a Spooky Boost, and its connection to the generator depends on which model remote you're using. Make sure your BNC connections are secure by turning the mode wheel on each plug clockwise to lock it in place. A. Spooky Remote VLLM and with Spooky Boost the two male BNC connectors on your Spooky Boost are color-coded. One is red, and the other is blue. If you look at the generator's two outs, you'll see that out 1 and out 2 are also color-coded, out 1 is red, and out 2 is blue. If you have a spooky remote V1.1MN, connect the red plug of the cable to out 1, and the blue plug to out 2, this connection is red to red, and blue to blue. B. Spooky remote VLLBN with spooky boost if you have a spooky remote VLLBN model. Please do the reverse, connect the Spooky Boost's red plug to OUT2, and the blue plug to OUT1. This is red to blue, and blue to red. If your Spooky Boost is one of the original models without color-coded male BNC connectors, simply plug the two connectors into OUT1 and OUT2 and we'll do the necessary detective work to sort things out later in this process. Back to Contents 10 now you can simply connect your Spooky Remote to the female output socket of the Spooky Boost by using the short cable that came with your remote. Note that you can also connect a set of handheld electrodes to your Spooky Boost. C. Spooky Remote VLLMN or BN Direct Connect If you don't have a Spooky Boost, you can connect your Spooky Remote directly to out one of a 5M generator using the remote cable. Since the UDB1108S generator has just a single out, 
you can't use a spooky boost to connect a remote to it anyway. The image at left shows a UDB1108S with a spooky remote attached. Above is a different way to do it devised by spooky 2 forum member John M. Kane. This dispenses with a remote cable and uses a simple BNC mail-to-mail -mail connector, also called a coupler. Essentially, it's two BNC plugs end-to-end -end with a straight-through connection. These also work fine for the UDB1108S. Like all great ideas, it simplifies and makes things easier, it's tidier, and it's also inexpensive. You can buy them here. Another really cool thing about these connectors is that if you ever need to use two spooky remotes with one 5M generator, you can attach two as shown above, useful if you need to treat large numbers of subjects for the same condition. Back to Contents 11 Spooky Tube Electrodes There are two different ways to connect spooky tubes depending on whether you use spooky boost or not, and they're both very simple. First, connection via spooky boost, A. Spooky tubes with Spooky Boost If you've already configured your Spooky Boost connections to the generator for use with Spooky Remote, you're golden. If not, please follow the directions in the previous section. Then connect the BNC to alligator clips cable that came with your generator to the output of Spooky Boost. B. Spooky tubes direct connect connect the BNC to alligator clips cable that came with your generator to out one of the generator. Then, in both cases A and B above, insert the alligator clips into the holes located at the plastic end of each spooky tube as shown below left. The image below right shows the correct orientation for your spooky tubes. Back to Contents 12 Standard Electrodes Many Spooky 2 users already own electrodes that came with conventional rife machines or zappers which they may wish to use. I'm one, and here's how I do it. Left. Two copper electrodes are attached via cheap standard banana cables to a BNC to dual banana adapter right, available here. The adapter can then be connected to a spooky boost, or to out one of the generator. In all cases when using contact mode, we recommend using spooky boost for deeper body and cell penetration. Plasma units If you purchased a plasma amplifier and tube from Ralph Hartwell, you will already have received instructions from him for using it with Spooky2, so I won't repeat them here. If you're connecting a different plasma setup, it's extremely likely that you know exactly what you're doing because you should if you're attempting this, so I'll wish you luck and leave you to it. Back to Contents 13 Installing the software first, make sure that your rig is properly connected to the PC and turned on. Then double-click the installer. This will have a file in M ending in Setupix. The following series of screens are presented, each of which you must respond to after this one. Note, if you've installed Spooky2 before this, you should leave it in place and choose to overwrite it. This will not affect your own files, and the installation will be easier, more efficient, and foolproof. Language Selection Select Installation Language Afrikaans, Albanian, Arabic, Bulgarian, Chinese, Simplified Chinese, Traditional, Croatian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, Flemish, DUTCHF, Standard, Estonian, Farsi. Next, you'll see this language selection dialog. Choose your installer language from the list, then click OK. Here, the installer is unpacking its files. Confirm 1% I1-1 Confirm a previous copy of Spooky2 is already installed on this PC. Continue setup. Yes no if you previously installed Spooky2, you'll see this screen next. Choose yes to move to the install start screen. If this is your first Spooky2 installation, you'll see the install start screen on the next page instead. Back to contents 14 back next cancel the installer program starts. Click next back to contents 15 license agreement license agreement please read the following license agreement carefully. Press the page down key to see the rest of the agreement. Cancer Clinic NZ Limited hereafter referred to a CCNZ and its directors or shareholders are not responsible for any damage or injuries of any sort or form that may be sustained by any person or persons, any animal, or to any equipment or any other thing or things. The equipment, devices and methods used by CCNZ have not been inspected or approved by any governmental or medical agency or inspection service. No medical claims are made for, nor implied by CCNZ. 
You are advised to always consult with your physician or other health care professional at any time should you have or think you might have a health problem. Please check with your physician or other health care professional before starting any diet, exercise, Takina over the counter OTCO yes minus 1 accept the terms of the license agreement. NO minus 1 DONOT accept the terms of the license agreement. Back next cancel the license agreement. Choose yes minus 1 accept the terms of the license agreement. As shown above. Then click next back to content 16 redum 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 important information if your hardware is not recognized by Spooky please install the drivers manually. Do this by starting Spooky, enabling file slash expert mode, and entering the advanced menu. Plug all your generators into your computer before starting Spooky. Spooky Pulse must plug directly into your computer to operate correctly. Please visit us at Spooky2.com for further assistance. Back next cancel Redum, the Redum screen contains important information. Please read it. Then click next back to content 17 choose destination locate em and choose destination location setup will install spooky2 in the following directory. To install to this directory, dick next. To install to a different directory, dick browse and select another directory. Destination directory browse. See, spooky2 space required on drive, 31.2 megabytes space available on drive. 253,461.7 megabytes back next cancel choose destination location accept the default or click browse to select another then click next back to contents 18 set program shortcuts impound m set program shortcuts setup will add shortcut to the start program menu start program menu spooky 2 back next cancel set program shortcuts the installer adds a shortcut to your windows start menu Click next back to contents 19 confirm setup setting MIAUE confirm setup setting setup has enough information to start copying the program files. If you want to review or change any settings, dig back. Target directory, C, Spooky2 start program menu entry, Spooky2 click next to begin copying files. Back next cancel confirm setup settings. The Spooky2 directory is created and the installer asks you to confirm your settings. Click next back to contents 20 file, WDFI co-installer 01009. DLL folder, C, Spooky2 on CP210 XVCP Windows X64 V Dodge AV cancel copying files, Spooky2 S files are copied to your hard drive. When done, the following screen appears. Back to contents 21 setup complete setup has finished copying files to your computer. Before you can use the program, you must restart your computer. Restart oh yes, I want to restart my computer now. No, I will restart my computer later. Hit finish to complete the setup. Finish setup complete, change the option to no, I will restart my computer later then click finish. Now launch Spooky2 from the Windows Start menu or taskbar. If you're replacing an existing installation of Spooky2, the software will launch as normal. If this is the first time you've installed Spooky2, you'll see the following alert. Back to Contents 22 the alert on the left will appear. Choose Yes to install the driver. Choosing No will cause Spooky2 to enter test mode and you will see 128 virtual generators in its interface. Doing this will not install the driver required for real, physical generators. CP210X USB to UART bridge driver and when you click yes, the driver installer for the Spooky 2-5M generator launches. Click next back to contents 23 CP210X USB to UART bridge driver installer license agreement. Oh I accept this agreement I don't accept this agreement to continue. Accept the following license agreement. To read the entire agreement, use the scroll bar or press the page down key. License agreement Silicon Labs VCP driver important. Read carefully before agreeing to terms. This product contains the Silicon Labs VCP driver and installer programs and other third-party software. Together these products are referred to as the licensed software. Use of the licensed software is subject to the terms of this license save as print back next cancel license agreement, select I accept this agreement. 
Then click next back to contents 24 CP 210X USB to UART bridge driver installer completing the installation of the CP 210X USB to UART bridge driver the drivers were successfully installed on this computer. You can now connect your device to this computer. If your device came with instructions, please read them first. Driver name status v slash silicon laboratory sila. Read or to use finish cancel the driver installation for the spooky 2-5M generator completes. Click finish. Unless you also need to install a driver for the older UDB1108S generator, please restart your PC now. Back to contents 25. Computer. Acer C. Spooky 2. F search Spooky 2 favorite speed desktop pound I downloads recent places libraries Q documents J music B pictures 3 videos hum group computer Acer C, Wintrums D, I.1 Microsoft Office Glee percent network include in library. Share with name CP 210 XV CP Windows data languages new folder E, a copyright date modified March 30, 2015 1642 March 31, 2015 13 to 53 September 27, 2014 17 10 type file folder file folder file folder size PL 2303P row IFIC file folder PL 2303P row 1 FIC D RIV ERLN stud 11 ERVL 80 March 30, 2015 1642 file folder recommended settings March 30, 2015 1642 file folder scan data December 2, 2015 13 to 33 file folder users March 16, 2015 342 file folder waveforms March 30, 2015 1642 file folder pini February 15, 2015 14 to 59 DAT file 1 kilobyte I am compat TLB September 11, 2013 936 TLB file 17 kilobytes error size OCX April 13, 2005 548 ActiveX Control 325 kilobytes and COM DLG 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 14 to 22 ActiveX Control 153 kilobytes CSV ED July 24, 2012 636 Application 1253 kilobytes I percent X May 21, 2012 13 to 22 Compiled HTML 497 kilobytes custom February 15th 2015 1450 CSV file 7 kilobytes custom February 15th 2015 14 to 59 Microsoft Excel C 7 kilobytes 1 I email footer December 5th 2013 2158 text document 1 kilobyte email header May 13th 2013 2032 text document 1 kilobyte English in June 29th 2010 13 21 LNG file 11 kilobytes frequencies September 27th 2014 321 CSV file 600 kilobytes frequencies February 26th 2015 035 Microsoft Excel C 594 kilobytes Mossy 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 14 to 22 Active X Control 211 kilobytes I Scum to OCX February 5, 2012 11 to 17 Active X Control 1046 kilobytes MS MAPI 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 13 to 22 Active X Control 148 kilobytes LJMS VVVM 60 DLL April 14, 2008 13 12 Application Extends 1,353 kilobytes notify June 19, 2013 630 Irfan View WAV file 480 kilobytes since compat TLB September 11, 2013 936 TLB file 23 kilobytes installing a UDB 1108S driver, installation of the driver for the older UDB 1108S generators may be performed manually click on the Windows Start menu and choose Computer. A new window will open. The icon at the top left is your C, Drive. Double-click it, and you'll see a list of folders. Double-click the folder named Spooky2. With the exception of some user-created items, on the left is what you'll see. The fourth folder from the top PL2302 Prolific Driver Installer VL80 highlighted contains the installer for the UDB1108S driver. Double-click this folder. Back to Contents 26 this is what you'll see. The installer program is fourth in this list, and it's highlighted here. Left click it, then choose Run as Administrator from the context menu. 
the installer will launch and present a series of screens very similar to those you've just seen for the CP210X USB to UI bridge driver installer. Respond positively to all prompts. When the final screen exits, please restart your PC. Back to Contents 27 launch Spooky 2, and this screen appears. Depending on how many physical generators you have connected, the number of red buttons you see circled above will be different. Each red button represents and controls one single physical generator. Back to Contents 28 together, each generator and its red button in Spooky 2 is called the channel, and you may have between 1 and 127 inches your rig. So if you have one generator connected to your PC, you'll see one red channel button. If you have four generators, you should see four buttons. In the image on the previous page, three are two physical generators connected. So you see two numbered red channel buttons. On the lower right, there's another red channel button labeled PC this is your phantom channel. There's no physical generator connected to this, it's a virtual channel, not a real one, and we'll explain its purpose later. If this window has the correct number of channel buttons that matches your physical generator setup, your rig is ready to be used and you can proceed directly to the next section, testing and configuration. However, not all PCs are configured identically or even correctly, so it's possible that a number of other things may happen when you launch the software, runtime error 8002, invalid port number, this is a Windows error and normally indicates that the PC is confused about exactly what's connected to its USB ports. It's usually resolved by restarting the PC again. Remedies for driver problems, sometimes, an incorrectly configured PC or other software already installed can interfere with driver installation calls. You can fix this by installing drivers manually. Here's how. 1. Click the Utiles menu on the menu bar and choose whichever install Spooky 2x MXX bit drivers command is not grayed out. To install the drivers for UDB1108S generators, select the Deinstall UDB drivers command. 2. The installer should launch and take you through the installation process. When it's done, quit everything and restart your PC. You should now see your red physical channel button S, plus the PC button. If the driver installer doesn't launch, or if it does launch but nothing has changed and you still see no red physical channel button second, it's time to take a look under the hood, back to Contents 29 Programs 1 Microsoft Office Starter to Go Device Manager 2010 Control Panel 30 Copyright Devices and Printers PN Device Manager 053 View Devices and AF Device Manager 0 Register Trademark Change Device INJ VJEW and Update Your Hardware Settings and Driver Software F. Add a device find and fix problems with devices 5F add a wireless device to the network Y view network computers and devices files 6 installation of fscan 20x software with device installation of fscan software with device LFY frequencies I1 PL2303 driver installer 8.0 release note IPL2303 check chip version readme PL2303 P Roy if I C D Riverland stud I1 er VL80 ZC more results back to contents click on the Windows start menu at the bottom left corner of your screen click into the search box and type device you'll get a list of results the one you need is device manager highlighted in the screenshot on the left click on it to open device manager the window shown in the next screenshot will open. 30 back to contents find and click on ports highlighted in the screenshot. The navigation tree will expand to show all device drivers and the ports which they're controlling. The Silicon Labs Camp 210X USB to UI bridge entries are all instances of the 5M drivers with the USB port numbers they control in parentheses. The prolific USB to serial COM port entries are all instances of the UDB1108S drivers, also with the USB port numbers they control. If you see yellow exclamation marks on any of these entries, it means that the drivers weren't installed correctly, and you will have to reinstall them. But you don't have to go through the entire installation procedure all over again, you can simply reinstall the drivers you require. There's another way to do this manually and it's pretty simple. 31 But first, an explanation, there are two kinds of accounts on Windows, 
and administrator and user. If you log in using an account with admin rights and permissions, you can pretty much do anything you like on the PC. However, it's not a good idea to go online using an admin account because hackers can put this power to use if they get past your firewall. The answer is a user account. This has less power to change anything, so it's safer for online use. However, it can cause problems with certain kinds of software installations. Thankfully, there's a way around this without having to log out and back in as an administrator. First, quit Spooky2. Then click on the Windows Start menu and choose Computer. The Start menu will disappear and a new window will open. Search Computer Organize. Properties System Properties Uninstall or Change a Program Map Network Drive. 5K Favorites Desktop Pound Downloads Recent Places Libraries J Documents Music B Pictures F J J Videos Hum Group L Computer Acer Company Winterns Duel. Microsoft Office Cli Hard Disk Drives 2 Acer Company 248GB free of 284GB Microsoft Office Click to Run 2010 Protected QO Devices with Removable Storage 1, Wintrans DO 7.08GB free of 7.46GB percent Network Acer C, Space Used, HL Local Disk Space Free, 248GB J Total Size, 284 GB file system, NTFS the highlighted icon shown at the top left here is your C, drive. Wintrans is my USB stick. Double click the C, drive icon. Back to contents 32 the window now displays a list of all the folders on your hard drive. The spooky 2 folder is highlighted left. Double click it. Note. The Spooky2 Documents folder is not part of the Spooky2 installation it's my own collection of personal documents related to using the system. Back to Contents 33 Copyright KJI Computer Acer C Spooky2 F Search Spooky2 Favorites include in library name share with new folder date modified type CP210XVCP Windows date modified October 11, 2014-16 O3 file folder size H desktop CP 210 XB CP YNDOs October 11, 2014-16. O3 file folder for downloads I data November 14, 2014-15 to 32 file folder VI recent places languages September 27, 2014-17 10 file folder PL 2303P row 1 FI CDRIV ERLN. Stud 11 or VL80 October 11, 2014-16, 03 file folder libraries I, scan data January 3, 2014 119 file folder H documents users August 8, 2014 2043 file folder music J waveforms October 11, 2014-16. 03 file folder BL Pictures TJ Pini October 28, 2014 13-21 DAT file 1 kilobyte B videos M Compat TLB September 11, 2013 10-36 TLB file 17 kilobytes JFB J size OCX April 13, 2005 58 ActiveX Control 325 kilobytes for HUM Group COM DLG 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 15 22 Active X Control 153 kilobytes 0 CSVED July 24, 2012 736 Application 1253 kilobytes Computer JJ Jakes Editor May 21, 2012 14 to 22 Compiled HTMI 497 kilobytes and Acer Company ISJ Custom October 30, 2014 6 16 to 40 Microsoft Excel C. 7 kilobytes Wintrans DO email footer December 5, 2013 2258 text document 1 kilobyte TI Microsoft Office CLI IQ email header May 13, 2013 2132 text document 1 kilobyte 11 1 English in June 29, 2010 1321 LNG file 11 kilobytes network IJJ frequencies September 27, 2014 321 CSV file 600 kilobytes frequencies October 27, 2014 957 Microsoft Excel C. 
600 kilobytes W Mossy 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 15 22 Active X Control 211 kilobytes I% 1 Scum to low CX February 5, 2012 12 to 17 Active X Control 1046 kilobytes MS MAPI 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 14 to 22 Active X Control 148 kilobytes WMS VBVM 60 DLL April 14, 2008 1412 application extends 1353 kilobytes notify June 19 2013 730 Earth and view WAV file 480 kilobytes Jane's compat TLB September 11 2013 10 to 36 TLB file 23 kilobytes JS com 32 OCX February 16 2012 13 46 active X control 136 kilobytes set up October 11 2014 16 04 text document 7 kilobytes now you can see everything that's contained in the spooky 2 folder. This folder is where you'll have to visit if you wish to manually install a new database, or edit your own custom database in Notepad. The top 7 icons are folders, the rest are files folders always contain files. The first one in the list on the left CP210XVCP windows, contains 5M driver installers. The fourth folder from the top PL2302 Prolific Driver Installer VL80, contains the installer for the UDB1108S driver. Since this procedure is identical for installing either driver, we'll do it for the Silicon Labs 5M drivers. So double click the first folder in the list to open it. Back to Contents 34 if your PC is a recent 64-bit model, choose the installer whose name ends with X64. If it's an older 32-bit machine, choose the x86 installer. In either case, right-click on the file and choose Run as Administrator from the context menu that pops up. This will temporarily give you the permissions to install software into the deeper levels of the operating system. When the installation finishes, it's best to restart your PC because some flavors of Windows require this to correctly register newly installed components. If, after all this, Spooky2 still can't find your generator, it's possible that your installation is damaged. In this case, it's best to uninstall, then run a fresh copy of the installer again. Here's how, back to Contents 35 click on the Windows Start menu at the lower left of the screen and choose Control Panel as shown below. Spooky Earthen View MLTM VIUR 9 CV Avast. Free Antivirus Skype Windows Media Center Getting Started I. W Earth and View Thumbnails A Sticky Note Snipping Tool VL Programs Search Programs and Flies J The Start Menu Will Disappear and A New Window Will Open. Back to Contents 36 If you haven't been here before, this is probably what you'll see, not terribly informative or useful. So click on the The View By menu at the top right and change it from Category to Small Icons. And this is what you'll see instead, back to Contents 37. IHJ Control Panel All Control Panel Items I4FII Search Control Panel Adjust Your Computer's Settings View By Small Icons Action Center G Administrative Tools Auto Play Backup and Restore Click to Run Application Manager CJ Color Management IJGJJ Credential Manager Date and Time Default Programs Desktop Gadgets Device Manager S3 Devices and Printers BP Display Ease of Access Center Flash Player 32-bit PE Folder Options The Fonts JJ Getting Started Dollar Home Group Indexing Options Internet Options 5 Pounds Keyboard Cubic Millimeter Location and Other Sensors Y Mouse Network and Sharing Center O Notification Area Icons Register Trademark Parental Controls H Performance Information and Tools F Personalization Il C Phone and Modem Power Options JIU Programs and Features M 1. Recovery Register Trademark Region and Language Remote App and Desktop Connections Smart Audio Sound I Section Speech Recognition Section Sync Center System Task Bar and Start Menu H Troubleshooting User Accounts Windows Anytime Upgrade LJ Windows Card Space Windows Defender Windows Firewall 9 Windows Live Language Setting Windows Mobility Center S Windows Update Choose Programs and Features Highlighted in the image above. This will open a new window. Back to Contents 38 is all control panel items. 
Programs and Features Control Panel Home View Installed Updates V Turn Windows Features On or Off Uninstall or Change a Program to Uninstall a Program, Select it from the list and then click Uninstall, Change, or Repair. Organize. Uninstall Change as Equal Pound Copyright Name Publisher Microsoft SQL Server 2005 Compact Edition ENU Microsoft Corporation 111 Microsoft Visual C 2005 Redistributable Microsoft Corporation AT Microsoft Visual C 2008 Redistributable x86 9.0.30729.17 Microsoft Corporation Microsoft Visual C 2008 Redistributable x86 9.0.30729.4148 Microsoft Corporation FL Microsoft Visual C 2010 x64 redistributable 10.0.30319 Microsoft Corporation Jimi Winlocker Suite Aegis Technology Incorporated Unuespresso is still being incorporated T7PL2303 USB to Serial Prolific Technology Incorporated Realtek USB 2.0 Card Reader Realtek Semiconductor CC Skype of 5.3 Skype Technologies SA J Spooky 2 Cancer Clinic NZ Limited BFL Synaptics Pointing Device Driver Synaptics Incorporated 3 Team Viewer 9 Team Viewer 1 Welcome Center Acer Incorporated Windows Driver Package Silicon Laboratories Slab and Import Silicon Laboratories Windows Live Essentials 2011 Microsoft Corporation, G. Silicon Laboratories Product Version, March 19, 2014 6.7.0.0 Here, I've highlighted the 5M Silicon Labs driver. You can also see Spooky2 in the UDB1108 SSPL2303 driver package entries further up the list. To uninstall, either double-click the name, or select, then click Uninstall at the top of the list. Back to Contents 39 Uninstall both driver packages in succession, but don't bother trying to uninstall Spooky2, Windows isn't very effective at removing anything that doesn't have a registry entry. So it's quicker and easier to manually delete it. To do this, simply navigate to the Spooky2 folder as you did before, Windows Start Menu Computer Hard Drive Double Click. Then drag the Spooky2 folder to the recycle bin and empty it. Now you can download a fresh copy of the installer and try again. To do this new installation, I advise disconnecting from the Internet, logging into an administrator account on your PC, and installing Spooky2 for all users. Then restart the PC and log into your normal user account so you can re-enable Internet access if you wish. Finally, Click the Advanced Menu button to open the Advanced Menu, then enter the number of generators you've connected into the DDS Generators field near the top, and Spooky2 will find your entire rig a lot quicker on subsequent launches. Generators missing, if you have four generators connected, but only three red channel buttons, it means that either the driver hasn't installed properly for the particular port your missing generator is connected to, or its USB cable may be faulty. To fix the first, Quit Spooky2, disconnect each generator's USB cable from the PC hub, and restart the PC. One by one, reconnect the generators and watch the right side of the taskbar for alerts that tell you whether the driver install for that port was successful. With luck, they should all be. If not, it's time to try swapping the USB cable for that missing generator so that Windows can identify it and install the correct driver. Installing a beta exe the latest stable version of Spooky2 can always be found on the Spooky2 website's downloads page. This is the one that most people will wish to use. But John White often provides advanced beta versions of the next proposed official release for download on his own site, usually as software-only exe files. Beta means that they're test versions, and so may contain bugs. And this is the main reason that they're made available so that experienced users can download and test them, then report any bugs found so they can be fixed for the next official release. Back to Contents 40 The length of time between official stable releases is generally about a month, but three or four beta versions may be released for testing in the same period, and the final bug fix beta then becomes official and is uploaded to the Spooky2 website. At that time also, if an update contains no changes to Spooky2's support files, an EXE file download will usually also be provided for users with existing installations. 
Because of the nature of beta software, no technical support can be provided since it's essentially a work in progress. So unless you know your way around Spooky2 and your PC, it may not always be a good idea for you to install a beta, especially if you're dealing with something serious. But if you wish to go ahead anyway, here's how I do it, download the beta or exe to your desktop. The file name will always lack the word setup and end in X. This means that it's an executable and doesn't need to be decompressed like a zip file or double clicked like a full setup installer. Click once on the file to select it, then press CTRLC on your keyboard to copy it. Navigate to the Spooky2 folder. Windows Start Menu Computer Hard Drive Double Click Click anywhere on the list of files, then press CTRLV on your keyboard to paste the beta into the folder. You don't have to worry about the beta replacing your existing installation because its file name is different. However, you will need to make an easy way for yourself to launch the new beta. To do this, you can either create a shortcut, or you can ping the beta to the taskbar or the Windows Start Menu. For a shortcut, right-click on the beta file and select Create Shortcut from the context menu that pops up. Then drag the newly created shortcut out of the Spooky2 folder and onto your desktop. You can then close the Spooky2 folder window because double-clicking the shortcut will now launch the new beta version. To pin the new version to the taskbar or the start menu, you also right-click on the beta file, but this time choose either Pin to Taskbar, or Pin to Start Menu. Clicking on the beta's icon in either of these two locations will then launch your new version. The following screenshot shows all the options, back to contents 41Z. Computer? Acer C. Spooky2? Search Spooky2 Organize slash F Favorites K Desktop 4 Downloads, Recent Places Libraries Documents Music Hot Pictures 3 Videos Hum Group Computer Acer C, Wintrums D, II Microsoft Office Cli Network Open? New folder named PL2303P Roy FICD Riverland Stud 11 or VL80 Scan Data Users JPNE.TJM Compat, Arisize Ocom DLG32 at CSVEDJF Xvidator S3 Custom I, Email Foot I, Email Head I1 Englishing Frequency AR Pound I C32.0 CXIB James Scum to I% percent LMS MAPI32. MSVBVM60 I, NSCOMPAT. LNI SCOM 32, 1J Setup Lee Spooky Open V Run as Administrator Troubleshoot Compatibility Vol Scan Spooky Beta 15032014 X Pin to Taskbar Pin to Start Menu F Shredder Restore Previous Versions Send to Cut Copy Paste Create Shortcut Delete Rename Properties I Type Size 18 file folder 19 file folder 19 file folder PDAT file 1 kilobyte RTLB file 17 kilobytes R active X control 325 kilobytes R active X control 153 kilobytes P6 application 1253 kilobytes R compiled HTML 497 kilobytes R Microsoft Excel C 6 kilobytes R text document 1 kilobyte 12 text document 1 kilobyte R LNG file 11 kilobytes R Microsoft Excel C 595 kilobytes R active X control 211 kilobytes 7 active X control 1046 kilobytes B active X control 148 kilobytes 2 application extends 1,353 kilobytes RTLB file 23 kilobytes R6 Active X control 136 kilobytes 19 text document 8 kilobytes 84 text document 146 kilobytes Spooky Beta and UJOTM IJFV5 or Zoyervum 2 application Spooky 2 IGJ Spooky 2 28 million 22,014 setup 17,910 L Spo Okai 2 28 million 22,014 set 2P 17910 R1 STDOL E2 TLB Spooky Beta L5032014 Date Modified March 15, 2014 712 Application Size 1.88 MB June 11, 2013 15 to 12 January 12, 2013 10 08 January 3rd 2014 119 April 14th 2008 542 Earth and View ICO file application text document TLB file date created 
March 20, 2014 0 o'clock 1928 kilobytes 64 kilobytes 558 kilobytes 8 kilobytes 17 kilobytes the context menu pops up when you right click on the new spooky 2 beta file the pin to taskbar and pin to start menu options appear close to the top of the menu the create shortcut option appears closer to the bottom Back to Contents 42 Installing a database Here's one very important thing you need to understand about installing a new database after you've downloaded it from the Spooky2 website. When you launch Spooky2, it loads certain of its own support files, including the database, into memory. This means that if you trash the database file in the Spooky2 folder and replace it with a new one, you can't access that new database inside Spooky2 until you either quit and relaunch or tell Spooky2 to load the database into memory from the hard drive again. So there are two ways to install a new database, and which one you use depends on whether Spooky2 is running or not. If Spooky2 isn't running, download the database file and decompress it if it's the zip file. Click on the CSV file to select it, then press CTRLC on your keyboard to copy it. Now navigate to the Spooky2 folder, you know how to do this by now. You'll see the older frequencies file in the folder, and you have two choices, you can either drag it into the recycle bin, then click back into the Spooky2 window and press CTRLV on the keyboard to paste the new file in. Leave the existing file where it is and just press CTRLV you'll see a dialog warning that a file named frequencies already exists in the folder and asking how you wish to proceed. Choose copy and replace. Close the window and launch Spooky2. The new database will be loaded into memory and be available for immediate use. Back to Contents 43 If Spooky2 is running, click the Database menu on Spooky2's menu bar and select Download Database. Your internet browser will launch and automatically download the file frequencies CSV from the Spooky2.com downloads web page straight into your downloads folder. You now have a number of choices. You can copy and paste it into the Spooky2 folder as detailed above, then trash the file. You can create a new dated folder for the file, then move that folder anywhere you like. Here, I've downloaded my new database, created a new folder named FREQS March 14, 2014, put the file inside it, then placed the new folder in my documents library. To load it into Spooky2, I click the database menu, then choose Select Database. This opens a file navigation dialog left where I can navigate to my new file, select it, then click the open button to make it immediately available in Spooky2. The refresh database command reloads the file after manual edits. Select database file J. Libraries. Documents. FREQS March 14, 2014 Organize. New folder, Favorites K Desktop Pound Downloads. Recent Places. J Documents My Documents FREQS March 14, 2014 Public Documents Music LLTEL Pictures B Videos File Name, Documents Library FREQS March 14, 2014 Name Frequencies 1 Equal? EB Arrange By, Folder W Date Modified Type March 23, 2014 2113 Microsoft X Database CSV. Open Cancel Back to Contents 44 Windows Warnings There are two very important settings in Windows that you need to be aware of when using Spooky2, PC Sleep Settings. If your computer is set to sleep or hibernate after a certain amount of time with no user activity, here's what happens. The contents of your memory are temporarily written to a file on the hard drive. The drive then stops spinning, this means that nothing more can be read from it into memory. So when your PC sleeps or hibernates, it is effectively no longer working, much like a TV on standby. Consequently, Spooky2 will simply suspend transmission until you wake your PC again. To fix this, go to Control Panel's Power Options Change when the computer sleeps, and set everything except the screen to Never. Alternatively, you can use a dark screen saver to extend Display Life Control Panel's Personalization Screen Saver. Windows Update Reboots, if your PC is also used for the Internet, be aware that default system settings mean that Windows can download and install updates automatically. It can then quit Spooky2, install the updates, and restart your PC, 
ending your entire Spooky 2 session without any warning to you. To fix this, go to Control Panel's Windows Update Change Settings and choose anything other than Install Updates Automatically. If you don't want to lose this auto-install functionality, you can simply switch off your modem Wi-Fi router before going to sleep or leaving your home. But do remember to keep an eye on things while you're at home but away from the computer. If you don't use a Wi-Fi system, your computer is connected to the Internet with an Ethernet cable plugged into a modem or switcher. If you unplug this cable, Windows can go looking for updates, so your Spooky 2 session can't be interrupted. Back to Contents 45 Testing and Configuration Now that you've got your rig connected, and your software installed and able to talk to your generator second, it's time to configure the remote system to work optimally, and to make sure everything is actually doing what it's supposed to do. Here's how, Spooky Boost Plus Remote MNBN to optimize your Spooky Boost cable for use with Spooky Remote VIL.1BN or MN, set all the parameters as shown on the left. Duty cycle must be 100%. Square wave must be selected. Inverse plus sync must be selected. Now search for and load the signal test frequency set. In older databases, this set is named calibrate. Important, anytime you set either the duty cycle to 100% or very close to it, or you enter an offset of 100%, only one remote LED will be lit. This is normal for these settings. When you've completed this step, reset the duty cycle TO 50%. Never USC 100% duty cycle for contact mode treatment, you may burn your skin severely. Program options frequency multiplier 1 duty side repeat every frag 1 amplitude repeat each set 1 offset repeat program 0 phase angle dwell multiplier 1 disabled amplitude wobble frequency wobble I disabled amplitude ramp 5 seconds reduce amplitude 10 kHz I 4 Hz gate randomized I skip concurrent duplicate frag remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start F2 equal F1 X1 R add FI to F2 Hz RRRRRR SU T100 Dash 7P 00 Out to 100% 20 V 0% 00, 00 frequency limits Hertz apply octal C scalar 00, 00 out 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 17 16 16 percent percent to control 2 equal out 1 2 equal out 1 copy gate steps apply frequencies directly do NOT sort frequency Z plus O hertz volt stop win out one stop spike spectrum to RRRRR waveform BX BY BX BY follow out one spike plus sync I inverse plus sync 10 length ratio percent 8 8 16 16 1 1 plus spike S spike count 0 back to contents 46 when the channel is started only one LED will be lit MN remote the top plus sign LED should be lit circled in red BN remote the bottom sign LED should be lit circled in yellow. If you own an earlier non-color coded Spooky Boost, simply swap the plugs connected to OUT1 and OUT2 if the wrong LED is lit for your specific remote. Your Spooky Boost is now set up for whichever version of Spooky Remote VLL you own. This procedure is only necessary to set up magnet enhanced Spooky Remote VLL models correctly because of their different magnetic polarities. It's not required for the original Spooky Remote or for Spooky Tube electrodes. No light? Check the generator display for the blue ON icon. If you see a red off icon, quit Spooky 2 and turn off your 5M receipt USB connections, then turn on the 5M and launch Spooky 2 again. If you still see off, swap the USB cable for a known good one. If you do see the ON icon, reseat your BNC connectors securely. Back to Contents 47 Original Remote and Direct Connect If you use an original remote with Spooky Boost, connect them. If you don't use Boost, connect your remote to OUT1. Set all the parameters as shown, Program Options Frequency Multiplier Repeat Every Freak Repeat Each Set Repeat Program Dwell Multiplier Amplitude Wobble Frequency Wobble Amplitude Ramp 11101 Duty Side Amplitude Offset Phase Angle Disabled I Disabled 5 Seconds Reduce Amplitude 10 kHz 4 Hz Gate I Randomize Skip Concurrent Duplicate Freak Remove Duplicate Frequencies Override Pause Schedule Prevent Global Start F2 Equal FIR Hz CRR CRRC Add FI to F2 Out 250 20 0 0% V% O frequency limits hertz apply octal C scalar. 
Z3% percent, percent 16 16 out 2 control out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1 copy gate apply steps frequencies direct gy steps do not sort frequencies 3 1 plus 0 hertz 1 volts 7 stop win out 1 stop spike spectrum 2 rrcrrrr waveform copyright rbxbyifjbxby follow out 1 spike plus ink inverse plus ink 10 length ratio percent 10201020102102102082 low 02160210201027 plus spike 17 spike count 00 duty cycle should be 50% Amplitude should be 20. Square wave must be selected. Follow out one must be selected. Now search for and load the signal test frequency set. In older databases, this set may be named Calibrate. When the channel is started, both LED should be lit. If so, your spooky remote is now ready for action. No light? Check the generator display for the blue ON icon. If you see a red off icon, Quit Spooky 2 and turn off your XM. Reseed USB connections, then turn on the XM and launch Spooky 2 again. If the generator still shows off, try swapping the USB cable for a known good one. If you do see the ON icon, reseed your BNC connectors securely. Back to contents 48 treatment choices before you use Spooky 2 to tackle any problem, you have a number of very important things to consider first. One. Killing or healing? This will affect your choice of waveform, its settings, amplitude, and wobbles. Generally, killing pathogens requires a wobble or feathering to cover possible mutations. But a much better alternative is to use a well-designed spectrum. Contact mode needs higher amplitudes to achieve adequate body penetration 14-20 volts unless a carrier wave is used use a higher harmonic multiplier on out to rather than a static carrier. I'll show you how later remote mode can use any amplitude from about 4 volts up to 20. High voltages are not necessary because all we need to penetrate is the fingernail clipping in spooky remote, not the entire body. For killing, a spooky remote V1.1 magnetic north is best, but we don't recommend using it non-stop for longer than 3-5 days because it can produce unpleasant side effects. A spooky remote V1.1 BioNorth model will kill pathogens, too, but not quite as quickly, and it's best for healing, repair, and regeneration. This can be used continuously without problems. For plasma mode, please see the documentation that came with your spooky plasma or other amplifier. 2. Which waveform? Sine, the nonlinear curve of the sine wave's amplitude makes it suitable for gentle healing. Its trajectory is the purest form of energy motion, and you will see its shape commonly reflected throughout the natural world. Best for high frequencies. Square, the abrupt rises and falls in amplitude coupled with long peaks and troughs make this wave very suitable for killing pathogens. However, it's also effective for healing, especially if low frequencies are used. Sawtooth, this does not have a history in rife, so it's still largely experimental. However, our experiments have now shown that it's a very effective waveform to use for healing. Back to contents 49 and verse sawtooth, the sharp rise to peak level combined with the linear fall in amplitude make this waveform excellent for killing organisms, and it does this more effectively than the square wave. At higher voltages, it's not really suitable for healing, but some users have reported good results using it at lower amplitudes. Triangle does not have a history in rife, so it's still experimental. Its linear slopes make for a less efficient whip crack effect but it may be useful as a possible substitute for a sign. Damp sinusoidal, Dr. Rife's well-known cancer killer waveform, as documented by the Smithsonian. When liberally sprinkled with spikes, this becomes a truly fearsome weapon. But because it's based on gradually decaying sine waves, it's also excellent for healing applications. Damp Square, damping apply to square waves, a brand new Spooky 2 exclusive. Its energy trajectory makes it lethal for pathogens, and it's currently being tested successfully in healing situations. H-Bomb Sinusoidal, designed by John to feature energy spikes on leading and trailing edges. It's based on sine waves, 
and this should make it a good choice for powerful healing. But it should also be useful as a pathogen killer. H bomb square, I feel that this may be spooky 2s most powerful killing machine. John has questioned if it may be too powerful for remote use, but I've used it successfully in this way without herxing. 3. Database sets, pulse results, or spectrum sweeps? For killing, the spectrum sweeps are convenient and very powerful. It's best to adjunct or alternate with targeted database sets. Most powerful of all, but not as convenient, are Spooky Pulse scan results. Spooky Pulse has now clearly shown itself capable of detecting early cancer. The effectiveness or otherwise of database sets also depends on the accuracy of your diagnosis. It's possible, too, that a different strain or a mutation of the pathogen is involved. Either way, if you get no results after 2-3 days, you should try another database set instead. Back to contents 54 healing, I would use either pulse results or targeted database sets. The spectrum sweeps are designed for killing. Most healing works through frequency entrainment, and sweeps don't work for this process. Important, the Spooky 2 database includes about 300 split frequency sets. These are sets which originally contain too many frequencies for them to be fully effective when used in remote mode. So we made the decision to split them into parts, each of which takes no more than an hour to transmit. To use them, you must load them into a program in the correct order, and this program should not contain any other sets, otherwise the split set may not work properly. All split sets have a numerical identifier at the end of their names that looks like a numerical fraction, lymphs and detox 1 half lymphs and detox 2 halves the 1 slash 2 in the name above means that lymphs and detox 1 slash 2 is part 1 of a two part set, and lymphs and detox 2 slash 2 is a second part, which must also be loaded and run for the program to work. Long set names may have these numbers hidden in the conditions list. Select any set to show its full name in the additional notes area beneath the list. Warning. You must never run the parts of any split set on separate generators. All split set parts must be loaded and run in the correct order on one single generator. Many frequency sets are designed to disrupt organism components in a specific order, and if you run their frequencies out of that order, the program may not work. 4. What source of DNA for remote? Nails. The DNA contained in fingernails is encased in hard keratin which protects it from degradation. In theory, it should be good to use for scalar transmission forever, and indeed some practitioners never change their specimens. However, my research back to contents 51 suggests that since photonic energy has been shown to be intimately bound up with DNA, nail specimens may be best renewed each month. Russian experiments show that the photonic energy imprint which shadows DNA fades after this time. If you choose to change your samples regularly, you may wish to substitute lightweight cigarette rolling papers for paper masking tape. Nail Sample Preparation 1. First, cut your nail into four equal pieces, as shown. You only need to use one piece of nail for each remote. 2. The correct length of two paper tape, sticky side up. Bottom left is a single piece of nail. The red mark shows where to place it. 3. Foiled tape over lengthwise. Write initials on one end if required. Place as shown and mark the tape at the edge of the remote. 4. Insert tape in the remote so the mark aligns with the remote's edge as shown. This ensures DNA is correctly placed. Back to contents 52 saliva. Cut a strip of blank paper blotting paper is best about 2 inches long and 1 inch wide. Place the top one third of this in your mouth for about 5 minutes, or until it becomes saturated with saliva. Allow it to air dry for about 10-20 minutes before placing it into your remote. Good for about 3 days. Buckle skin cells, this is how police do large scale DNA testing after certain serious crimes. As above, use a strip of paper but don't allow it to soak in your mouth. Instead, rub the top one-third gently but firmly against the inside of your cheek for a moment. If it becomes wet, allow it to air dry as above. Good for about 4-5 days. Blood, 
For this you need a pack of lancets designed for diabetics to safely test blood sugar levels. These are inexpensive and available from all pharmacies. Wash your hands thoroughly first, then follow the directions on the pack. Smear the droplet of blood on the top one-third of a strip of paper. Allow to air dry for a few moments. Good for about 5-6 days. Hair, the shaft contains no DNA, only RNA. So it must have the root bulb attached. Good for about 2 days. 5. Remote, contact, or plasma? Plasma, well designed and implemented plasma is quickest and most powerful. The best we have today comes from Ralph Hartwell in the form of the PA3 amplifier used with a plasma tube blown by Bilship. Contact, used with a carrier wave, this comes next for speed and power. Remote, scalar DNA treatment has been vastly improved by the introduction of Spooky Remote V1.1, such that it has gained markedly on contact mode. The convenience of remote mode makes it a winner. For serious conditions, I would do one contact session daily, then switch the generator to remote mode. The following three screenshots are good settings for each of the three modes, remote, contact, and plasma. In all cases except plasma, which requires a square wave for everything you do, you should choose your own waveform based on whether you're killing organisms, healing, or detoxing. Back to contents 53 program options out 1 out 2 frequency multiplier 1 duty side 50 50% 50 repeat every frag 1 amplitude 20 20 V repeat each set 4 offset 00% repeat program 0 phase angle 0 0 0 dwell multiplier 0.33 amplitude wobble disabled Z 0% 16 steps frequency wobble disabled JD 0% 16 steps amplitude ramp 5 seconds out to control F reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz out to equal out when X frequency limits hertz apply more than 0 octal 0 C scalar apply frequencies directly 3 R 4 hertz gate P randomized 17 skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start F2 equal F1 hertz I add FI to F212 CCR slash CCCCICI slash CRR out 2 equal out 1 7 copy gate waveform 1 plus 0 hertz 1 Volts V stop when out 1 stop spike 10 length ratio M, LW MBX BY JBX BY follow out 1 spike plus ink inverse plus ink 3, R8816 16 spectrum percent 0017 plus spike 7, spike count 0 remote mode settings repeat each set, 4. Repeat program, 0 for an endless loop that must be stopped manually OR, repeat program. 34 a timed session equivalent to 7 consecutive contact treatments. Dwell multiplier, 0.33 cuts program times to one third original remotes must use one, which John White always uses on all remote models. Duty cycle, 50 may be changed to alter the harmonic content, relevant to square wave only. Amplitude, 5-20 volts. Offset, 0 and 0 can also be 100 and 100 or 100 and minus 100 if spooky boost is connected. Apply, plus minus 0.02% feathering for kill, or frequencies directly for heal and detox. Waveform, user's choice. How remote works. Back to contents 54 program options out 1 out 2 frequency multiplier 1 duty side 50 50% repeat every frag 1 amplitude 20 20 V repeat each set 1 offset 00% repeat program 1 phase angle 00 dwell multiplier 1 amplitude wobble disabled Z 0% 16 steps frequency wobble disabled RJ 0% 16 steps amplitude ramp 5 seconds out to control frequency limits hertz apply more than 0 octal 0 C scalar apply frequencies directly 7 reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz 4 hertz gate i randomize skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start f2 equal f1 hertz i add fi to f212 cccc slash ccc carrot multiplied by carrot i crr out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1 7 copy gate waveform step speed degree not sort frequencies x1 plus 0 hertz x1 volt 17 stop when out 1 stop spike 10 i length ratio 3 wimmy 
Liam IWLJBXBYJBXBY follow out one spy plus inc inverse plus inc five eight eight sixteen sixteen one one two 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 spectrum percent zero zero seventeen seventeen plus spike seven spike count zero contact mode settings repeat each set one repeat program one dwell multiplayer one programs run for default dwells times duty cycle fifty may be higher to create more harmonics relevant to square wave only amplitude 14-20 volts offset 0 and 0 can also be 100 and 100 or 100 and minus 100 if spooky boost is connected apply frequencies directly for kill heal and detox reduce amplitude LOKHZ check prevents low frequencies from causing discomfort waveform user's choice note High amplitude low frequencies can cause unpleasant and even painful muscle contraction. The threshold at which this occurs is different for all of us mine is about LKHZ. Try values lower than LOKHZ to find your own. How contact works. Back to contents 55 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program. Out 1 out 2 1 duty side 50 50 percent 1 amplitude 10 10 v 1 offset 100 100 percent 1 phase angle 0 0 0 frequency limits 3 million 300 thousand 100 thousand hertz apply octal c scalar dwell multiplier 1 apply amplitude wobble disabled 0 percent 16 steps frequencies directly frequency wobble amplitude ramp i disabled 5 seconds reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz 4 hertz gate i randomized skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start 30% 16 steps do not sort frequencies f2 equal f1 hertz i add fi to f2 zl11 ira c cr p c r c i c 11 c 1 c c r r r out to control out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1 copy gate waveform 1 Plus 0 1 volts 7 stop win out 1 stop spike RX length ratio hertz loy 88 8, 16 16 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 spectrum percent 0 0 BX BY Z J 10 2 0 BX BY J 10 2 0 follow out 1 7 plus spike spike plus inc RV spike inverse plus sync count 0 plasma mode settings frequency limits high 3 million 300 thousand hertz Low 100,000 Hz for Spooky Plasma slash high 400,000 Hz for Spectratech Eps. Repeat each set. 1. Repeat program. 1. Dwell multiplayer. 1 programs run for default dwells times. Duty cycle. 50 may be higher to create more harmonics, relevant to square wave only. Amplitude. 10 volts. Offset. 100 and 100. Apply. Frequencies directly for kill, heal, and detox. Waveform, square wave only. Note, Spooky Boost is not used for plasma mode. How plasma works. Back to contents 56 OK, let's rife if you've never used rife technology before, I'm willing to bet that your reaction on first seeing this interface was sheer panic. That's entirely understandable. At first sight, Spooky 2 looks so overwhelmingly complex that you naturally think, how the heck am I ever going to learn this? But I'm also willing to bet that your first reaction on getting into a car to take your first driving lesson was also panic, and that the exact same thought went through your head. Well, just like a car, you don't need to use everything that's on display in order to actually drive it, do you? Spooky 2 is no different. Over the next few pages, I'm going to show you how to use it quickly and easily, and in less than 15 minutes, you're going to be loading and running programs like a pro. The best way to learn something is by doing it. So please follow along over the next few pages and I'll show you how easy it can be. With Spooky 2, we use what we need, and program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble amplitude ramp duty side amplitude offset phase angle disabled i disabled 5 seconds reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz 4 hertz gate i randomized skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start f2 equal fi hertz 333 ri add fi to f2 out 15500 out 2 so 5 0 0 percent percent 16 16 percent v percent o steps out 
2 control out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1 R copy gate frequency limits hertz apply more than 0 octal 0 C scalar apply frequencies directly T do NOT sort frequencies X1 plus OX1 volts 5 stop when out 1 stops hertz 1 2 R R A R R R R R R R R R C C C C C C C C R R waveform 10 spike length ratio I I I E E 16 spectrum T percent O O B X B Y drive 1 0 2 0 J B X B Y 31 1 0 2 0 follow out 1 17 plus spike spike plus ink W 7 spike inverse plus sync count 0 back to contents 57 ignore everything else eventually over time you'll get comfortable and confident, and you'll want to get the most out of this fabulous system. When that happens, use this guide to learn what everything does, and how it can be used for maximum benefit. It's not going to be a walk in the park, but it's certainly not climbing Mount Everest either. I'll bet you're a pretty good driver now, aren't you? Believe in yourself, keep at it, and soon you'll be a pretty good rifer, too. So let's get going with something simple like a cold please note that I've removed excess black space from this screenshot and later similar ones in order to make all the elements big enough to be clearly seen search at COD clear February 28, 2015, 2029 40 cold common cold coughing cold feet and hand a cold in head or T 3 T1 cold or flu winter 2001 cold source 2 cold source 3 program options frequency multiply repeat every freak repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble J disabled 1141.33 extra 120 SSO 350 7500 120,000 315,500 472,500 725,750 350,000 975,980 CAFL 727 10,000 CAFL 20,125, 14C, 200,727,787,880, 5,000 CAFL, 20444727776788880, 5,000, 10,000 CAFL 959,962 extra 42H 467,767,880, 1500,1550,1850,2489 XTPA 470, 47 euros, 48 euros, 50 euros, 52 euros, 54 euros, 5 euros euro, 58 euros, euro zero euros, 847, 5 euros 41, 8 euros 5 Q out 1 out 2 frequency limits duty side 50 50 percent hertz apply amplitude 20 20 V more than 0 octal offset 0 0 percent 64,000 C scalar phase angle 0 0 0 spook R1 AM. Cold in head or chest 2 0 percent apply 16 steps frequencies directly first. I must select the channel I want to load by clicking its red button, then simply closing its red control panel again. Next, I type called into the search field. Spooky2 returns 42 results. In the red circle, 42 is the second number shown. I select the one I want to run. This is result number 22 in the red circle, 22 is the first number shown. So here, I've selected result 22 out of a possible 42. Back to contents 58 I double click it, and it loads into the selection field on the lower right. However, since I'm going to be killing pathogens, I need to run a detox set as well. It's always better to keep killing sets on one channel and put detox on another, but in this case we'll suppose I only have a single generator. So I type detox into the search field, there's no need to click the clear button first, and I get a bunch of results, from which I choose detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL, and I double click this also. Both sets are now loaded into my program and can be seen in the selection field. If I change my mind about one of them, I just double click it here to remove it, or I can clear both selections I made by clicking the button circled in red. Channel 10 user data program patient name plus V allow channel overwrites every time 
email message notes email s enable email send screenshot cold in head or chest to CAFL detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL total runtime 149.49 send email save as now it's time to make settings that will work to kill pathogens and clear out toxins. Any of the square waves are good for both of these tasks, but I want to use a 100% positive offset as recommended by Dr. Hulda back to contents 59 Clark, so I'll stick with her classic settings of a plain square wave and an amplitude of 9.5 volts. However, I could also choose a H-bomb square or a damp square if I desired. Below are all the settings I enter in the green program options pane, I lead an active life and I don't want to let treatment of a cold interfere with that. So I'll use remote mode. First, I enter 64,000 in the field of the frequency limits pane to bring all these low subharmonics up to more effective levels. I enter 4 for repeat each set, 0 for repeat program, and 0.33 for dwell multiplier but note that John White uses one for this. Remote also normally calls for an apply menu setting of plus minus 0.02% feathering, but because I'm also running detox frequencies which need apply to be set to frequencies directly, I've set it to use that instead. I also have a spooky boost connected, so I select inverse plus sync for added power. If I did and slash have this cable, I would connect the remote to out one of the generator and select inverse plus sync or follow out one here instead. Now I'm ready. But because I'm changing the state of my currently blank channel, there's one more box to check, 60 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program. Out 1 out 2 1 duty side 50 50% 1 amplitude 9.5 9.5v4 offset 100-100% 0 phase angle 0 0 0 frequency limits. 064,000 Hz apply octal C scalar dwell multiplier 0.33 apply amplitude wobble disabled 0% 16 steps frequencies directly D frequency wobble amplitude ramp J disabled 5 seconds F2 equal F1 X1 I add FI to F2 Hz 3 pounds 0% 16 steps do MOT sort frequencies reduce amplitude 10 kHz 4 Hz gate I randomize skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start I2 CA CR CR R R C F C C R out to control out two equal out one out two equal out when I copy gate waveform one plus zero one volt seventeen stop when out one stops hertz the my I B X B Y B X B Y follow out one spike plus sync inverse plus sync I F spike spectrum X length ratio percent R one zero two zero R one zero two zero R one zero two R one zero two R one zero two R eight zero two R eight zero two R 16021020210217 R plus spike R17 spike count 0 back to contents IV allow channel overwrites V every time we end its allow channel overwrites to the left of the selection field anytime Y Kuchijang a channel settings or its frequency sets you must tick this box before clicking the red channel button so you can start the program if you don't the channel control panel will replace all your work with its last save settings, which will clear everything you've done. So don't forget to tick this box when you've built your program. When you do, the every time checkbox will appear. Tick this if you wish to always overwrite. Now you can click the channel button, channel control 3 reverse lookup R dude octal total runtime treatment duration 149.49 0 o'clock IT 333 444 727 766 776 787 802 880 15 50 44 12 73 44 10,000 110 freconeries 188 cold in head or chest 2 CAFL detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL output frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle out 10 square wave 50% of 0% 0 degrees out 20 inverse plus sync 50% of 0% 0 degrees the red channel control appears above and you're ready to rumble so click the start button and get on with your day Back to content 61 but hold on. Suppose I realize I made a mistake and I want to change a setting or frequency set. How can I do that at the stage? IVJ at the top right of the channel control panel, you'll see three buttons. The rightmost one with the X closes the panel, 
as you'd expect. However, if you use this to close, you won't be able to change anything, it simply closes the panel and locks the channel so it can be changed. Its purpose is to allow you to close the channel and move on to set up the next one. So, to fix my mistake, I must click the settings button instead, with the curvy wave image. This also closes the panel, but it unlocks the channel so I can change anything I wish. However, when I've done, I must once again tick the allow channel overwrites box before I click the colored button again to reopen the control panel, otherwise the channel will discard my correction. The leftmost, but it then goes even further, it unlocks the channel and clears the program I have built so I can start over again. However, it leaves my carefully thought out settings intact. Nice. Now here's a different case, let's say I want to treat for Epstein-Barr virus. So, again, I first open and close the channel I want to use, type Epstein into the search field, and I get 34 results. The set I want to use is Epstein-Barr virus 1 extra, and I can see that it has 3 numbered parts, it's a split set. 1 and search Epstein I clear February 28, 2015, 2033 0 CJEBV Secondary EBV XT2 63,667,667,669,732,933,2,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
Now my selection field looks like this, with all three parts in numerical order from the top down, channel 10 program patient name user data via allow channel overwrites email message every time notes email second enable email send screenshot Epstein var virus 11 slash 3 extra Epstein var virus 1 and 2 thirds extra Epstein var virus 1 and 3 thirds extra total runtime 03 to 16. W sent my RTTS as I've also ensured that the allow Chanel overwrites box is ticked so I don't forget to do it after I've made my settings. Unless you also tick every time, you will have to tick this box immediately after loading all your sets, and this is a good habit to get into because you can get caught up in making settings and forget to do it before you try running the program. Well, I do anyway. The total runtime of your program, taking into account all repeats, is shown beneath the selection field circled in red above. However, because entering zero into the repeat program field tells Spooky2 to loop the program until I manually stop it, what you see here is the total time the program would take to run through just once. Back to content 63 now for our settings. We're killing pathogens here, and we have detox either running on another channel, or we'll load a detox program with appropriate settings and waveform after this one has finished. So we can choose settings that kill exclusively, once again, I'm using remote mode for convenience, and I've loaded all its recommended settings, 4 for repeat each set, 0 for repeat program, and 0.33 for dwell multiplier. I want all the power I can get for this virus, so I'm using one of John White's favorite kill settings here a better one is shown later. I also want to raise all the frequencies up into the KHZ range to be closer to the original fundamentals so I enter 64,000 in the field of the frequency limits pane. Now is a good time to explain that each waveform in the list has its own row of controls. Those for the square wave we're using for these settings are shown in the red box. So all my settings are now entered, and I've remembered to tick the allow channel overwrites box, so I click the chosen channels button again. Program Options Frequency Multiplier Repeat Every Freq Repeat Each Set Repeat Program Dwell Multiplier Amplitude Wobble Frequency Wobble Amplitude Ramp Out 1 Out 2 1 Duty Side 50 50% 1 Amplitude 20 20 V 4 0 Feed 0 0 Percent 0 Phase Angle 0 0 0 Point 3 3 Disabled J Disabled 5 Seconds F Reduce Amplitude 10 kHz or 4 Hz Gate I Randomized 7 Skip Concurrent Duplicate Freq I remove duplicate frequencies I override pause schedule I prevent global start fill MMMM medial MF2 equal FI 11 hertz 16 16 steps out to control out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1 I copy gate I waveform frequency limits hertz apply more than 0 octal 64,000 scalar apply frequencies directly do NOT sort frequencies 1 plus 0 1 Bolt 17 stop win out 1 stop spike hertz spectrum length ratio percent RR and I add FI to F2 lie UL, LL me ABX BY JBX BY follow out 1 spike plus ink inverse plus ink RRRRR 1588 16 RR? I count 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 plus spike, spike back to content 64 channel control 3 start pause hold stop reverse lookup in dude octal total runtime treatment duration 3 16 40 0 o'clock j frequencies 1 176 epstein bar virus 1 and 1 third extra epstein bar virus 12 slash 3 extra epstein bar virus 1 and 3 thirds extra output frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle out 1 0 square wave 50 percent of 0 percent 0 degrees out to 0 inverse plus sync 50 percent of 0 percent 0 degrees and here's my loaded channel control panel waiting for me to click the start button next we'll take a look at building a complex healing program specifically I want to normally and stimulate a whole bunch of organs and systems in one go normally adrenal gland function blood pressure and circulation endocrine glandular system and lymphatic system I also want to stimulate and normally smite kidney and liver functions, plus a couple of others thrown in for good measure. The important thing here is that I can use the same waveform to optimize all these tasks. If I added in some pathogen killing sets, I'd be more limited in my choices for settings and waveforms because what I do must work for both these different jobs. Back to content 65 to get started, I type normal into the search box, 
Search I normal clear February 28, 2015, 2035, 6 actinomyces Israeli bioadrenal function normalize extra 1335 bacterium coli biobacterium coli CAFL Barrett's esophagus 1 extra blood circulation stimulate extra blood pressure normalize extra brain normalize extra 642 642 million 358,539 802 380 2127.5 equal 360 10337 15 17 578.1 three program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble 1141.33 duty side out 150 out to 50 percent frequency limits hertz apply amplitude 20 20 v more than zero octal offset 00 percent 0 c scalar phase angle 0 0 0 disabled apply 16 steps frequencies directly spo the adrenal function normalize sire 2 slash 56 liter per volt spooky to returns 56 results for my search and adrenal function normalize extra is second in the list please note that US spelling is used throughout the database so it's normalize instead of normalize and hemorrhage and edema instead of hemorrhage and edema by double clicking each one I then add blood pressure normalize extra circulation stimulate normalized extra Endocrine system function normalize extra, glands general normalize extra, kidney function normalize stimulate extra, liver function stimulate and normalize extra, lymph function stimulate normal extra, plus a few others I think I might need. Here, I need to point out something that's important when searching. If I had typed normalize into the search box instead of normal, my results wouldn't have included lymph function stimulate normal extra. So it pays to give some thought to what you type in order to search. In general, partial words often work better than complete ones. Stimuli will find stimulate, stimulatory, and stimulation. Back to content 66. So now here's my selection field, stuffed to the roof with sets, as you can tell by the appearance of a scroll bar, channel 10 program patient name user data email message notes, plus IV allow channel overwrites. Every time, Email second I enable email send screenshot adrenal function normalize extra blood pressure normalize extra circulation stimulate normalized extra endocrine system function normalize extra glands general normalize extra kidney function normalize stimulate extra liver function stimulate and normalize extra lymph function stimulate normal QCTRA total runtime 04 send email save as but I've loaded so many sets that I've lost count not to worry. Spooky2 tells me that I have 11 sets loaded into this channel. The set count is circled at the bottom right of the selection field. Note that the program runtime is still short even through there are 11 sets. It's 43 minutes and 33 seconds, to be precise. This is an indication that all the sets I've loaded are very short, with each containing just one or two frequencies. It's perfectly fine to stuff your programs like this with very short sets. But it would be a big mistake to load, say, 10 sets each with an individual runtime of 60 minutes. Why? Because in remote mode, each repeated frequency sets needs to be reasonably close in time to the last one, otherwise you're giving pathogens a chance to recover and or mutate. If you loaded 10 one-hour sets, this would mean a break of 9 hours between each set repetition. Not good. So please don't do it. Aim for a maximum program runtime of about 3-4 hours or less. With Spooky 2, more is not always better. Back to content 67 so now I have the sets for my super program for healing loaded, I need to enter the settings I want. Originally, Dr. Royal Raymond Reif worked with equipment capable of transmitting very high radio frequencies. But then the FCC came along and regulated the waybands. Although he found another way, his original waveform for killing was the sine wave. At very high frequencies, this wave can be extremely effective. The vast majority of commercial rife machines today can only transmit up to 100,000 Hz and some only to 10,000 Hz. But Spooky2 can transmit up to 25 mHz using its unique wave cycle multiplication technology. So even though my frequencies are all quite low, I've chosen the waveform Dr. Rife used to cure cancer, the damp sinusoidal. All the sign-based waves are good for healing, 
especially this one. But note that square and plane sawtooth waves can also be used, and are actually better for low frequencies. 68 program options out 1 out 2 frequency multiply repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program 1140 duty side amplitude o feet phase angle 50 20 0 0 50 20 0 0 percent v percent 0 frequency means hertz apply more than 0 octal 0 c scalar dwell multiplier 0.33 apply amplitude wobble disabled jj 0 percent 16 steps frequenase directly Frequency wobble disabled ZL 0% 16 steps to MOT sort frequency JD amplitude ramp 5 seconds out to control. F reduce amplitude 10 kHz out 2 equal out 1 X1 plus 0 Hz 4 Hz gate randomized F2 equal FI X Hz I add F1 to F2 or out 2 equal out 1 X copy gate 2 RCR waveform 1 volts 7 stop 1 out 1 stop spike RX. I length ratio BX BYZ BX BYZ 8 8 16 16 1 1 follow out 1 spike plus ink inverse plus ink V spectrum percent 0 0 7 plus spike 7 spike count 0 back to contents now that all my sets and settings are entered and I've made sure that the all important allow channel overwrites box is ticked I'm good to go so I click my red channel button and my start button awaits Channel control 3 total runtime 043331 XCFA or F treatment duration 0 o'clock 1 BRE 1 J adrenal function normalize OCTRA 1335 M blood pressure normalize extra J I pause 1335 equal circulation stimulate normalized extra 1335 endocrine system function normalize XTRA 15 glands general normalize extra whole J 15 kidney function normalize stimulate extra 15 liver function stimulate and normalize extra 15 lymph function stimulate normal extra 337 RI I 337 337 out 1 out 2 337 frequency 00 537 waveform damped inverse plus sync stop 1 duty side 50% 50% 0 frequencies 44 amplitude of of offset 0% 0% reverse lookup phase angle 0 degrees 0 degrees are dude octal personally I actually like sitting down to work out the best settings for a program I want to run, some of my decisions are based on science, some are intuitive, and others are in the time-honored rife tradition of. Try it and see. However, there are times when you come up with effective but complex settings which are tedious to enter and can be hard to remember if you suffer with certain neurological symptoms. For this reason, and for people in a hurry, Spooky2 offers a way to save a program with all its sets and settings, so you can store and recall it instantly. And there's no limit to the number of presets you can save and store, as long as you're prepared to scroll through the resultant menu. Back to Content 69 Although the interface labels them as programs, we'll refer to them here as presets to distinguish them from the normal manually assembled programs we've been building up to now. Let's say I've noticed a lot of aerosols spraying by high-altitude jet aircraft, or chemtrailing going on in my area, and I've found, like many, that it seems to be affecting my breathing. It's a good idea for me to assemble a preset with frequency sets that will help take care of this so I can just look out the window at the sky, and load it up if they're spraying again. So first, we'll assemble all our frequency sets, and I start by typing chemtrail into the search box, Search chemtrail clear February 28, 2015, 2038, 13 chemtrail detox to have CAFL 1067783-6300.1 to 1045, 1062673.9, 690.7 chest infection secondary CAFL 72333452683 extra 664. 734 4 2 342 1147 63 euros point 6 34 point 1 euros 1 million 113 thousand 779 point 9 329 679 point 2 363 thousand 969 point 9 1 million 67 thousand 783 point 6 300 point 4 1045 1,062,673.9, 90.7 euros detox chemtrail 1 detox chemtrail 2 detox chemtrail 3 lung abscess lung general lung. 
Sinus bacteria program options frequency multiply repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble 1140.33 disabled extra 16542.41 16939.43 extra 16542.41 CAFL 228 231237 694719 887 CAFL 9 20 3672 CAFL 244 1466597 1311 out when out to duty side 50 50% amplitude 20 20 VO feed 00% phase angle 00 frequency limits hertz apply a octal C scalar percent 16 steps apply detox chemtrail 2 and 7 11 frequencies directly 1 FJ I get 11 results. I choose chemtrail detox 2 extra because it contains too high frequencies which penetrate lung cells and alveoli more effectively than low frequencies. I double click it to load it. I also pick lung general CAFL, breathing deep CAFL, and breathing difficulty dyspnea extra, and double click each in turn. This gives me a nice short program just over 55 minutes long whose sets will repeat more often in a given time, and thus will be more effective. Back to content 70 now I have the program I want to save as a preset. So I tick the allow channel overwrites box, then give a descriptive name to my preset so I can find it again. I type DB lungs into the program patient name field, then move on to its settings, because the sets in this preset are essentially detoxing and supporting my lungs, not killing things, I want to use a powerful square wave derivative, and they don't come any more powerful than the H-bomb square. I've added to that power by selecting inverse plus sync. But I could also have chosen a simple square wave with 100% positive offset, a lower amplitude of 9.5 volts, perhaps a duty cycle of 67% rather than 50% to increase the number of harmonics, then coupled it with inverse plus sync as well. And my preset would probably be equally effective, or perhaps even better. As always, the key to effective riffing is thoughtful experimentation to find the best way FORU. Because we are all not the same, although we are very, very similar, we are all essentially different, and as a result, disease manifests in each of us differently. Program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble amplitude ramp R1 duty side 1 amplitude 40 feed 0 phase angle 0.33 disabled. Disabled seconds reduce amplitude 10 kHz 4 Hz gate P randomize skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start MJ Wolf all ruin rum J1 C C C C C F2 equal F1 X1 I add FI to F2 Hz out 1 50 20 0 0 out 2 50 20 0 0 16 16 R R percent V percent O steps frequency limits. Hertz apply octal scalar out to control out to equal out one out to equal out one V copy gate waveform BX BY JBX BY follow out one spy plus ink inverse plus ink apply frequencies directly. Do MOT sort frequencies? Plus O Hertz volt stop win out one stop spike spectrum one RX length ratio percent R1020 RI020 RI I02 RI02 R102 R102 R802 RS02 RI602-1602 RI020 RI020 plus spike 7W, spike count 0 back to content 71 so now here's my preset, ready to be saved together with all its settings, channel 10 program patient name user data. V allow channel overwrites email message every time email SI enable emails and send screenshot notes run for a few days after chemtrailing detox chemtrail to extra lung general CAFL breathing deep CAFL breathing difficulty dyspnea extra LJ total runtime 055 26 send email save as to save it I click the plus button circled in red above DB lungs will now appear in the drop down menu whose arrow is immediately to the left of that plus button. To see it, I must click and hold on that arrow. You will see this on the next page. If I wanted to remove any preset from this menu, I would first select it in the drop down menu in order to load it, then I would click on the button immediately beneath the plus button. 
the preset will disappear from the menu and from the program slash patient name field, and its frequency sets will be deleted. But its settings will remain. Clinicians, this feature can also be used to track subject treatments. Simply enter the subject's name instead of a preset name. You may also enter your private clinical notes, the subject's email address, and a message that Spooky2 can send whenever you start or change the program. Please note that a POP email program like Outlook or Windows Mail is required, this doesn't work for IMAP accounts email accessed using an internet browser unless your POP email client is set up for IMAP. Back to Content 72 now, here's what my drop down menu looks like after I've saved DBLung's channel 0 user data to load a preset from this menu, I must first choose the channel I want to use by opening and closing its control panel. I then select the preset from this menu. This loads its frequency sets into the selection field. To run the preset, I must ensure that the Allow Channel Overwrites box is ticked before I click the channel button again. And here's my preset loaded into the channel control panel and ready to run. Back to Content 73 Channel Control 3 Start Oz Hold Stop Reverse Lookup in Dude Octal ITT 1 1 more than 16,939.43 16,500 16,949.43 16,500.42.41 16,949.43 16,949.43 16,949.43 Twenty thirty six seventy two nine twenty FI frequencies forty total runtime treatment duration zero fifty five twenty six zero o'clock detox chemtrail two extra lung general CAFL breathing deep CAFL breathing difficulty dyspnea extra output frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle out one zero square H bomb fifty percent of zero percent zero degrees out two zero inverse plus sync fifty percent of zero percent zero degrees so I click start and I can breathe easier. Note, when you install Spooky2, you will find five presets present in the menu. Two contain John White's recommended settings for killing pathogens and for healing detox shown below. The third is optimized for Char Bohm's marvelous and affordable DNA frequencies found here. The latest additions are John's recommended settings for Spooky Plasma and PEMF Papimi Waveform. You load each from the menu as a shell, then insert your own choice of frequency sets from the conditions list. Now that you know how to build and run programs and presets, here are some recommended settings for killing pathogens, for detoxing and healing, and for spooky 2S spectrum sweeps. Back to content 74 program options out 1 out 2 frequency multiplier 1 duty side 50 50% repeat every frag 1 amplitude 20 20 V repeat each set 1 O feed 00% repeat program 0 phase angle 0 0 0 dwell multiplier 1 amplitude wobble disabled 0% 16 steps frequency wobble disabled RJ 0% 16 steps amplitude ramp 5 seconds out to control reduce amplitude 10 kHz or 4 Hz gate I randomized I skip concurrent duplicate frec 17 remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start F2 equal F1 XI add FI to F2 Hz 1I CCRC C11 CI1 PFC carrot multiplied by carrot R out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1. 7 copy gate waveform BX BY JBX BY follow out 1 spike plus sync inverse plus sync 5 frequency limits hertz apply more than 0 octal 64,000 C scalar apply frequenase directly do NOT sort frequenase. Plus 0 hertz 1. Volt stop win out one stop spike spectrum x length ratio percent r one zero two zero r one zero two zero r one zero two r one zero two r one zero two r eight zero two r eight zero two r sixteen zero two r sixteen zero two i one zero two zero i one one zero two zero seven plus spike r seventeen spike count zero j w killing these are John White's recommended settings for killing living organisms using any targeted frequency set. John recommends using 1 as your dwell multiplier. However, I've had good results using 0.33, thus cutting total run times to one third. Try both, and stick with whatever works best for you. These settings are most effective when a spooky boost cable is connected to the generator's two outs. 
They are installed as a preset in your program slash patient name menu when you install Spooky 2. For contact mode, enter 1 for repeat each set instead of 4, and 1 for repeat program instead of 0. Important, run detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL at the same time on another generator, or immediately after on the same one. Back to content 75 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble amplitude ramp 11101 duty side amplitude o feet phase angle disabled i disabled 5 seconds reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz 4 hertz gate i randomize skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate freq and A's override pause schedule prevent global start f2 equal f1 hertz 3 out 15400 out 250 Four zero zero percent percent one C I C R J C I I add F I to F two C C C R R R sixteen sixteen out two control out two equal out one out two equal out one copy gate one two waveform R T carrot multiplied by carrot percent V percent zero frequency limits hertz apply more than zero octal zero C scalar apply steps frequencies directly steps do N O T sort frequencies one plus zero hertz one Bolts 7 stop win out 1 stop spike spectrum x length ratio percent m lwm 8861a2222222222 bxby ear z j1020 bxby j1020 follow out 17 plus spike spike plus inc r7 spike inverse plus inc count 0 jw healing these are john white's recommended settings for healing and for detoxification john recommends using one as your dwell multiplier however I've had good results using 0.33, thus cutting total run times to one-third. I've also had success substituting a plain sawtooth wave for the square. Try all these alternatives, and stick with whatever works best for you. These settings are most effective when a spooky boost cable is connected to the generator's two outs. They are installed as a preset in your program slash patient name menu when you install Spooky 2. For remote mode, Enter 4 for repeat each set instead of 1. For contact mode, enter 1 for repeat program. Back to content 76 program options frequency multiplier 1 duty side repeat every freq 1 amplitude repeat each set 1 offset repeat program 0 phase angle dwell multiplier 0.35 disabled amplitude wobble frequency wobble disabled amplitude ramp 5 seconds reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz or 4 hertz gate i randomized i skip concurrent duplicate freq 7 remove duplicate freq and A's override pause schedule prevent global start 3 out 193 4 100 0 out 293 3 4 dash 100 0 percent percent 16 16 f2 equal f1 x1 add f i2 f2 hertz out to control out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1 7 copy gate percent v percent 0 frequency limits hertz apply more than 0 octal 0 c scalar apply steps frequencies directly Steps do not sort frequencies 1 r y l i c c r c i c r i r carrot multiplied by carrot c c r 1, plus 0 Hz 1, bolt 17 stop win out 1 stop spike spectrum x length ratio percent m, lwm 8816222222222 bxby ear z j1020 bxby j1020 follow out 17 plus spike spike plus inc r7, spike inverse plus sync count 0 dh, killing healing these are David Halliday's recommended settings. They can be used with any frequency set for all purposes, killing, Killing and detox. When killing, you may wish to try entering 64,000 in the field of the frequency limits pane. This will raise all low subharmonics into the more effective KHZ range. These settings are most effective when a spooky boost cable is connected to the generator's two outs. Important, if you use these for killing organisms, run detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL at the same time on another generator or immediately after on the same one. Back to content 77 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble amplitude ramp 11101 duty side amplitude o feet phase angle disabled i disabled 5 seconds reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz 4 hertz gate i randomize skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate freq and A's override pause schedule prevent global start mf2 equal f1 xi add fi to f2 hertz out 1 out 250 
50-50% 20-20 V00% 000 frequency limits hertz apply more than zero. Octal K0C scalar apply 0% 16 steps frequencies directly D0% 16 steps do NOT sort frequencies you would Zilon try L2 equal out 1x.25 plus 0 hertz L2 equal out 1x, volts. 7 copy gate F stop when out 1 stops 1 IIR. C. RKCPC. CCC. CARC waveform spike length ratio RBXBYBXBY follow out 1 spike plus sync inverse plus sync 961111188161122222222222222 spectrum percent 100 0 RV plus spike 7. Spike count zero spooky spectrum sweep these are the settings for a dual output program using the spooky spectrum sweep CUST set. Best used when a spooky boost cable is attached to the generator's two outs with one spooky remote. They will also work when two spooky remotes are connected. With one spooky remote direct connected to out one, you will lose the fine grain second sweep from out two, but the main sweep will still transmit. The dwell multiplier must be set to 1 for the sweep to work correctly. Important: Run detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL at the same time on another generator, or immediately after on the same one. Back to content 78 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble amplitude ramp 11101 duty side amplitude o feet phase angle disabled i disabled 5 seconds reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz 4 hertz gate i randomize skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate freq and A's override pause schedule prevent global start mf2 equal f1 xi add fi to f2 hertz out when out 250 50% 2020 V00% 000 frequency limits hertz apply more than zero. Octal K0C scalar apply 0% 16 steps frequencies directly D0% 16 steps do NOT sort frequencies you would Z control out 2 equal out 1x, 1, plus 3,258,125 hertz out 2 equal out 1x, volts. 7 copy gate F stop when out 1 stops ACC waveform spike length ratio RBXBYJBXBY follow out 1 spike plus sync inverse plus sync 5961111188161122222222222222 spectrum percent 100 0 RV plus spike 7 Spike count zero spooky converge sweep these are the settings for a dual output program using the spooky converge sweep CUST set Best used when a spooky boost cable is attached to the generator's two outs with one spooky remote. They will also work when two spooky remotes are connected. With one spooky remote direct connected to out one, you will lose the reverse second sweep from out two, but the main sweep will still transmit. In this case, the sweep is identical to the spooky spectrum sweep above. The dwell multiplier must be set to one for the sweep to work correctly. Important. Run detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL at the same time on another generator, or immediately after on the same one. Back to content 79 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble amplitude ramp 11101 duty side amplitude offset phase angle disabled disabled 5 seconds reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz 4 hertz gate p randomize skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate freq and A's override pause schedule prevent global start f2 equal f1 x1 add fi to f2 hertz out when out 250 50-50% 2020 V00% 000% 16 steps 0% 16 steps wool. I L movie out 2 equal out 1 X out 2 equal out 1 X V copy gate frequency limits. Hertz apply octal scalar apply frequencies directly steps I do NOT sort frequencies minus 111 asterisk 2 I1. I C C C or C R R1 R C. C C 7 C. C0 or JLR waveform plus 292,001, volt 17 stop when out 1 stop spike length ratio hertz x MOE, 
Lay we be x b y b x b y follow out one spy plus inc inverse plus sync ninety six one 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 eight eight sixteen sixteen one one zero 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 two 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 spectrum percent forty four point five two one zero seven plus spike f seven spike count zero morgellon slime molds converge sweep these are the settings for a dual output program using the morgellon slime mold sweep cust set. They are best used when a spooky boost cable is attached to the generator's two outs with one spooky remote. They will also work when two spooky remotes are connected. With one spooky remote direct connected to out 1, you will lose the reverse second sweep from out 2, but the main sweep will still transmit. The dwell multiplier must be set to 1 for the sweep to work correctly. This is an example of what you can do when you know the frequency range for any species. Don't worry. We'll get to that later. First, let's dive a little deeper into remote mode. Back to contents 80 remote and contact modes the vast majority of Spooky 2 users will spend their time using remote and contact modes. Although these two ways of working may seem worlds apart, in reality there are only a few important operational differences between them. Here's a table that summarizes those differences, differences remote mode contact mode transmission wireless delivery. Spooky Remote Viaduct DNA Scalar Energy Wire Delivery Spooky Tubes Electrodes via DC Electricity Treatment Durations Takes More Time, Usually 1-3 Minutes Per Frequency Repeated Up to 20 Times A Day, Or Even Non-Stop Takes Less Time, Usually 3 Minutes Per Frequency Repeated Once or Twice A Day Radio Band Carriers Carrier Not Required, Frequencies Are Received By Every Cell That Contains DNA but use of a dynamic carrier will add therapeutic effect. Carrier may be required for deep body penetration. Static or dynamic carriers are possible, with dynamic strongly recommended for added therapeutic effect. Spectrum sweeps currently, spectrum sweeps are specifically engineered to be used in remote mode only. Currently, spectrum sweeps are not effective in contact mode because of their voltage requirements. Inverse plus inc doubles the power of remote mode by inverting out 2's waveform and adding its harmonic content to out 1. Quadruples the power of contact mode by inverting out 2's waveform, doubling its voltage potential, and adding a to out 1 doubling the voltage of a signal squares its power. As you can see, remote mode looks extremely attractive for those who lead busy lives. And there is also the problem that the very powerful and effective spectrum sweeps are not yet practicable in contact mode. However, there are considerable benefits to be had from using both modes, and our recommendation is to do one contact session on the main problem every day, then switch the generator over to remote mode. This way, you get the best of both worlds. Back to contents 81 so this section deals with using spooky 2 inches either mode, or both. Usually, the only software settings that need to be changed for each mode are repeat each set, repeat program, dwell multiplayer, amplitude, and the reduce amplitude checkbox. The wonderful thing about remote treatment is that it allows you to come and go as you please, and to lead a normal daily life. You're not spending hours out of each day connected by electric cables to the generator, nor are you required to stay within about 10 centimeters of a plasma tube although certain serious illnesses will require some daily contact or plasma sessions. In fact, you can even go abroad, as some users have done, and remotely control Spooky 2 from a laptop, an iPad iPhone, or an Android tablet smartphone using a free for personal use program called TeamViewer. So you can see it makes sense to use a Spooky remote, particularly as they're so inexpensive. The generators all have two outputs, so you can keep a remote permanently connected to one, while you use the other for contact treatments or for diagnostic sessions with Spooky Pulse. However, if you are using electrodes for any purposes, you should always remove your DNA package from the remote. This is because sending the same frequencies to the same subject using two different transmission methods means that their start times will not be synchronized. Scalar transmission is virtually instantaneous, but electrical transmission is not, so the identical waves will almost certainly be out of phase with one another, which can cause problems. So for everyday use with one spooky remote and a set of spooky tube electrodes, here are the out to control settings to enter, 
type 1 inch both multiply fields, and 0 inches both addition fields. You can also choose to copy your gate settings if any from one output to the other. There's another setting to make at the bottom of the window, out to control out 2 equal out 9 1, plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 9 1, volts copy gate V stop when out 1 stops back to content sense there in the 2 column, these controls only affect out 2, so you use them with a spooky boost or two spooky remotes. By its nature, direct connect to out 1 means that out 2 is not being used, so these controls do nothing in this case. With a boost or dual remotes, follow out 1 makes out 2 copy the waveform settings only from out 1 to out 2, out 2's frequencies are controlled by out 2 control. With a spooky boost and follow out 1 selected, you must alter out to controls frequency multiplier or addition settings in some way, otherwise both signals will be identical, and cancel each other out. Select inverse plus sync or spike plus sync instead. Selecting a different wave for out to deselects all options here since you can't sync two different waveforms. Finally, when you're switching between contact mode and remote mode on one generator, don't forget to change these settings. Program Options Frequency Multiplier Repeat Every Freq Repeat Each Set Repeat Program Dwell Multiplier Program Options Frequency Multiplier 1 Repeat Every Freq 1 Repeat Each Set 4 Repeat Program 0 Dwell Multiplier 33 Program Options Frequency Multiplier 1 Repeat Every Freq 1 Repeat Each Set 4 Repeat Program 35 Dwell Multiplier 33A Contact Repeats B Remote Repeats Endless Loop C Remote Repeats Timed Full dwell necessary. Dwell cut to one third dwell cut to one third A, in contact mode, just when run through the program is necessary all repeats are one, but default dwell should be used one. B, in remote mode, each set should be repeated four times. You can choose to run an endless loop by entering zero for repeat program. You can safely reduce default dwell times to one third by entering point three three as the value for dwell multiplier. C. You can also choose to run a time loop in remote mode. The values of 4 and 35 deliver the equivalent of 7 full contact treatments. But the dwell is cut to 0.33, so they're delivered one after another in a third of the time. So if your program takes 60 minutes in contact mode, using the settings in example C above would deliver 7 in a row in 2 hours 20 minutes. It's tempting to consider going all remote, but some of Spooky 2's goodies are best used in contact mode. Back to Contents 83 you can quadruple the power of remote mode by using a Spooky Boost cable. Connecting two Spooky remotes to one generator combines harmonics to the second remote, boosting effectiveness. However, even with one remote, you can boost your treatment power very substantially indeed by using the Holland 11th harmonic effect or by using extremely high frequencies. The Holland 11th Harmonic Effect Remote Contact Dr. Anthony Holland recently demonstrated that when the 11th harmonic of any frequency is applied simultaneously, its results are dramatically improved. Our own research agrees. There are two different ways to achieve this. The first uses frequency addition, enter 11 in the Hertz field. Check the box on the left and choose Add Fi to F2 from the menu. Spooky 2 shows the new additive wave in the waveform display. But Spooky 2 can also be set up to use the higher harmonic as a variable carrier, a world first. The carrier helps body penetration and also provides a powerful punch. As before, enter 11 in the Hertz field. Check the box on the left and select modulate F2 using FIM DSB from the menu. Spooky 2 shows the new modulated wave in the waveform display. Damped waves have built-in gating, this makes them much back to contents better at dealing with viruses, pathogens, and cancer cells. To create dynamic carriers using octal multipliers 64, 128, 256, etc., always try to use a value that will transpose your frequencies up to at least 50,000 Hz or higher. For frequencies lower than about 1 mHz 1 million Hz, a damp square wave format is best. This applies to most of the frequencies in Spooky 2S database. Frequencies greater than about 1 mHz are best used with the damp sinusoidal formats. This would include all the original RIFE frequencies and some of Spooky 2S custom sets UST, extra. 
Contact Mode Note, because this method allows you to use the Holland 11th harmonic as a dynamic carrier frequency, it means that contact electric treatments can be made much more effective, with deeper body penetration, without requiring a spooky boost cable. Using very high frequencies remote contact the Spooky 2-5M generator has a top limit of 5 mhz for arbitrary waves, which is what Spooky 2 creates. Using its wave cycle multiplier technology, Spooky 2 can transcend 84 F2 equal FIX 11 Hz degree degree LW add FI to F2, F2 equal FIX 11 Hz 0 degrees W modulate F2 using F1 AM DSB. This hard limit radically. Here's how to, to transmit up to 25 mhz with zero fall off in power or waveform distortion, 1111 spike length radio 2222222222 phi, plus spike, spike count 000000000000 spectrum percent 000000 you can use any waveform in the top red box for out 1, or their counterparts in the user menu's bottom box. Make your settings for out 2. Now enter 10 into your chosen waveform's wave cycle multiplier X field in red above. This tells Spooky2 to create 10 subwaves inside a single wave cycle. Since the hard limit for all XMs is 5 mhz, a back to contents value of 10 will multiply this up to a ceiling of 50 mhz. Spooky2 will then upload the wave of fun to the generator and instruct it to run at 5 mhz. But the output frequency will actually be what you specified be transmitted at full power, and with perfect waveforms up to 25 mhz. Now you have to transpose your low frequencies to higher values. There's no need to get out a calculator or re-enter numbers to do this, frequency multiplier 1j just use spooky 2s frequency multiplier feature. This is normally set to a default value of 1, but you can click in the field and set any value you wish. However, you should examine the list of frequencies you're transmitting so you can determine the best multiplier to use. Aim to get your lowest frequency up into the MHZ millions of hertz range, or as close to 1 MHZ as possible. Although you can actually go higher than 25 MHZ with this, note that towards the top end of your overdriven frequency range, power will attenuate as frequency increases, and the wave shapes will not be as accurately formed. But Spooky2 makes it possible to use your Spooky2 XM generator to output accurate and powerful frequencies far beyond its hardware design limits. Spooky Boost and Dual Remotes The Spooky Boost signal mixing cable enables you to combine the output of OUT1 and OUT2 and transmit a composite signal via a single Spooky remote, or via electrodes. However, you can also use two Spooky remotes with one 5M generator. Obviously, each remote requires its own DNA sample package. While every set in the treatment database can be made more powerful by adding a spooky boost or a second spooky remote, some can actually have extra functionality added, and a few require one or the other to work optimally. You'll always find the setup information for these in their additional notes, Pound Earth Spook Clear January 3, 2015 03531 Database, S slash PROV plus IBIO1, Vega I, Caffel Extra R, Cust Rife HCI, KHZ, ALT Clark Dual Spectrum Zapper CUST Clark Dual Zapper Contact CUST Clark Dual Zapper Remote CUST Colloidal Silver Generate CUST Morgellon Slime Molds SU CUST Program Finale 4 CUST 2500 equal 4200 D50 W9A 9.50100 250,000 equal 12,600, 2,500 equal 4,200, 250,000 equal 12,600, 2,500 equal 4,200, 250,000 equal 12,600, 50 equal 10,800, 2,500 equal 420 D50 W9A 9.50100, 0 equal 1260, 2,500 equal 420, 0 equal 1260, 2500 equal 420 2500 equal 4200 D50 W9A 9.50100 250000 equal 12600 2500 equal 4200 250000 equal 12600 2500 equal 4200 250000 equal 12600 50 equal 
10,000 800 1,000 equal 1,800. 10,000 equal 1800 145,286.417-146,713.583 W1GO A200465 Spooky Converge Sweep Spooky Spectrum Sweep Program Options CUST 1,595,645.833-1,500 1 GOA 20 00 CUST 1,595,645.833-1,662,479.167 equal 15,080 ml GOA2000 frequency multiply repeat every frec J repeat each set J repeat program duty side amplitude O feet out 150 20 0 out to 50 20 zero frequency limits hertz apply octal c scalar spooky converge sweep wave equal sign x equal 96 spectrum equal 100 percent out to equal out x minus 1 plus 3 million 258,125 hertz out to equal either a spooky boost cable or add a second spooky remote on out to out x1 volts targets all to see any sets additional notes Select it in the list. Its full name and notes if any will appear in the area ringed in red. So why would you ever want to use two spooky remotes instead of a spooky boost with one? Here's one very good reason, Epidemics remote you can easily treat a whole family for the same condition with a single spooky remote. But you can treat a whole neighborhood with two. Most people assume that when we talk about using fingernails, we mean that one person's DNA package should consist of multiple nails. Not true. You don't even need a full fingernail, a small segment of a nail will be just fine. Personally, I cut each fingernail back to contents 86 clipping into 3 or 4 small parts, and use one part per remote. But it's possible to go even smaller than this, so you can fit up to 50 different nail segments into one spooky remote. Even the tiniest sliver of a fingernail will contain DNA. So with two remotes on one generator, you could treat up to 100 people at a time. All will receive exactly the same treatment and power as if there were only one being taken care of. Load the set S, you want and check all additional notes for extra settings information. Then make these settings, type 1 inch both multiply fields, and 0 inches both addition fields. You can also choose to copy your gate settings if any from one output to the other. Then select follow out one to copy the waveform and related settings, and you're ready for some prime spooky 2 action. This copies what's going through out one to out two, so the signals from both outputs are identical. Spooky spectrum sweep dual output turbo boost remote this all pathogen sweep in the database is already a very powerful weapon against viruses, bacteria, and parasites. In its default state, it uses just one spooky remote. But if you add a spooky boost or a second remote, you can make it output a complementary sweep that will completely saturate the frequency bandwidth occupied by viruses and bacteria with mortal oscillatory rates MORs, giving them no place to hide. Load the spooky spectrum sweep set, make settings as detailed in its additional notes, then enter the following. Back to contents 87 type 0.25 and 0 in the frequency multiply and addition fields top line. This will divide all out L sweep frequencies by 4 and transmit the result. So out L spectrum sweep runs from 0 Hz to 3.2 million Hz, while out 2 adds a second spectrum sweep from 0 Hz to 800,000 Hz, which is where most major pathogens live. Type 1 and 0 in the voltage multiplier and addition fields bottom line. This copies out once amplitude settings to out 2. Follow out. Again, select follow out 1 to make out 2 transmit the same waveform and settings as out 1. Spy plus ink I I now you're ready to go hunting pathogens, both known and unknown. Spooky converge sweep dual output turbo boost remote running frequencies from low to high can have a different effect from running them high to low. Some targeted sets are designed to cripple pathogen components in a certain order for efficient devitalization. Some are also designed to kill life cycle stages in a set order. This program gives the best of both words by creating two sweeps, low to high, and high to low. 
both sweeps will converge on and pass through their mutual center frequency, coming at organisms from both sides. To run the spooky converge sweep, load the set, make the settings shown in the set's additional notes, then enter these also, out to control L out 2 equal out 1 X minus 1, plus 3,258,125 Hz out 2 equal out 1 X 1, volts L copy gate V stop when out 1 stops back to contents type minus 1 and 3,258,125 in the frequency multiply and addition fields top line. The negative multiplier tells Spooky to sweep on out 2 inches in negative direction from high to low. Any addition value tells it to start at 3,258,125 Hz. 88 type 1 and 0 in the voltage multiplier and addition fields bottom line. This copies out 1's amplitude settings to out 2. Select follow out 1 to make out 2 transmit the same waveform and related settings as out 1. Now you've got two spooky spectrum sweeps running in opposite directions, both produced by one 5M generator. Harmonic power remote contact frequencies are always more effective when they're augmented by a higher harmonic of themselves. Remember that every frequency can be transposed down into the human audio range and experienced as a musical pitch. So what you're doing by adding a harmonic is playing a chord. In music, and in rife, a chord is always more powerful than a single note frequency. Although harmonics can be calculated by repeatedly adding the fundamental, or original, frequency, it's easier to just use a multiplier. Some harmonics we've come across in Rife include the Holland 11th Harmonic 11 is the multiplier, the 3rd Harmonic 3 is the multiplier, and the 64th Harmonic used in the Parasites Ropeworm CUST set. So to add a harmonic frequency on the second spooky remote, you simply enter your positive value in the top multiply field of the out to control pane, and a value of 0 in the addition field. The frequencies transmitted via OUT1 will then be multiplied by your harmonic value and transmitted simultaneously via OUT2. It's also possible to add a harmonic by building it into the fundamental frequency using the F2 equal F1 controls, then choosing an option from the menu below. But using a second remote and the OUT2 control gives you something you can't get any other way, control over your harmonics amplitude. Here, OUT1 has an amplitude of 5 volts. Out to control out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1 copy gate x11 plus 0 x 1.8 volts v stop when out 1 stops hertz let's say you wish to add the Holland 11th harmonic but run it at 9 volts. Enter the settings on the left to get the results on the right 9 slash 5 equal 1.8. Back to contents 89 out to control out 2 equal out 911 plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 1 x.35 volts. Copy gate stop when all T1 stops in the second example, out 1 amplitude is 20 volts. This time, you decide you want your Holland 11th harmonic to run at 7 volts. Enter the settings on the left to get the results on the right 7 slash 20 equal 0.35. The Skun effect remote contact Aubrey Skun was one of the UK pioneers of Rife therapy. The story, possibly apocryphal is told that while experimenting with two machines transmitting what he believed was the same frequency, he found that the effects were greatly amplified, but was then astounded to discover that one of the machines had actually been transmitting a frequency that was 0.1 Hz greater than the other. There are still people alive today who were part of that circle who claim it never happened, and that it was based on a conversational misunderstanding that became set in stone. Nevertheless, there are some highly experienced researchers who swear by it, and use it constantly. Here's how to do it using both outputs in Spooky 2, just enter a value of 1 in the top multiply field to copy out else frequencies to out 2, then enter point 0.1 in the addition field simplicity itself. If you wish, you can add extra punch if you choose to implement the Holland 11th harmonic on the signal from out 1 by making the following extra settings in the F2 equal FI pane, now you have two copies of a waveform that incorporates its own 11th harmonic, and one of them is 1 Hz greater than the other. Plus, its voltage is controllable. 0, F2 equal FI X 11 Hz 0. Add FI to F2. Out to control out 2 equal out 9 1, plus 0.1 Hz out 2 equal out 1 X 1, 
Volts V copy gate V stop win out one stops back to contents 90 foot plates and tens pads I have already shown you how to connect and use handheld electrodes in the sections headed spooky tube electrodes on page 12 and standard electrodes on page 13. But there are other kinds of electrodes, too, foot plates and tens pads. Foot plates are electrodes which can be used in addition to, or instead of, handheld tubes. Some commercial rife machines only have one set of connections, so they allow you to use tubes or foot plates, but not both. You can, of course, use an adapter to physically connect both. But in this case, your output power will be shared between them. With Spooky 2, you can simply connect your tubes to OUT1 and your foot plates to OUT2, and you'll get up to 20 controllable volts from each. Believe it or not, your skin is quite a good low voltage insulator. This is why higher amplitudes are required for contact treatments, generally 14 to 20 volts. By adding foot plates to your hand tubes, you can get greater body coverage without skin resistance attenuating the signal too much. This is generally a good idea when dealing with systemic problems. And it's specifically indicated when you're treating the legs or lower trunk, colon or lower GI tract, gynecological and prostate problems, for example. The foot plates on the left came with a mid-range commercial machine, and they're full-sized, solid plates of stainless steel. The Nike tennis wristbands I use to ensure contact with my soles whenever I wish to use them while lying down. The tube at the, the top is for size comparison with the image on the following page. Back to contents 91 the set of foot plates came with a much more expensive setup. And I've included the same tube in the photo at the same scale so you can see how much smaller they are, half as long and wide as the previous set. I've no idea what kind of metal they're made from, but when you pick one up by its connector, it will wobble and bend readily. Proving that price is no guarantee of quality. However, they do show how easy it would be to make these yourself, two decent sized pieces of thin stainless steel. Attach the alligator clips cable that came with your generator, and you have a serviceable set of foot plates to connect to out too. When you do use foot plates, remember that the skin on the soles of your feet is much tougher which means it's a better insulator. So it's a good idea to place your foot plates on a towel and wrap them in kitchen tissue dampened with tap or salted water to enhance conductivity. And although they're called foot plates, you can use them anywhere on your body. A more flexible alternative is a TENS pad right. These are rubber sticky pad electrodes for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation units used in medicine for pain control. They are available on the Spooky 2 mall site here, along with the TENS cable. Pad placement should be on either side of the area to be treated. For an organ, front and back is best, so you transect it with energy through the body. Some TENS pads use snap-on electrical connections, and some use pin sockets like those pictured right. Back to contents 92 for snap-on connectors, simply attach an alligator clip to each one TENS pads should be used in pairs, like any other electrodes. For pads that use sockets, you can buy two of the TENS pin 6-inch cables pictured below here. Each pin is inserted into a pad socket and the other end of each cable can be stripped of its insulation and connected to an alligator clip. The connections can then be wrapped with paper masking tape. Or, if you can handle a screwdriver, you can quickly make up your own permanent cables using TENS pins and banana plugs, both from here. Attach these to the ends of two suitable lengths of 12-gauge single-core wire from any electrical supplies store. Then connect it all up to your generator with this BNC to dual banana plug adapter for a more durable, tidy, and professional setup pictured below right. For foot plates and for TENS pads, here are the settings, which can also be used to connect two sets of hand electrodes to treat two subjects with the same condition, as you'll see in AJL2 control I out 2 equal out 91, plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 91, volts. Copy gate V stop when out 1 stops follow out. KR spike plus sync I, C inverse plus sync I back to contents meant, 93 using a carrier wave contact carrier waves allow frequencies to penetrate the body easier. However, they are not required for remote mode. In contact mode, you can use almost any carrier frequency. 
we recommend using the Holland 11th harmonic as your dynamic contact carrier since it will not only carry the encoded fundamental frequencies, but also act as a powerful additional left hook in itself. Today's most common static carrier waves are 3.1 mHz and 3.3 mHz. Here's how to create a static 3.1 mHz carrier, JL2 control I out 2 equal out X0, I3 million 100,000 Hz I out 2 equal out 91. Volts are copy gate and stop when OLF T1 stops this will create your carrier on out 2. Note that static carriers have no therapeutic effect, they're used for transport only. You can enter any carrier frequency you like, and you can copy out L's gate settings to your carrier as well. To create a dynamic carrier instead, enter your multiplier value like 11 for the Holland 11th harmonic into the first field and out to control preceded by the X, and 0 into the back to content second field preceded by the using electrodes with two subjects contact spooky to allows two subjects with the same condition to receive frequencies using two pairs of contact electrodes. Here's how, make all the settings you require for waveform, etc. Then click the follow out one selector button at the bottom of the waveform pane. Now go to out to control and enter the following settings, J out to control I out 2 equal out 91, plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 91, volts. Fee? Copy gate? Stop when out one stops you can also choose to copy any gate settings, and even change the amplitude of out to if you wish. Connect one pair of electrodes to out one of the generator, and another pair to out two. Now both subjects will receive the same frequencies. 94 inverse plus sync I've shown you how Spooky2 provides a way to greatly increase the effectiveness of contact treatment by connecting footplates or TENS pads in addition to the handheld electrodes, thus putting both outputs to work. And of course connecting a Spooky Boost cable also harnesses both outputs by mixing their signals and sending the result to one remote or set of electrodes. But can you do this without a Spooky Boost? Yes, you can, if you have two BNC2 alligator clips cables. Every 5M generator comes from the factory with one. If you have more than one generator, you can use a second cable. You can also buy these at electronics stores, or make one yourself. By doing this, you can apply a constant amplitude of up to 20 volts in contact mode treatments doubling the voltage squares its power. So you get 4 times the power, thanks to inverse plus sync. Here's how, connect both cables to out 1 and out 2. Now separate the red clips from the black ones we won't be connecting the black clips, so you can wrap each one in paper masking tape. Now connect one red clip to a spooky tube electrode, and do the same for the other red clip, each red clip should be attached to an electrode. By connecting in this way, you're about to enable a true bipolar signal, which give an additional fourfold increase in power. Back to contents 95 now, depending on when you bought your XM generator, you may have one simple extra step to complete. Models sold from about two weeks after the range was launched will automatically synchronize both their outputs when you select inverse plus sync or spike plus sync in Spooky 2. So if you bought yours after that time, you can skip the step. See here for help with identification. If you were an early adopter, simply enter the following key sequence on the generator's front panel, CH2, F5, F5, Sync, TF, NB. After you've finished your inverse plus sync session, you must enter the exact same key sequence again to desynchronize the outputs and return the generator to normal use. Later models automatically desynchronize when you reselect follow out 1. Follow out LJ now select inverse plus sync. C spy plus sync J leader multiplied by inch verse plus S9 J Lu J Y R program. But before you click the start button, please make sure you check this BOX in the program options pane. Reduce amplitude 10 kHz Y degree you don't, and there's a low frequency somewhere in your program, you're going to have a very close encounter with your ceiling, because at this amplitude, low frequencies are going to bite hard enough to make you jump like a steep lacaser so you can imagine what this kind of power is going to do to pathogens. For killing, this can also be prevented by using the JW killing preset. NB, for standard electrodes, use a second BNC to dual banana adapter on out 2, and connect both electrodes to the red sockets. 
Inverse plus sync makes an amplifier unnecessary for all but the most serious problems. But there's more, isn't there always with Spooky too? Because the implementation of inverse plus sync also enabled something very special indeed. Originally, I called it the chainsaw wave thanks to my writer's flair for the dramatic. I've calmed down a bit since, so I can discuss it sensibly now. Up to this, we've only mentioned using inverse plus sync in contact mode. But note that this can be used in remote mode, too. Back to contents 96 back to contents in order for you to understand it clearly. I want to show you what happens to the waveforms on OUT1 and OUT2 when the three different options at the bottom of the list are selected. In all three cases, the waveform is the default damp sinusoidal. On the left, follow OUT1 is selected. This means that the signal on OUT1 is copied exactly to OUT2. You can see this clearly because the red and blue waveforms are identical. Over the first peak, both waves M up from 0 to plus 10 at the same time. So the total energy from this positive peak is 10 volts from each output. In the second example, the only difference is that I've selected inverse plus sync instead of follow out 1. At first glance, the red and blue waveforms don't appear to have changed. But look closer, the blue one is no longer an exact copy of the red one. Instead, it's a reversed mirror image of it. Over the first peak, the red wave moves from 0 to plus 10 at the same time as the blue wave moves from 0 to minus 10. This means that the total energy from this positive peak is now 20 volts from each output since the difference between minus 10 and plus 10 is 20. 97 and this piece of electronic wizardry explains how an initial 10 volt signal on out 1 can become a 20 volt wallop when you use two outputs coupled with inverse plus sync. But something rather different happens to the wave on out 2 when you select spike plus sync and put a tick in its invert waveform checkbox to the right. For every subwave in the composite waveform and there are 11 as you can see from the X field spooky 2 injects one high voltage spike at every positive and negative peak on out 2. These spikes are extremely powerful and can be tailored to your liking. When the new spooky plasma unit is released, inverse plus sync and spike plus sync will come into their own enabling true reversible electroporation. For now, using them in treatments provides a unique and very powerful way to hammer the living daylights out of even the toughest pathogen or parasite. For certain acute or very advanced conditions where time is of the essence, however, spooky plasma will be indispensable, and will deliver rapid and effective electroporation, puncturing pathogen cells walls to kill in milliseconds and opening up cancer cells so that rife frequencies can destroy them quickly. As you can see, the software end is already in place and working. So expect an announcement on the hardware shortly. Now I need to show you how to sculpt and control all this awesome power, so I'll start with the chainsaw wave graphic that John used to introduce in Verse Plus Sync to the world. Back to Contents 98 this is one single cycle of a damp sinusoidal that's been transformed into a chainsaw wave. As you can see, there are an awful lot of spikes, 50, to be precise, 25 of them positive and 25 negative. The number of spikes is controlled by the number of subwaves that make up the composite wave, 25 is entered in the X field. Spike length controls the length of time the spike is applied for, 2 is a good value for frequencies over 10,000 Hz, and 1 for frequencies lower than this. Spike ratio dictates how powerful the spike amplitude is in relation to the rest of the waveform. To demonstrate these controls more clearly, I'll use something a little less confusing to the eye, a plain sine wave. Back to contents 99 here's our sine wave, composed of 5 subwaves x equal 5. There's a voltage spike at each positive and negative peak plus spike and spike are both ticked, and each one is transmitted for 2 time units spike length equal 2. Spike ratio is set to 2, which means that the amplitude of each spike is twice that of the overall waveform. You can see that the curved wave only rises and falls halfway to the top and bottom of the window, but each spike goes all the way. Now let's try changing the spike length and spike ratio so you can see the difference these make. Back to contents 100 here I've changed the spike length to 16 and the spike ratio to 8 so you can clearly see what's going on. The physical width of each spike which is the left to right time axis has obviously increased, 
and the height of the underlying parent wave which is the vertical amplitude axis has decreased, but the spike's height amplitude has remained the same. Note that a spike length of 16 as shown wouldn't be a good value to enter because high voltage would be applied for longer, this would be painful. I have used this value simply to demonstrate how the waveform's shape changes in response. Ok, so what do the other spike controls do? Back to contents 101 these are the exact same settings as in the previous graphic, the only thing I've changed is the spike count. Spooky 2 now gives me the number of spikes I want. 5. If I want spikes on every peak, I don't have to count those peaks, and then enter the result. Entering 0 for spike count will do it automatically for me. Why would I want this? Well, it should keep pathogens off balance, giving them much less chance to get into the rhythm. Back to contents 102 JF2 equal FIX add FI to F2 Hertz 0 waveform BX BY JBX BY follow out spike plus sync. R5 R1 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 R11 R11 R16 R16 R1 J1 R1 spike spectrum length ratio percent inverse plus sync 16800200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200200
If you compare the output waveform paints in both images, you can clearly see the two different output signals, they are mirror images of each other. Now that's what I call taking control. 106 The Spooky 2 Interface Spooky 2 June 2, 2015 C. John White A File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Search Clear February 6, 2015 1949 52 Database Abdominal Cramps Extra Abdominal Inflammation CAFL Abdominal Pain CAFL Abdominal Pain Extra Abscess No Cardia Asteroid Extra Abscesses 2 Extra Abscesses 3 Extra Abscesses Secondary CAFL 72 95,190,304 million one hundred ninety thousand three hundred four twenty seven twenty twenty four eighty nine twenty one seventy eighteen euros five eighteen hundred one euro o o one five five o eight eight o eight three two eight o two seven eight seven seventy seven euros seven hundred twenty seven six o four six five four five o four 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 o four two eight three eight o euros one hundred forty six thousand one hundred twenty five 95, 72, 20, 1.2 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 30405 224 26 5,000, 10,000, 228 228231237694710887, 2890, 11,092.19, 11,096.87, 22.217.0.18.6.5.1.5.5.0.8.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.0.8.
It also allows you to exit Spooky 2. Database This menu features commands that allow you to select a different database on disk from the one currently load, edit either the main or your custom database, and to load those edits into Spooky 2. Global The global menu's commands allow you to control all generators in your rig at the same time you can start, pause, hold, and stop everything all at once. Online Choosing a command from this menu will launch your web browser and take you to various spooky to connected websites. Utiles, you'll find six very useful commands in this menu, allowing you to install drivers, re-establish communication with offline generators, relate generators to port numbers, and identify patients. Advanced menu, you won't find a list of commands in this menu. Instead, clicking it opens the advanced menu where you can set all sort of important things then forget about them. Help, for very good reasons, there are no help related commands in this menu. Instead, you can see the people who help make Spooky to what it is today, and find out which version you're running. Advanced menu so let's start with the file menu and take a look at all its commands, back to contents 108 file database global online utiles create frequency set create spectrum sweep restore original default save as startup default refresh waveforms exit ctrl plus s advanced menu help pair i 9,190,304 more than 20 2489 2170 18 more than 000 3000 95 3 3 lu 10,000 58,231,237,694,70,2170,1865,15 15 more than 20, 2170,1865,15,550,802,760,660,CTRL plus X1 Lu 10,000, Create and save your own frequency sets. File Database Global Online Utiles Create Frequency Set Create Spectrum Sweep Restore Original Default Save as Startup Default CTRL Plus S Refresh Waveforms Exit CTRL Plus X Advanced Menu Help Here 1, 9,190,304 More Than 20, 2489, 2170, 18, 000, 3000, 95, 3, 3 More Than 000, 10,231,237,694, 7 more than 20, 2170, 1865, 15 more than 20, 2170, 1865, 15 asterisk 50,802.760, 660, 3. Restore Spooky 2s Original Factory Default Settings. Back to Contents File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Create Frequency Set Allure Create Spectrum Sweep S, 9190, 3420, 2489, 2170, 18 1000, 3000, 95, 3, 3 100, 10,000 3 billion 231 million 237,694, 720, 2170, 1865th, 15, 20, 2170th, 1865th, 15, 50,802, 760, 660, 1 Restore Original Default Save as Startup Default CTRL plus S Refresh Waveforms Exit CTRL plus X2. Create and save your own Spectrum Sweep programs. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Create Frequency Set Create Spectrum Sweep Restore Original Default Save as Startup Default CTRL Plus S Refresh Waveforms Exit CTRL Plus X Year K 190 304 More Than 20 2489 2170 18000 3000 95 3 3 more than 00, 10,058,231,237,694, 7 more than 20, 2170, 1865, 15 more than 20, 2170, 1865, 15F, 50,802,760,660, 4. Save the current settings as Spooky 2S Startup Default. 
109 File Database Global Online Blue Tiles Advanced Menu Help Create Frequency Set Create Spectrum Sweep R Restore Original Default Save as Startup Default CTRL Plus S Refresh Waveforms R Exit I CTRL Plus X File Database Global Online Blue Tiles Advanced Menu Help Create Frequency Set Create Spectrum Sweep Restore Original Default Save as Startup Default CTRL Plus S Here 9,190,304.20 2,489th, 2,170th, 13, 1,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3, 100, 10,000, 8 billion, 231 million, 237 thousand, 694, 7, 20, 2,170th, 13, 65, 15, 20, 2,170th, 1,865th, 15 I more than 50,802, 760, 660, dash refresh waveforms exit CTRL plus X. 5. Reloads all custom waveforms into Spooky 2. 6. Quit Spooky 2. The red X also does the same job. The first two commands in the file menu open new windows in which we can create different kinds of frequency sets. The first which opens when we choose Create Frequency Set, allows us to create our own frequency set and add it to our custom database. It can consist of a single frequency, or a list. It can be a linear ascending or descending sweep, or even a mix of single frequencies and sweeps. We can assign a single default dwell to all frequencies, or we can specify a different dwell for each. We can even insert simple code at any point that will tell Spooky2 to switch to a different waveform turn the gate on or off, change the amplitude or offset positive or negative, and we can alter the phase angle of the output. We can even, instead of a frequency, enter a wavelength of light, and Spooky2 will convert it to the highest subharmonic possible. Then we can add our own notes, name, and save it. The second command, Create Spectrum Sweep, lets us create three different kinds of spectrum sweep similar to the very powerful Spooky Spectrum Sweep and Spooky Converge Sweep. Just enter start and end frequencies, plus a few other important details, name your sweep, then save it. When you select it for use, you'll see the settings you must enter in its additional notes. Back to Contents 110 Create Frequency Set Give your program a descriptive name. This will assist you when you do a program search. The program will be saved in the custom database. Program name cancel frequencies and optional commands are entered using a comma to separate each program step. Advanced users may also use any of the following commands. XXXE sweeps the frequency from XXXHz to EHz. Equal XXXX is the dwell seconds this frequency is to be applied. Example, 2127 equal 180, 2128 equal 240, 2127 to 2128 equals 600 WXX is the waveform for this frequency. The values of X for when specifying the waveforms are 1 for sine waves, 2 for square waves, 3 for sawtooth. Email a copy to Cancer Clinic NZI Save and Exit 4 for inverted sawtooth, 5 for triangle, 6 for damp sinusoidal, 7 for damp square. 8 for H-bomb sinusoidal. 9 for H-bomb square GXX is 1 to turn gating on. 0 for no gating. XX is the amplitude voltage peak to peak of the output. LXX is a light wavelength in nanometers nm which Spooky2 will convert to a frequency. OXX is the offset percent of the output. Use lowercase o for negative offset, uppercase o for positive. PXX is the phase angle of the output. Example, 2,127,100 minus 200 equal 120D45W4G1A50100. This will produce an output of 2127 Hz for the default dwell, then a sweep from 100 Hz to 200 Hz over 120 seconds using a 45% duty side, inverted sawtooth waveform, getting enabled. Output voltage 5 volts with a 100% volt offset suitable for driving equipment with a signal level of 0 to 5V. Please note that the full set of commands above is limited to the Spooky 2 generator. 
amplitude and offset cannot be altered in the UDB1108S, and its waveforms are limited to sine, square, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, and triangle. Frequencies enter the default duration on seconds you wish to apply each frequency. Dwell any notes for this program should be entered here. Spooky 2 will include this in searches. Additional notes 1. This is the window that opens menu. Back to contents 111 Spooky 2 allows you to enter an unlimited number of your own frequency sets into a custom database. The Create Frequency Set screen contains comprehensive instructions. We'll reproduce them here in a moment so you can appreciate fully how much power you have when you write your own frequency sets and print them out if you wish. I program name program name, click in the field and type your program name. Give it a good descriptive one so you'll be able to identify it in a search list. Something like Cancer Throat Sweep XX is good because it will show in searches for Cancer, Throat, and Sweep. You can substitute XX with your own initials, a numeral, or leave it out entirely. It's your choice. Frequencies, now we come to enter the frequencies. You can either type them in, or copy and paste them all at once from another document. In all cases, each frequency in the set must be separated by a comma, with no spaces, otherwise Spooky2 will report an error and name the offending frequency set when your custom database is next loaded or you try to load the program you've just entered. So please check all the information you've entered here very carefully before finalizing your entry. You can also enter a plethora of very powerful commands in this field along with your frequencies. We'll deal with entering these commands in a moment. I I dwell dwell, this is the amount of time in seconds you wish to transmit each frequency in your set for. If you're unsure of what this should be, 180 seconds is a good default. Note that you can specify individual frequency deviations from this default by entering a simple command shown later. Back to contents 112 additional notes, you can use field this to add notes to your program for any purpose. The text you enter here will be included in all Spooky2 searches, and will appear in the text area beneath the conditions list when you click on the set's name. Additional notes I if you make a textual mistake when entering a set, don't worry. You can edit it later by clicking the Edit Custom Database button in the Advanced menu. You can also choose to open your custom file in Notepad and edit it there. The Commands List The following commands are entered into the Frequencies field at the point in your frequency sequence where you want them to take effect. Letters can be capitals or lowercase. XXXE This is how you enter a sweep between two frequencies XXX stands for one frequency, and E for the other. If you want an ascending sweep, enter the lower frequency first, then type a hyphen the sweep command, followed by the higher frequency. For a downward sweep, enter the higher frequency first, then a hyphen, and then the lower one. Equal XXX, for any frequencies, you can specify different dwells from the default you want applied to the rest. Just type an equal sign the dwell command followed by the dwell in seconds. Back to content spooky 2 allows you to select a different waveform for every frequency in your set if you wish. WX, after the frequency for which you want to use a different wave, just type W followed by the number of the wave as shown in the list below. Sine wave, 1 square wave, 2 sawtooth wave, 3 inverted sawtooth, 4 triangle wave, 5 damp sinusoidal. 6 damp square, 7 h bomb sinusoidal, 8 h bomb square, 9 the last 4 waveforms shown above are only available on the Spooky 2-5M generators, not on the UDB1108S. 113 if you wish to add a gate for some frequencies, no problem. GX, after the target frequency or command, type G followed by 1 to turn counting on, and G followed by 0 to turn it off. With the Spooky 2-5M generator only, you can boost or cut the amplitude, or output voltage. X, after your target frequency or command, type A followed by the voltage you wish to use. The new generator also allows you to change the offset. Aux, after your target, for positive offset type uppercase O followed by the value desired as a percentage of amplitude rather than a voltage. For negative offset type lowercase O. You can also change the phase angle of the output. PX, 
After your target, type P followed by the value you require. LX, Spooky 2 allows you to enter light wavelengths directly. Type L followed by your wavelength in nanometers nm. Spooky 2 will automatically convert this to the highest subharmonic frequency your generator is set up to transmit. Back to contents codes example, you have 6 frequencies, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, and 600. You want 100 and 200 to transmit for your default dwell of 3 minutes, and 300 to transmit for 10 minutes, all using a square wave with amplitude of 9 volts and an offset of 0. Enter. 100 W2A 200,300 equals 600, you then want 400 to sweep up to 450 over a period of 30 minutes using a sine wave. Add, 400 minus 450 equal 1800 WL, finally, you want 600 to use a square wave again for your default dwell. You also want an amplitude of 5 volts and a positive offset of 2.5 volts which is 50% of the amplitude. Add, 600 w 2 a 5050 so here's your entire string of frequencies and commands, 100 w 2 a 200,300 equals 600,400 minus 450 equal 1800 WL, 600 w 2 a 5050 some features and waveforms are only available on the Spooky 2-5M generator, not on the UDB1108S. 114 When you're happy with your program, click the Save and Exit button. The following alert will appear, IJ click Yes to write the new set to your custom database. Click No to return to the Create Frequency Set window and continue working on your set. Remember, you can always go back and edit your programs in the database editor available from the database menu. If you wish to give back to the Spooky2 community, you can do so by ticking the box provided to email us your scan results for inclusion in an anonymous database that will be freely provided to all who need it. If you change your mind for some reason, you can simply click the cancel button. The following alert will appear, cancel J confirm save and exit back to contents exit without saving click on yes to exit. Your set will not be saved and you will be returned to the main spooky 2 window. Clicking No brings you back to the Create Frequency Set window to continue working on your set. Please note that you will also see these same alerts in the Create Spectrum Sweep window when you click the Save and Exit and Cancel buttons. 115 Create Spectrum Sweep Spectrum applies many frequencies simultaneously. Here you may design your own Spectrum Sweep that covers a broad band of frequencies. Program Name Give your program a descriptive name. This will assist you when you do a program search. The program will be saved in the custom database. Cancel spectrum low frequency 0 spectrum high frequency 3 million frequency tolerance 0 0.025 degree slash O frequency application time 180 seconds wave cycle multiplier 96x frequency hits per sweep 1 hertz hertz create single spectrum sweep uses out 1c create dual converge sweep uses both outs are create dual weighted sweep low freq weighting uses both outs save and exit spectrum sweep info spectrum equal 100% sweep start frequency equal 1,491,812.5 hertz sweep stop frequency equal 1,508,187.5 hertz frequency spacing equal 15,625 hertz total sweep duration equal 1,530 sweep speed equal 4.16667 hertz slash second spectrum amplitude equal 0.208 volts database entry view CUST 65.5 wave equal sine X equal 96 spectrum equal 100% comma 1,491,812.5-1,508,187.5 W1GOA2000-929.2 This is the window that opens when you choose the Create Spectrum Sweep command from the File menu. This allows you to design and create your own Spectrum Sweeps based on the information you input. Program Name Make searches easier with a meaningful name including something like spectrum or sweep is a good idea. Spectrum low frequency spectrum high frequency, enter your lower and higher sweep limits here. Example, 
Dr. Helga Clark found that the bandwidth for molds and mycotoxins was approximately 85,000-300,000 Hz. To build a spectrum sweep to target these, you'd enter 85,000 for spectrum low frequency and 300,000 for spectrum high frequency. Back to contents 116 frequency tolerance, this is the range above and below an organism's mortal oscillatory rate MR in which a frequency will still be effective. Although Dr. Reif originally expressed this as a wavelength of light, it's generally accepted that a good rule of thumb is plus or minus 0.025% of the organism's MOR. However, larger values may generally be input for sweeps that are intended for purposes other than killing pathogens. Frequency application time, the amount of time in seconds you wish each MOR to be applied for 180 is a reasonable value. Wave cycle multiplier, the number of subwaves that will create your sweep. We recommend using 96 or fewer. Note that setting a value here does not set it in the wave cycle multiplier field in the program options pane, this must still be set manually by you when you enter your settings for the program you're about to create. The value input here is solely for sweep calculation purposes. Frequency hits per sweep, the number of times during your sweep you wish each MOR to be applied. Sweep type buttons, you have three choices. Single, creates a single sweep that will use out one only and will proceed from low to high frequency. Dual converge, creates a dual convergent sweep that will use out one and out two, requires connection to both outputs. These will proceed simultaneously from low to high, and from high to low. Dual weighted, creates a dual sweep, one weighted towards the lower frequency range, requires connection to both outputs. Both sweeps will proceed simultaneously from low to high. Spectrum Sweep Info shows necessary settings and other information for the spectrum sweep based on your input. To update it after changing a field, please select a sweep type. Database Entry View at the bottom of the screen, you see your custom spectrum sweep exactly as it will appear in your database. To update it after changing a field, please select a sweep type. Save and Exit Cancel buttons, when you're happy with your sweep, click Save and Exit. To discard your work, click Cancel. Back to Contents 117 Database Menu, these four commands allow you to carry out various database file operations while Spooky2 is running, from selecting a different database to editing main and custom databases, then loading your edited work. File Database Global Online Blue Tiles Advanced Menu Help Circ Select Database File Clear J Edit Main Database Edit Custom Database Refresh Database ABDJ ABD 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 AFCS 72 9190324272439 10,223,231,237,694, 71. Opens a Windows File Navigation dialog to allow you to select and load a different database. File Database Global Online Blue Tiles Advanced Menu Help Search Select Database File Clear AFC DAFC DABD ABD ABS Edit Main Database Edit Custom Database Refresh Database 72. 9190324 2470 18 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3 5,000, 10,228 million 231,237.694, Opens your personal custom database in the database editor to allow you to make changes and save them. File Database Global Online Blue Tiles Advanced Menu Help Search Select Database File Clear ABD 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 AFCS Edit Main Database Edit Custom Database Refresh Database 72 9190324 2480 2170 18 10,000 3,000 95 3 3 5,000 10,228,231,237,694,72 Open Spooky2S main database in the built-in database editor so you can make changes and save them. 
File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Search Select Database File Clear ABD 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 Abs Edit Main Database Edit Custom Database Refresh Database 72 9 million 190 thousand 304 27 20 24 89 21 70 18 10 thousand 3 thousand 95 3 3 5 thousand 10,228 billion 231 million 237 thousand 694 74 After you've edited and saved a database file, use this command to load your work into Spooky2. Back to Contents 118 2 and 3. The database editor has its own built-in help manual, so I don't propose to go into it here. And I must be honest and say that I find it needlessly complex for the task of editing what is really quite a simple database. So I never use it myself. Instead, I'm going to show you how I edit databases. This is how I prepare every new Spooky2 database update for general release. It's simpler, it's quicker, and it's a heck of a lot less confusing and cluttered. All you need is Notepad, the little text editor that comes standard with Windows. But first, before you do any editing, make a backup copy of the file you're going to work on. Back to Contents 119 Let's say I want to edit my custom database to add a cancer set. First, I navigate to my Spooky2 folder on C, Drive and open it. Then I right-click on the custom CSV file and choose Open with Notepad. I then select and copy all the following text, name, CUST, OO. Add your own notes here. Comma 123,456, 654,321, 180 The database files are in CSV format, which stands for comma separated values. This means that the different types of value in the frequency set, the name, sub-database, running time, additional notes, frequencies, and dwell, are all separated by commas, as you can see, the name, notes, and frequency values are each enclosed in double quote marks. OK, so why are there three commas before the 180? The first comma after the frequency's closing quote mark tells Spooky2 that the frequency list value is now complete, and it should interpret any characters between this comma and the next one as a new value. But there's nothing there, so Spooky2 looks for a value after the next comma. It finds none, so it continues beyond the last of the three commas, and finds 180, the dwell. The reason for this is that the database has two optional extra values which can be used to aid searching if desired, and some of the existing frequency sets use these values. The first one is system illness, and refers either to the part of the body affected or the general name of the condition, and the second one is manifestation, which either describes the physical result produced by the pathogen or illness, or the type of organism responsible for it. Open the frequency CSV file and scroll to comma done CAFL, system illness is skin, and manifestation is blackheads. So, since I'm adding a frequency set to tackle the cancer BX and BY viruses, I could type cancer between the first and second of the three commas, and virus between the second and third commas. Or I can choose not to use these at all since a search for cancer will return the set in its results anyway. And this is what I've done. Note that this set is already present in the main database and is simply used here as an example. For clarity and ease, I navigate to the end of the file, place the cursor at the start of the blank line at the bottom, then choose paste from the notepad edit menu. And this is what I get, back to contents 120 test custom, notepad, 0. File edit format view help no GRU, cust from Dr. Punkai Mishra Universal Base Frequency. Comma 1.14600 Platinum, CUST from Dr. Punkai Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, fungi 312-180 Sulfur, CUST from Dr. Punkai Mishra. For liver, bile, skin, wounds. Comma 256-180 Vitami NA Defi CINC. CUST CAFL Anecdotal. Comma 2100, 9120, 15200, 23500, 33297, 28750, 26440, 22500, 30381 Vitamin B12 Deficiency, 
cuscaphal and adotal, use also for vitamin B deficiency. Comma 50, 6 million 560 C vitami N C defi C I N C C U S T C A F L and adotal. Comma 2100, 11,680, 29,500, 23,750, 15,420, 34,065, 5,009, 39,375, 36 C Vitami N D Defi C I N C C U S T C A F L anecdotal, comma 2890, 3740, 9920, 33,270, 40,000, 28,750, 25,000. 37,233,340 C Vitami and Defi C I N C A Vitami No C S C U S T C A F L Anecdotal, comma 2400, 4420, 7360, 15,000, 37,500, 28,750,333 Name C U S T O O. Add your own notes here, comma 123,456. 654,321,184 iii. Now I select the word name, and type cancer bxby in its place. The CUST value is fine, since this is a custom set. The dwell for the single frequency in the set is 180 seconds, so I select the OO and type 3, this is the total running time in minutes. I select the notes text and type my own. I then select the placeholder frequencies and replace them with 782,937.42, test custom, notepad, at MSSM. File edit format view help no GRU, cust from Dr. Punkai Mishra universal base frequency. Comma 1.14600 platinum, CUST from Dr. Punkai Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, fungi. Comma 312-180 sulfur. CUST from Dr. Plinkai Mishra. For liver, bile, skin, wounds. Comma 256 180 Vitami NA Defi CINC, CUST Caffel Anecdotal. Comma 2100, 9120, 15200, 23500, 33297, 28750, 26440, 22,530,381 Vitamin B12 Deficiency, Cuscaphal Anecdotal, Use Also for Vitamin B Deficiency. Comma 50, 6,560,160 C Vitami NC Defi CINC, CUST CAFL Anecdotal. Comma 2100, 11,680, 29,500, 23,750. 15,420, 34,065, 5,009, 39,375, 36 C Vitami ND Defi CINC, CUST CAFL Anecdotal, comma 2890, 3740, 9920, 33,270, 40,000, 28,750, 25,000, 37,233,340 C Vitami and Defi C I N C A Vitami No C S C U S T Caffel Anecdotal, comma 2400, 4420, 7360, 15,000, 37,500, 28 million 750,333 Cancer B X B Y Cust 3 from J W. Must be run at 782,937.42 Hz to hit BX and buy simultaneously. This I4FFF? Back to contents 121 but I am not quite finished yet. When Spooky 2 launches, it reads the main database to memory first. Then it adds the custom database by tacking it onto the bottom of the main file. If I leave things as they are above, and later add another bunch of cancer sets, my searches for cancer will find them all, but those from my custom database may not be in correct alphabetical order. So at this stage I select the entire line of the new entry, then choose cut from the notepad edit menu. I insert the cursor in the correct alphabetical sorting position in the custom file for the new set, in this case, it's right at the top, then I choose paste from the edit menu. 
and this is what I get, test custom, notepad O file edit format view help zero cancer BXBY, CUST, 3, from JW. Must be run at 782,937.42 Hz to hit BX and BY simultaneously. The Sino GRU, CUST from Dr. Pankak Mishra Universa. Slash base frequency. Comma 1.14600 Piatinum, cust from Dr. Pankai Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, fungi. Comma 312-180 Sulfur, CUST from Dr. Pankai Mishra. For liver, bile, skin, wounds. Comma 256-180 Vitamin A deficiency, CUST CAFL anecdotal. Comma 2100-9120. 15,200, 23,500, 33,297, 28,750, 26,440, 22,530,381 Vitamin B12 deficiency, CUST CAFL anecdotal. Use also for Vitamin B deficiency. Comma 50, 6,560,160 C Vitamin C deficiency, CUST CAFL anecdotal. Comma 2100, 11,680, 29,500, 23,750, 15,420, 34,065, 5,009, 39,375, 36 C Vitami ND Defi CINC, CUST CAFL anecdotal. Comma 2890, 3740, 9920, 33,270, 40,000, 28,750, 25,000, 37,233,340 C Itamin deficiency of vitaminosis, CUST CAFL anecdotal. Comma 2400, 4420, 7360, 15,000, 37,500, 28,750,333 NR Finally, I check to see that the black line at the end of the file is still there. If it's not, Spooky2 will report a loading error when it tries to read the custom database file because it expects to see a carriage return new line control character at the end of every line, including the last one. I check by clicking into the space below the last line. If the cursor appears, as it does above circled in red, then I'm OK to go ahead and save the file. If not, I must position the cursor at the very end of the last entry's line, vitamin deficiency of vitaminosis above, then hit the return key on my keyboard. This gives me a new blank line at the bottom of the file. Once you've done this a couple of times, you'll find it's faster and less bewildering than using the database editor. Back to Contents 122 Global Menu, these four commands allow you to control the transport of multiple generators with a single operation. With four generators, you can start or stop them all at the same time by choosing a command here rather than opening the channels one after another. File Database 1 Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Start Clear Search. Abdominal CR Abdominal Ear Abdominal Par Abdominal Par DUSCRA 72. 9,190,304 Hold Florida, 2720, 2489, 2170, 18 Florida, 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3P 5,000 Australian Pounds, 10,001. Choose Start to fire up all the generators in your Spooky 2 rig at the same time. File database search global online utiles abdominal creek abdominal ear abdominal paw abdominal paw start pause hold stop advanced menu help clear. Point 304 FAX 2720, 2489, 2170, 18 Florida, 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3 RA 5,000, 10,002. Choose pause to temporarily stop all the generators without losing positions reached in their programs. File database search global online utiles abdominal creek abdominal eerie abdominal fa abdominal fa start pause hold stop advanced menu help clear L pound LA 72 9 million 190 thousand three hundred four Florida 27 20 24 39 21 70 13 Florida 10 thousand 3 thousand 95, 3, 
3 RA 5000, 10003. Choose hold to remain on current frequencies on all generators, stays in force until you choose hold again. File database global online search start pause hold stop abdominal CR abdominal ear abdominal fa abdominal palo tiles advanced menu clear L help RA 72. 9,190,304 Florida, 2720, 2489, 2170, 18 Florida, 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3 RA 5,000, 10,004. Choose stop to end programs on all your generators at the same time. Back to contents 123 online menu, if your PC is connected to the internet, these six commands will be very useful for Spooky2 related tasks. For each command, Spooky2 will launch your browser or open a new window tab if it's already launched. File database global online blue tiles advanced menu help search purchase equipment download database view video Spooky2.com the Spooky2 forum Spooky2 Facebook page abdominal cramps abdominal inflammatory abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia as abscesses 2 abscesses 3 file database global online 1 blue tiles advanced menu HELPL search purchase equipment download database I abdominal cramps Abdominal inflammatory abdominal pain J abdominal pain abscess no cardia as abscesses 2 abscesses 3 L view video spooky 2 calm the spooky 2 forum spooky 2 Facebook page 1 This will take you to the clean energy website where you too This will take you to the spooky 2 calm downloads page can buy all the components of the spooky 2 rife system and download the latest database to your downloads folder File database search global online blue tiles advanced menu help abdominal cramps abdominal inflammatory abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia abscesses 2 abscesses 3 purchase equipment download database view video spooky 2 calm the spooky 2 forum spooky 2 facebook page file database global online blue tiles advanced menu help purchase equipment download database view videos search abdominal cramps j abdominal inflammatory abdominal pain abdominal pain spooky 2 calm abscess no cardia as abscesses 2 i abscesses 3 the spooky 2 forum spooky 2 facebook page 3 this will take you to the spooky 2 vimeo channel 4 this command takes you to the Spooky2.com website. Back to contents 124 file database global 1 online blue tiles advanced menu help search purchase equipment download database abdominal cramps abdominal inflammatory view videos abdominal as in spool c2.com j abdominal pain abscess no cardia as the Spooky2 form abscesses 2 abscesses 3 Spooky2 Facebook page 5. This will take you to the Spooky2 form entrance page where you can then log in. File database global f online one blue tiles advanced menu help search purchase equipment download database view video spooky to calm the spooky to form abdominal cramps abdominal inflammatory abdominal pain j abdominal pain abscess no cardia as abscesses two abscesses three spooky to Facebook page six this command will take you to the original spooky to Facebook page back to contents my web no two tiles menu these six commands install drivers show you which generator is being controlled by which channel, and more. File database global online blue tiles advanced menu help search identify ports abdominal cramp 3 identify users abdominal inflation install UDB drivers abdominal pain abdominal pain install spooky XM32 bit drivers abscess no cardia asteroids abscesses 2 install spooky XM64 bit drivers abscesses 3 abscesses secondary show generator status program options rescue devices 1. Identify ports works on all stopped generator displays by replacing the last zero in the F line with the channel number. File database global online blue tiles advanced menu help search identify ports identify users abdominal cramp 3 abdominal inflammation install UDB drivers abdominal pain abdominal pain install spooky XM32 bit drivers abscess no cardia asteroids abscesses 2 install spooky XM64 bit drivers abscesses 3 abscesses secondary show generator status program options rescue devices 3 as its name suggests the install UDB drivers command installs drivers for the UDB 1108S generator. 
Back to Contents File Database Global Online Who Tiles Advanced Menu Help Search Identify Ports Identify Users Abdominal Cramps Abdominal Inflammation Install UDB Drivers Abdominal Pain Abdominal Pain Install Spooky XM32 Bit Drivers Abscess No Cardia Asteroids Abscesses 2 Install Spooky XM64 Bit Drivers Abscesses 3 Abscesses Secondary Show Generator Status Program Options Rescan Devices 2. Identify users will produce a list of subject names. Useful for clinicians using program patient name for subject info. File database global online who tiles advanced menu help search identify ports identify users abdominal cramps abdominal inflammation install UDB drivers abdominal pain abdominal pain install spooky XM32 bit drivers abscess no cardia asteroids abscesses 2 install spooky XM64 bit drivers abscesses 3 abscesses secondary show generator status program options rest and devices 4 Whichever of these two commands is available not gray will install Spooky 2-5M drivers appropriate for your PC. 126 File Database Global Online Who Tiles Advanced Menu Help Search Identify Ports Identify Users Install UDB Drivers Install Spooky XM32 Bit Drivers Install Spooky XM64 Bit Drivers Abdominal Cramp 3 Abdominal Inflammation 1 Abdominal Pain Abdominal Pain Abscess No Cardia Asteroids Abscesses 2 Abscesses 3 Abscesses Secondary Show Generator Status Program Options Rescan Devices 5 opens a window showing the frequencies and voltage for both outs on each generator which can be saved to file. 11 close generator status channel number 2, out 1 equal 1,600,495.4600377 hertz 20 VO012 equal 400,123.8650094441 hertz 20 V channel 3. Out 1 equal 1400832 Hz 20 VOUT2 equal 1540915 Hz 20 V channel minus 4, OUT1 equal 1,596,981.1562546 Hz 20 VOLTT2 equal 1,661,143.8437456 Hz 20 V channel number 6. Out will equal 121500Hz 20 VOLF T2 equal 121500Hz 20 V channel 7. Out 1 equal 29760Hz 20 VOU T2 equal 29760Hz 20 V. Channel 8. Out 1 equal 1865Hz 20 VOU T2 equal 1865Hz 20 V channel number 9. Out 1 equal 235008Hz 20 VOU T2 equal 235008Hz 20 V channel number 24. Out will equal 156928Hz 20 VOU T2 equal 172620Hz 20 V channel number 26. Out will equal 33Hz 20 VOU T2 equal 33Hz 20 V channel number 27. Out will equal 3. Hertz 20 VOU T2 equal 3 Hertz 20 V channel number 28. OUT1 equal 767,500.16 Hertz 20 VOU T2 equal 767,500.16 Hertz 20 V channel number 29. Out will equal 27392 Hertz 20 VOU T2 equal 27392 Hertz 20 V channel number 30. Out will equal 240 Hertz 9.5 VOU T2 equal 240 Hertz 9.5 V channel number 31. Out will equal 42624 Hertz 20 VOU T2 equal 468864 Hertz 20 V channel number 32. Out will equal 5.8 Hertz 20 VOU T2 equal 5.8 Hertz 20 V channel number 33. Out will equal 18670.15 Hertz 20 VOU T2 equal 18670.15 Hertz 20 V right to I file back to contents file database global online who tiles advanced menu help search abdominal cramps abdominal inflammation abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia astrocyte Abscesses 2 Abscesses 3 Abscesses Secondary Program Options Identify Ports Identify Users Install UDB Drivers Install Spooky XM32 Bit Drivers Install Spooky XM64 Bit Drivers Show Generator Status Rescue Devices 6 Sends a handshake signal to an offline generator, bringing it back online without having to stop your entire rig. 
two commands in the Utiles menu open new windows identify users and show generator status. Since they're both very similar, we'll just take a look at show generator status left. When you choose this command, Spooky2 takes a snapshot of the frequencies and voltages being transmitted from both outs of each generator. This can be saved as a text file named generator status txt. One excellent way to use this would be if you were part way through a multi-generator treatment, but you wanted to install a new version of Spooky2. Choose the command, do your installation, then relaunch, and use the file to restore each generator to the point it had reached before. 127 Advanced Menu, you'll find many powerful and useful goodies tucked away out of sight and ear, ranging from troubleshooting tools to a timer for setting a global pause period for your rig. Advanced Menu J This menu is different from all the others. When you click it, there's no drop-down list of commands shown. Instead, a new window opens. Although it isn't strictly speaking a menu, it's always been called the Advanced Menu. Inside it, among other features, you get Enable Sound Control This enables or disables Spooky 2S launch sound as well as the biofeedback scan completion alert. Global controls for amplitude wobble, this wobble is applied with a toggle button in the channel control panel. Global controls for frequency wobble, also applied as a toggle in the channel control panel. Global pause timing, sets a time period during which all channels will pause, then unpause when the time's up. Gate off voltage and frequency, normally set at 0 and 0. All UDBs are 19,200 BPS used to ensure smooth operation of UDB generators with slower USB communication speeds. Utility buttons for important functions like writing a USB communications or program log for troubleshooting. A graph for some important spooky pulse functions. Frequency blacklist control, used to block Spooky2 from ever transmitting specified frequencies. Blacklist sub-options for harmonics. A driver load check pane. Useful for channel driver troubleshooting. Main database file path, shows the exact location of the currently loaded database. Account of all frequency sets contained in both main and custom databases. Back to contents 128 advanced menu DDS generators refresh rate 8 Hz percent steps amplitude wobble triangle J8016 frequency wobble triangle L516 pause between 8 1 pm and 108. 01 p.m. gate off equal V0 Hz V fast gate are all UDBs are 19,200 BPS are right USB capture log are right program log I enable sound are auto start all channels I enable unproven features I double HRV tolerance emulating spooky pulse I enable social media sites frequency blacklist control add 1840 1910 F avoid octal harmonics R avoid scalar harmonics J silicon labs camp 210 X USB to UI bridge CO M35 3B C spooky 2 frequency CS VDBC 6369 back to contents DDS generators Enter the number of physical generators you have connected here, this speeds up Spooky 2 launches. Refresh rate, controls the speed of the gate and all the feathering and wobble options in Spooky 2's apply menu. Their speed will be half the value you enter here. The range of values is 0.1-66 Hz. Amplitude and frequency wobbles, these prevent organisms from becoming adapted to frequencies. These settings are separate from those in the channel's program options pane. These will only be applied when you click the amplitude and frequency wobble toggle buttons in a channel control panel. Pause between, sets a global pause for all channels. This can be defeated in individual channels by checking override pause schedule in each program options pane. Gate off, when the gate closes, you normally want voltage to drop to zero and frequency to be 0 Hz. If you wish to change this, do so here. Check fast gate to free up channel resources for faster gating rates. All UDBs are 19,200 BPS, allows Spooky2 to drive UDBs with slower V4.2 firmware. 129 write USB capture log, logs all Spooky2 USB traffic. Write program log, writes a complete record of Spooky2 activity to a log file. Both logs are saved to the data folder. Enable sound, 
activates startup sound and scan completion alert. Auto start all channels, starts all channels on launch. Enable unproven features, to, to enable access to features our tech research finds unproven, like scalar subharmonics. Double HRV tolerance, if you have a naturally high HRV, this can result in many data error reports. Use this option to allow successful scan completions. Enable social media sites, to, to display the web pane with 8 social media sites in Spooky 2's main window. Frequency blacklist control, a very few frequencies are known to cause problems. To which you should enter immediately into this list are 1840 Hz and 1910 Hz, both can cause malignancy growth. You can avoid octal and scalar harmonics by checking the boxes if you wish. However, this can result in very important frequencies being skipped in some programs. Occasionally, you may come across one frequency in a setback to contents that causes discomfort. To get around this, you can enter it temporarily here to allow you to use the rest of the set, then try re-enabling it when circumstances permit. To enter a blacklisted frequency, click in the top field and type it, then click the Add button. To remove all frequencies from your blacklist and start over, click the button top right. Graph pane, click on the pane to show the graph below. This will display a scrolling graph of your biofeedback scan use pulse choice. F, FIJ86. 8 asterisk 1 this graph show the BPM, and it's the same one that's shown in the biofeedback scan pane in the channel control panel. Now here's the graph that's shown when you choose HRV, graph. Help menu, refresh rates for running channels will slow to the subject's pulse rate. It's advisable to hide the pulse graph if you require fast feathering or gadding. Driver load check pane, this shows an entry for each driver load on all channels. Check this if you're having generator communication problems. DB, this shows the file path for the currently loaded main database. DBC, this is the total number of frequency sets contained in your main and custom databases. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Search Clear Credits About Abdominal Cramps Extra 72, 9,190,304 LFTTERFTFWWAJGSL Arrain. STFG, the credits command opens a window with information about the people who develop and support the spooky to rife system. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help J Credits Search J Clear Abdominal Cramp 3 Extra 72, 9,190,304 About J Spooky 2 is normally updated on the first day of every month, with occasional releases in between. The About command brings up a window that shows the release date of the version you're currently using. Back to Contents 131 Conditions and Database Abdominal Cramps L Abdominal Inflammation Abdominal Pain Abdominal Pain Extra Caffle Caffle Extra Abscess Nocardia Asteroid Extra 72, 10,228,231,237,694,710,8 January 27, 2015, 21, 10, 27, Database 17. PROVR? Bio 17 Vega 47 CAFL 17 Extra 7 CUSTR 17 Rife 0 slash 6540-.17 HC 7 KHZ J 7 ALT 12 The top graphic shows the conditions list when the font size slider left is set to its lowest position L opt. The one beneath it shows the change when it's set to its highest position 16 pies. Grab the slider handle to show the font size. Search. When Spooky 2 launches, the main and your custom databases are loaded into the conditions list. If you enter a word or partial word associated with the condition you want to treat, both databases are automatically searched for relevant entries. Set names, text and additional notes, and system illness and manifestation text fields if used are searched. A search for a frequency will return all sets in which that frequency is used. The search results will replace the contents of the Back to Contents 132 Conditions list. 
one or more results can be loaded into a program by double-clicking their lines. Clear button, click this to remove the search term and the list of results, and return the contents of both databases to the conditions list. Note that you can perform multiple successive searches without needing to clear the previous search. Date and time, the current date and time is shown at the top right. Database, Spooky2s main database is made up of 10 sub-databases. To include them all in your searches, click the plus button. You can also simply check only those you want included. To deselect all sub-databases at once so you can quickly select just a few to search, click the button. IMJPROV has produced consistent results in virtually all subjects it was used with. Bio and Vega are both excellent, based on Russian frequency research. CAFL is the consolidated annotated frequency list, amassed from the experience of RIFE experimenters over years. Extra is a collection of sets from various sources, all chosen for their reputation for effectiveness. CUST is your own personal database. RIFE is a collection of Dr. Royal Raymond Wright's original frequencies. HC is Dr. Hulda Clark's database. Use with a square wave, 100% positive offset, an amplitude of 9.5. KHZ is a collection of higher frequencies. Use with a square or inverse sawtooth wave, 100% positive offset, an amplitude of 9.5. ALT consists of sets based on Ayurvedic knowledge and practice, solfeggios, and planetary frequencies. The screenshot button makes a screenshot of the Spooky2 window and saves it to Spooky2's data folder as a JPG file. Conditions list contains the contents of both the main and custom database files if the search field is empty. Displays results from both when a search is performed. Selection count, the first numeral is always the line count from the top of the conditions list pane when a selection is made. When the search field is blank, the second numeral is the number of frequency sets contained in both databases. When a search has been performed, this changes to the total number of results returned. Back to Contents 133 Program Options Frequency Multiplier Repeat Every Freq Repeat Each Set Repeat Program Dwell Multiplier Amplitude Wobble Frequency Wobble Amplitude Ramp 11101 Duty Side Amplitude Offset Phase Angle Disabled I Disabled 5 Seconds Reduce Amplitude 10 kHz 4 Hz Gate I Randomize Skip Concurrent Duplicate Freq Remove Duplicate Frequencies Override Pause Schedule Prevent Global Start F2 Equal F1 X1 Add Fi to F2 Hz 3 Out 1 55 0 0 out to 55 0 0 percent percent 16 16 3 1 2 C C I C C C C R R R R R C C R A R C out to control out to equal out one out to equal out one copy gate waveform percent V percent zero frequency limits hertz apply more than zero octal zero C scalar apply steps frequencies directly steps do MOT sort frequencies DX1 plus 0 x1, volt 17 stop when out 1 stops hertz follow out 1 spike plus inc inverse plus inc 17 x1 1 1 1 1 1 11 11 16 16 1 1 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 spike length ratio spectrum percent 0 0 v plus spike 17, spike count 0 program options this is spooky 2s dashboard, providing complete control. From here on every channel, you can Transpose a program manually or automatically. Repeat frequencies, sets, programs. Set duty cycle for both outputs. Set amplitude and offset 5M generators only. Set phase angle for both outputs. Enable and configure amplitude and frequency wobbles. Configure action for out of range frequencies. Enable gate. Randomize gate. Prevent transmission of duplicates. Override global pause schedule. Choose from a large list of frequency modulations. Sort frequencies ascending or descending, or leave as listed. Assign, configure, view, and design custom waveforms for each output. Control frequency voltage relationships between outputs. Back to contents 134 this is a lot of information to try to take in at once, so let's break the program options pane down into its component parts. Frequency Multiplier, used to multiply all frequencies. 
decimals without limit can be input an easy way to convert a set to octal or scalar harmonics without having to calculate individual values or edit the set. Most of the frequencies we use today were originally developed on Rife machines that could only transmit up to 10,000 Hz or 100,000 Hz. Since Dr. Rife and Dr. Hulda Clark discovered that the fundamental frequencies of pathogens and parasites were up in the MHZ range, which Spooky2 can transmit, this means that the frequencies we're using are actually very low subharmonics, and thus not as powerful as the much higher fundamentals. Here's what John White says, Frequency multiplier should be set to an octal harmonic, not a random number like 200. These numbers are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. I find it best if I use a large number like 32768 and set frequency limits to the highest frequency of interest, normally around 2 mhz then I apply octal subharmonics. Works a charm. Repeat every frick each set program. Enter the number of frequency, set, and program repeats required. A value of 0 for repeat program will loop the program indefinitely. Use values appropriate for the transmission mode you're using. Back to contents dwell multiplier, change as runtime dwells for all frequencies in a program. A value of 0.25 will cause your program to transmit in one quarter of its normal time. This enables you to increase or reduce all the dwell times in your complete program, this includes default dwells and any coded into the sets. It's mostly used to reduce dwell times because experienced users found that the enhanced power of the spooky remote produced the same results as the old DNA holder in as little as one third of the time. This means you can achieve results in 20 minutes that used to take an hour. To reduce the dwell to one third, enter .33. For half the dwell, enter point 0.5, and so on. The reason we haven't simply changed all the dwells in the database is because not everyone can use a spooky remote. Many frequency sensitive people still use the older DNA holders because they find spooky remote too powerful for them. Duty cycle dictates a wave's on off status minus 50% means it's on for half its cycle. This changes the wave's energy content. 135 amplitude and offset. Enter amplitude and offset values for a spooky 2-5M offset is normally 0 for remote and contact, and 104 plasma and zapper sets. The UDB1108S generator must be manually set up. Phase angle, requires both outs. Useful when driving an external device that can mix both signals, the difference between two out-of-phase waves can create harmonics that hit mortal oscillatory rates. For techies only. Frequency limits, for best effect, use high frequencies for killing. Dr. Reif and Dr. Clark found that the fundamental frequencies of most organisms were in the KHZ range. But past tech limitations meant that only low subharmonics could be used on most machines. If you enter an appropriate frequency in the field, Spooky2 solves this problem, for example, a low threshold of 100,000 Hz here will turn the CAFL follicular mange low frequencies 253, 693, 701, and 774 into 129,536, 177,408, 179,456, and 198,144. The control sets the high threshold, any frequency higher than the value here will be lowered to the highest harmonic below it that your generator is set up for. Wobbles, some pathogens can adapt to frequency attack. Back to contents frequency limits I hertz apply. More than 0 octal 0 scalar I amplitude wobble disabled Z 0% 16 steps I. Frequency wobble disabled? 0% 16 steps. The answer is to apply amplitude and or frequency wobbles to rapidly change the signal strength and frequency. When set here, wobbles apply once the channel is running. Amplitude and frequency wobble controls are also found in the advanced menu. Settings made here will only apply to the toggle buttons for these functions you'll find in each channel's control panel. If you feel a definite reaction from a frequency, it can be good to apply one or both wobbles with these buttons, 1% is a good value for frequency wobble. The menu choices are disabled, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, and triangle. 
these waveforms describe the shape of the wobble's progress. Example, triangle starts with no wobble, ramps up to full wobble at the percentage chosen in the number of steps specified, then ramps back down to zero wobble, and repeats. Percentage is the amount of wobble you wish to apply, and step specifies the number of discrete jumps in a single cycle, 16 is a good value. More than this increases the resolution of the sweep, but also increases the time taken. 136. Apply JJ plus minus 0.02% feathering. I. Do NOT sort frequencies. The apply menu allows you to apply a constant rapid change to each frequency in a set. The speed of this change is set in the advanced menu. There are many different modulations to choose from, as well as the ability to disable the function. The choices will be explained later. This option is different, and in addition, to the configurable frequency wobble. Both can be used at the same time. Sort menu, some developers maintain that using frequencies in ascending order will produce different results from descending order. This menu allows you to choose frequencies ascending, descending, or do NOT sort. Amplitude ramp 5 seconds amplitude ramp, time taken for each frequency's voltage to rise from or fall to zero, giving contact mode a soft start. Reduce amplitude 10 kHz 4 Hz gate F randomize skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start reduce amplitude stops low frequencies causing discomfort in contact mode. Gate, this is a control signal which turns the back to contents main signal on and off very rapidly, 4 Hz equals 4 times a second. Its application to the main signal can be randomized. This helps to prevent any pathogen adaptation. Its speed or, more accurately, rate is set in the advanced menu, I refresh rate 3HZJ this rate is half the value you enter in the refresh rate field above. In this example, the value is 8 Hz, so the gate is labeled 4 Hz gate. If you change this from 8 Hz to 16 Hz, the gate label would change to 8 Hz gate, and all the wobble and feathering rates would also be twice as fast. Faster rates are generally better, but if you're running a lot of channels, all of which have multiple gates and wobbles, it will greatly increase the computation load on Spooky 2. If this happens usually on older, slower PCs, you can tick the fast gate checkbox in the advanced menu to free up unused resources. But you should be fine with up to about half a dozen generators. Gate is normally only used in plasma mode, but it can be very useful in the other modes too, because it provides an additional hammering effect to keep pathogens off balance. Skip concurrent duplicate freq, if you're running multiple generators, it's possible that identical frequencies used in different sets may coincidentally be transmitted at the 137 same time. This uncontrolled frequency duplication can cause unwanted phase problems, and even wave cancellation where two waves cancel each other out completely. With this box checked, Spooky 2 will never allow duplicates to be transmitted simultaneously. Remove duplicate frequencies, some sets, particularly those developed on older machines, contain duplicates. In some cases, this may be what you want some frequency foundation sets. In others, it serves no useful purpose. Checking this box stops single set duplicates from being output. This will not alter the database, it is runtime only. Override pause schedule, the advanced menu features a control which allows you to schedule a pause of any length at a set time daily. This pause will apply to all generators in your rig, thus it's called the global control. Checking the box here enables this channel to opt out of your pause. Prevent global start, the advanced menu contains a set of start, pause, and stop buttons. These are global controls and will control all generators in your rig at the same time. The checkbox here allows you to keep this channel's transmission independent of global control. Back to contents. Out to control I out 2 equal out 9 1, plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 9 1, volts JW copy gate J7 stop when out 1 stops out to control, when using both outs, this is where you configure the settings for out 2, unsurprisingly. Here, you can specify a constant frequency multiplier and a constant frequency addition to apply to out-1 frequencies. You can also set a constant voltage multiplier, 
and choose to copy your out one gate settings. Copy gate is mainly useful for plasma mode. Stop when out one stops halts transmission from out to when a pause frequency set O hertz runs on out one. Out two can be used to provide contact mode to a second subject using the same frequencies as out one, or set to 180 degrees out of phase to increase the power for one subject. I out two equal photo I x one. Plus Q when inverse plus sync is selected, these fields become irrelevant and are grayed out and unavailable. 138 for plasma systems, AU2 would provide either a fixed carrier resonant load, or harmonically related carrier for a system using a non-resonant balen. Waveform displays, the top pane shows a single cycle of the waveform for AU1. The middle pane shows AU2, and the lower pane shows the combined output. This is a damp sinusoidal with 11 entered in the wave cycle multiplier field to the right of the waveform selectors. Wave cycle multiply can be used with any waveform to enfold subwaves into single cycles, a spooky two-world first exclusive. This allows you to exceed the frequency limit of your generator, a spooky 2-5 M5MHZ can output 25MHZ. Back to contents waveform selectors, from the top down, these are, sine, square, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, triangle, damp sinusoidal, damp square, H-bomb sinusoidal, and H-bomb square. Each one, plus the spike plus sync waveform when selected, may be inverted by ticking its checkbox. The damp sinusoidal wave was used by Dr. Royal Raymond Rife in his documented cure of 14 terminal cancer and 2 terminal TB cases in 1932. 139 The damp square and both H-bomb waveforms are extrapolations of the principles involved in this wave. All four are orders of magnitude more powerful than the first five waveforms in the list. We recommend the square versions for your experiments, and the sinusoidal ones for scanning with spooky pulse. JBXBYL, R1020 IIBXBY3 R102 degrees I custom waveform menus. These menus allow you to choose any of the nine spooky two waves, plus three new ones Lily, BXBY, and Square Harmonic. By selecting them here, you can edit their values for wave cycle multiplier, spike length and ratio, and, best of all, for spectrum. Your edits, together with any modulation settings you make for F2 equal F1, are written to file and saved in the waveforms folder inside the Spooky2 directory on C, Drive. You can rename these files in Windows, and create as many as you wish. Because they're CSV files, you can open, view, and edit them in any spreadsheet program. To load new waves, simply drop the files into your own waveforms folder and choose Refresh Waveforms from the file menu. Wave Cycle Multipliers, the X column of controls to the right of the waveforms turns Spooky2 into something very back to content special indeed. Spooky2 creates each frequency as what's known as an arbitrary waveform. This allows all of its frequencies to be constructed from multiple copies of the waves. This is extremely important for the damped and H-bomb waves because the number of decay frequencies in each must be set correctly. However, this can also be applied to the other waveforms, too. Example, a plain sine wave with wave cycle multiplier set to 10 will be able to reach frequencies of up to 25 mhz, or even higher. 1, 2 controls and the follow out one button, if you are using both outputs, these controls allow you to make independent waveform selections for each one, or to have out to reflect out L settings. With Spooky Boost, follow out one should only be used if frequency differs on out one and two. Spike plus sync, selecting this uses out two to create a high voltage spike which is then injected into the waveform on out one. The duration of the spike is set in the length field. There are 1,024 sample points that make up a full waveform. However, lower values work best by providing a short, sharp burst of energy that can punch holes in a cancer or pathogen cell wall. This is called electroporation. The spike's voltage is controlled by the ratio parameter. If your amplitude is set to 20V, and you enter 4 in this field, the spike's voltage will be 20V, and the remainder of the wave will be 5V20-4. If you enter 2, 
the spike will still be 20 V, but the rest of the wave will be LOV 20 slash 2. Plus spike slash spike checkboxes, checking these allows you to specify whether you wish to produce positive spikes only, negative spikes only, or both. Spike count, enter the number of spikes you wish to inject. Entering zero will inject the maximum number possible. Inverse plus sync, in contact mode, this allows you to effectively quadruple the output power of your 5M generator. Creates a mirror image of OUT1 and OUT2. When using either Spike Plus Sync or Inverse Plus Sync, your electrodes or remote must be connected with a spooky boost cable. Alternatively for contact mode, connect two BNC to alligator clips cables, one to OUT1 and the other to OUT2. Then attach each red alligator clip only to your electrodes. To prevent the unconnected black clips from accidentally touching, you can wrap each one roughly with sellotape. Be warned that applying high voltage low frequencies below about 10,000 Hz can cause painful muscle lockups, so please put a check mark in the reduce amplitude box before starting. This allows you to use high power in comfort. Back to contents note, different people have different thresholds at which this effect kicks in, my own is about 1000 Hz so it's worth experimenting with the frequency value field in the reduce amplitude control to ensure you get maximum value from your frequencies. F2 multiplayer, Spooky 2 can transmit two frequencies throughout one alone, F2 is the second one. These must be mathematically related by multiplier. Degrees allow the addition of a phase angle to F2 for frequency adding or modulating. Example, if you enter 3, F2 will be the third harmonic of FIFIX3. If you enter 11, it's the 11th harmonic FIX11. You'd normally enter a straight integer value in the multiplier field 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 64, etc. Dr. Anthony Holland recently found that adding an 11th harmonic to any frequency greatly increased its power. This can be used with any wave. F2 modulation menu and checkbox, this is where you decide how F2 interacts with FI. To activate the entire F2 equal F1 system, check the box to the left of the menu. Your menu choices are, add FI to F2, modulate F2 using FIM DSB, and modulate F2 using FIM SSB2 equal F1 II, XHertz add FI to F2 channels and user data web channel 10 program patient name user data, plus allow channel overwrites v every time, email second ri enable emails i send screenshot email message notes send email save as 3457891010% j 0% 0 0% 0% 0 degrees i 0% 0% 25 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0
Enable emails, tick to activate Spooky 2S email system. This system works with POP email clients like Outlook and Windows Mail. It will only work with IMAP email accounts like Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo if you use a POP email client that has been correctly configured to also access webmail. Send screenshot, tick this box to include a screenshot of the Spooky2 window with your email, you must first use the screenshot button to create this. Email message, enter the text of the message you wish to send to your subject. The names of all sets loaded into the selection field will be appended to your message. Selection, this field contains names of the set S, you've loaded from your conditions list search. If you change your mind about any, simply double click each to remove it. The entire list can be cleared by clicking the, button at the top right of the field. Notes, personal users can enter any notes they wish concerning the preset they're about to save. Clinicians can use this to enter subject notes. These will not be sent in emails. Send email, clinicians can click this button to send their email to the subject. Save as, you can also save multiple sets loaded in the selections box by clicking this button. It saves all frequencies in all sets under a new set name to your custom database, potentially saving time when setting up multiple channels. Back to contents 143 channel buttons, there's one for each generator. Green means the channel is running, red means it's stopped. The top numeral is the COMM port USB number, the bottom is the channel program's percentage completed. PC button, this is your phantom channel. When you click it, it will open a channel that controls a virtual generator. This allows you to experiment, and to create and save presets without stopping any of your real generators. Social media web pane, this is enabled in the advanced menu. To use it, your PC must be connected to the Internet. Social OWTUBEW Copyright O Click to visit the Spooky2 forum. Click to visit the Spooky2 Facebook group. Click to visit the Spooky2 YouTube channel. Click to visit the Spooky2 Vimeo channel. Click to visit the Spooky2 Scene.is group. Click to visit Pinterest. Click to tweet about Spooky2. Click to visit TUMBLR. Back to contents 144 status bar IGC, 16CH, 5DXW2417227848RX, OKTE, 0WE, 0RE, 6CH, 3LEW2441787-3PO to 0P1, QP2 to 0P3. QP4, Q as the name suggests. This area of Spooky2S interface is used to report system status data, mainly for operations tracking and error reporting. If you ever experience problems that could be attributed to the normal causes, tech support may ask you to email a screenshot. GC, Generator Count, reports the number of generators found by Spooky2 at launch. CH, the last channel generator that Spooky2 wrote a command to. DX, the data that was sent to that channel generator. Rx, the response that the channel generator returned. T, number of timer conflicts, these are internal precautionary code in case of software issues. We, if Spooky2 prevents any communications conflicts, this value increments. Re, when a command is issued to a channel generator, Spooky2 awaits a response. If none is received, this value increments. C. Channel number where the last error occurred. L. E. The command that was not responded to is shown here. P. O. 4. Raw values returned from a connected spooky pulse. Button. Click to clear all error report boxes. Back to contents 145 control panel channel control 35 start pause hold stop 95 240 522 600 625 650. 2928952T0522600 Reverse Lookup Dude Octo.1% Tolerance Biofeedback Scan Start Frequency 76000 Finish Frequency 176000 Initial Step Size 100 Decimal Places 0 Max Hits to Find 10 Start Delay 226 Minutes 500 180 Frequency 0 30 Seconds Hertz Go Detect Pulse Hertz Max BPM Min BPM Max HRVI 
are use RA use peak 2DP max single SES and start estimated total runtime 136.0 treatment duration 0 to 19 output frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle out 10 I and V sawtooth 50% of 0% 0, 0 degrees BPM HRV GATV Avenue BPM AV HRV or HRV emulating spooky pulse out to zero INV sawtooth 50% of 0, 0% 0 degrees sync on reset when the channel is stopped, its channel button is red to reflect this. When you click on the button to open the channel's control panel, this, too, is red. This control panel is waiting to start, the timer field beneath the list of frequencies reads 0 seconds, and the progress bar is empty. Back to contents 146 channel control 35 start pause hold amplitude wobble frequency wobble estimated total runtime 424.0 treatment duration 027 reverse lookup ITNDUDE octal 0.1% tolerance biofeedback scan start frequency 76,000 finish frequency 176,000 initial step size 100 demo places 0 max hits to find 10 start delay 273 minutes 500 hertz go hertz detect Pulse C max BPM C min BPM max HRV BPM HRV AV BPM AV HRV HRV RI R use raw use peak 2 DP max start emulating spooky pulse sync on 1615.50 J dental foci 1 half CAFL dental foci 2 half CAFL 1500-888-32 802 787 million 1 776 727 output 666 650 out 1 out 2 646 frequency 787 787 517 G wave form square wave square wave 180 duty side 50% 50% 177 I slash frequency 29 slash 88 amplitude LOV of offset 100% minus 100% phase angle 0 degree 0 degree Degrees reset when you click the start button, the control panel turns green to show that it's transmitting and so does the channel button. This control panel is currently transmitting its program, the timer field reads 119 seconds, and the progress bar is almost filled, indicating that the current frequency has almost gone through its dwell. Back to contents 147 there's a lot going on here, so let's go through all the control and information elements in the panel one by one. Channel control 10 total runtime 5 o'clock Y treatment duration 0 o'clock on the left is the channel number that's being controlled by this panel, and on the right you see your total runtime. In this example, repeats are set to 4 for each set, and 0 for the complete program. So the total runtime is 5 hours. If repeat program is set to a number greater than 0 for a time treatment, you'll see the total runtime for your complete program. Treatment duration beneath shows how long your program has been running for. XL the red X button closes the control panel and locks the channel so it cannot be changed. To its left, the I, settings button with the wavy graphic also closes the channel, but leaves it unlocked so that you can change its frequency sets and settings. Finally, the leftmost, but then closes the channel and clears all frequency sets loaded, but leaves your settings in place. V. IEIES VWWU total runtime 1 o'clock treatment duration 027x above is a channel that's currently running. The only control that's available to close its control panel is the X button. The settings button and the button are both grayed out and unavailable because you cannot change settings for a channel that's already transmitting, nor can you change its frequency sets. The availability of some of the other controls in the channel control panel also depends on whether the channel is currently transmitting or not. Back to contents 148 transmission buttons, some are grayed out till the channel runs. Bold text on a button shows it was clicked last. Pause, hold, and wobble or toggles that remain active till you click them again. Start, pause, and stop are obvious. Hold remains on the current frequency indefinitely till it's clicked again. The wobble buttons apply amplitude and or frequency wobbles as configured in the advanced menu, click to start. The wobbled frequency continues indefinitely. Click again to stop and continue progression through the program. Progress bar, tracks progress through each frequency. The number to the right 180, is the dwell in seconds. 
Pause hold amplitude wobble frequency wobble stop back to content 16,942.4316,542.4116,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,943.416,
adenovirus 11-2, allergies 1, amoebae matches found for 523 Hz, 522 Hz-524 Hz abdominal pain, acute pain, adenoxitis, adenoxitis, adrenal gland stimulant 2 and 1 half, iadenovirus 11-2, back spasms 1-2, black death, boils 1, bronchitis 2 and 1 half, bubani aspergillus glaucus, aspergillus glaucus, aspergillus glaucus, cancer basic 1 and 2 sixths, matches found for 786 Hz 785 Hz 787 Hz betalinum, borrelia line 1, borrelia line 2 and 2 thirds, borreliosis 14 slash 7, breast tumors e adenovirus 1 and 1 half, atherosclerosis 2 slash 3, back spasms 2 slash 2, Bartonella Hensley, black abdominal inflammation, abscesses 2, abscesses 3, abscesses, adosis, acne 1 exit save and exit back to contents 151 biofeedback scanning by adding spooky pulse to a 5M generator, you can scan the body for frequency anomalies, the UDB1108S needs an external amplifier. Biofeedback scanning inputs frequencies directly into the body with electrodes. The spooky pulse clip is attached to the earlobe or left little finger, this monitors blood flow using an infrared light detector. If any input frequency is also present in the body, it will produce a momentary stress due to sympathetic resonance called a hit. This causes a minute change in cardiac activity which is detected by spooky pulse, and the frequency which provoked it is recorded by spooky too. There are two ways to use this function, for custom scans, and for personal program optimization. For both of these, you must first quit Spooky2, connect Spooky Pulse to your PC, then relaunch Spooky2. The words emulating Spooky Pulse will now have disappeared from the graph. 1. Custom Scans To scan for unknown problems, you must first erase all frequencies from the channel you're using. Then enter your scan parameters, biofeedback scan start frequency 100,000 finish frequency 200,000 initial step size 10 decimal places 0 max hits to find 10 start delay 2166 minutes hertz detect pulse C max BPM C min BPM max HRV1 use RAC use peak F2 DP max single scan start start and finish frequencies to find the sweep range. If you know the bandwidth of organisms you're testing for, enter lower and upper limits. If not, a good sweep to try might be 139,000-790,000 Hz. Initial step size, how big the jumps in your sweep are-100 Hz means Spooky2 will input in discrete sub-ranges of 100 Hz-100 jumps in total. Depending on your range, good values would be 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, or 100,000. Decimal places, the level of accuracy required, good values are 5 under 600 Hz, or 2 over 600 Hz. Back to contents 152 max hits to find, a reasonable value would be 10 spooky 2 will select the best 10 hits after the scan. It will then go back and carefully sweep above and below each one to find its exact value. Start delay, sets the number of heartbeats before Spooky2 will start the frequency sweep, giving you a chance to get ready and to become accustomed to the frequency, 20 is suggested if you're being assisted, and 200 if you're alone. Use pulse, Spooky2 will detect and report maximum or minimum pulse rates based on BPM or maximum for HRV. In most cases for BPM you would choose maximum. When max HRV is selected, the graph will change its modes to show the HRV trace. Many biofeedback devices use this rather than BPM for hit detection. Use RA use peak buttons, RA is running average pulse rate best used for longer scan sessions where the heart rate falls. The peak option is for those who wish to run short scans where the average heart rate is not likely to change very much. 2 dp max this checkbox constrains found frequencies to two decimal places accuracy. It's not relevant or available for custom scans, only for program optimization. Single scan, when this is checked, Spooky2 will scan the range specified only once. Found hits will not be re-inspected. Back to contents start button and time, start is self-explanatory. 
The time shown is the estimated number of minutes for your scan. Biofeedback readout displays the following values during and after your scan, BPM, AV, BPM HRV, AV, HRV, BPM, the heart rate in beats per minute, HRV, HRV, heart rate variability, a low report is good. Emulating Spooky Pulse GALV, Conductivity of the Skin. Proper hydration boosts this. AV. BPM, your average heart rate over the entire scan session. AV. HRV, average heart rate variability during the scan. AV. GALV, average session value of the skin's conductivity. The graph's title displays the method of pulse detection chosen, BPM or HRV. Notes, since the user can use either the RA or peak data values, this means that the biofeedback input is either compared with the RA, or taken at nominal value. In either case, the data received is conditioned so that there are no spikes as the user breathes. If any input data anomaly is detected, Spooky2 will pause for three consecutive good samples to ensure data integrity. When the scan finishes, Spooky2 returns to its hits list to sweep above and below each until it has found the exact value. It then presents the list as a custom frequency set which you can save to your own database. You should save this with a descriptive program name. We suggest you also enter the date in this name. Depending on the values you input, a biofeedback sweep can take 20-60 minutes or longer. A bigger sweep range, or smaller initial step sizes, will take more time. However, please note that the input speed is at all times controlled by how fast or how slow your pulse rate is. You can do further sweeps on successive days with different ranges, but save results as personal sweep O2, etc. In this way, you can build a complete frequency profile and run chain sets in a single program, or extract only the ones you want to build a new personal set. Back to contents and B. Scan results are saved to a CSV file in the scan data subdirectory inside the Spooky2 directory. 2. Program optimization, the biofeedback function can also be used to refine all the frequencies in a program to their optimum values. In this mode, the biofeedback scan pane's appearance will change, and many of its parameters will be grayed out and unavailable. Biofeedback scan start frequency 100,000 finish frequency 200,000 star delay 20 detect pulse C max BPM min BPM max HRV use RAC use peak Y2DP max 10 minutes S mail scan start load the program you wish to optimize and make all the settings you require. Selecting the option to limit frequency refinement to 2 decimal places 2DP max can speed things up considerably. 154 practical advice. Make sure you connect Spooky Pulse to your PC via USB before launching Spooky 2. To scan reliably, make sure you're properly hydrated. To detect heart rate changes due solely to frequency hits, you need to be relaxed. Meditation, breathing exercises, or even zoning out for 5 minutes works. Or you can use a web white noise generator and leave it running in the background. We recommend this website. If using TENS pads, Place one on the back of the right hand, and the other just below the outside ankle of the left foot. We recommend inverse plus sync with a sine wave. What will happen, after you start the scan, the channel control panel turns purple and the white box is replaced with a graph showing the current and historical pulse rate. The graph is auto-ranging for optimum display resolution. Graphs always scroll to the left, with current biofeedback values updating on the right. Back to contents the horizontal cyan line is the running average rate RA. When the pulse graph is under this line, the background is green, indicating no stress. When the pulse is above the RA line, the background turns red, indicating a stress response. Note that a low quiescent HRV indicates poor health. During biofeedback scans, Spooky2 disregards the baseline. Any increase in the absolute value of HRV is a sign of momentary stress. When you click Start, you see the following alert, Spooky2 is now loading the waveform you've selected into the generator. RE3 Channel 4 at Spooky of CMEIMI slash loading waveforms. Please wait. R. Now let's take a look at a custom biofeedback scan in progress, 
155 channel control for reverse lookup 17 include octo point one percent tolerance one frequency 0 slash 0 100,000 Hertz go Hertz I 17 biofeedback scan start frequency 7 B 100 finish frequency 100,000 initial step size 100 decimal places 0 max hits to find 10 start delay 770 minutes single scan detect pulse max BPM MM BPM max HRV use RAIJ use peak start estimated total runtime 0 o'clock treatment duration 0030 output frequency waveform duty cycle amplitude offset phase angle 15 bpm 106.38 hrv 7.54 out 1 out 2 76,000 76,000 square wave inverse plus sync 50 percent 50 percent 20 v 20 v 0 percent 0 percent 0 degrees 0 degrees av bpm 108.42 av HRV 14.59 sync on HRV 186 reset here, a custom scan has just been started. The numbers to the right of the BPM graph show the graph's range. The number at the bottom 12, is a countdown while Spooky 2 fills the running average data array. In this example, the start delay has been set to 20 heartbeats. Back to contents 156 channel control for ripple stop reverse lookup F include octo point one percent tolerance frequency 0 slash 0 100,000 Hertz go biofeedback scan start frequency 76,000 finish frequency 100,000 initial step size SLOO decimal places 0 max HRTS to find 10 start delay S270 minutes Hertz detect pulse max BPM MM BPM max HRV use RA use peak RR1 RR I. K Z or Max R S I N Q L E scan estimated total runtime 0 o'clock treatment duration 063 output frequency waveform duty cycle amplitude offset phase angle out 1 out 2 77,200 77,200 square wave inverse plus sync 50% 50% 20 V 20 V 0% 0% 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 degrees 0 degrees 212 BPM 50.98 AV. BPM 55.81 HRV 2.32 of HRV 2.38 HRV 11 YY slash sync on star 2 reset 76,000 dash 1 RTA the custom scan is now well underway the numbers under the graph display the range of frequencies that are being scanned during the second phase of the biofeedback scan when the resolution of its is increased unless single scan has been checked the ranges will change appropriately. Back to contents 157 control for stop reverse lookup P include octal 0.1% tolerance 100,000 Hz go biofeedback scan 7600 C 1100 detect pulse max BPM MM BPM max HRV start delay 236 minutes G use RAC use peak pages 2 DP max start 216 BPM 53.24 HRV 2.86 AV BPM 50.87 of HRV 3 estimated TC tall runtime 033 0 I1Y1 duration 04371112720 abscesses 2 XTRA NIRTN.IT 444 will be out 1 out to 190 frequency 2719.15 2719.15 waveform square wave inverse plus sync I1. Duty cycle 50% 50% 0 frequency 0 11th amplitude 20 V 20 V offset 0% 0% phase angle 0 degrees 0 degrees sync on HRV 27 19 to 27 21 reset here is a different channel that has frequencies being optimized. You can see that almost all the biofeedback scan text fields are disabled, but the option to limit frequency refinement to 2 dp max is available. Checking this can speed up results markedly. Note that some very useful biofeedback functions are also available in the advanced menu. If you receive many data error alerts during a scan, you should try enabling double HRV tolerance in the advanced menu, then restart your scan. Back to contents 158 spooky pulse not connected. If you initiate a biofeedback scan without first ensuring that Spooky Pulse has been connected prior to launching Spooky 2, the scan will be conducted in emulation mode and you'll see this alert.
No spooky pulse detected TC Spocky spooky pulse was not detected on the KT or system. ROK assaults will be invalid and not saved. When you click OK, the scan will commence. However, the found frequencies will be entirely notional, and you will not be able to save them since there's no point. If you try to stop the scan by clicking the graph, you'll see this, Snow or Puko RKV. 1 equal 1 register trademark Spopki please wait for the O biofeedback OK scan to complete click OK to dismiss this alert. If you initiated the scan in error, simply click the stop button to abort. If your emulated scan is intentional, you'll see the following window when it completes, back to contents test mode, saving disabled I1 equal 1 1 register trademark scan re. Spooky O2, close suits equal frequency hits best at top 79,140 J 143,660 114,140 79,220 98,300 150,690 1460 98,060 93,620 83,460 102,760 86,120 112,140 100 16,060 86,200 79,260 144,130 1,420 114,280 151,280 Right to one database The list of found frequencies is presented in order of importance. This is the same window you'd see if your scan was valid, except the Save to Database button wouldn't be grayed out, and you'd be able to save your results as a set. Before undertaking a scan, it pays to open the advanced menu first to check if Spooky2 has detected Spooky Pulse. If not, exit and relaunch Spooky2. 159 wobbles and feathering amplitude wobble disabled? 0% 16 steps frequency wobble disabled? 0% 16 steps certain pathogens can be hard to kill straight away. So they will require multiple treatment sessions. One problem that can arise with this is that they may become adapted to the treatments, and so take longer to eradicate. The answer is to prevent this from happening by constantly and minutely varying either the exact values of the frequencies being applied, or their amplitudes, or both. You have three methods to choose from, and you can use all if you wish. The first are amplitude and frequency wobbles. The menus above allow you to select from three waveforms that describe the trajectory along which the change will be applied sawtooth, inverse sawtooth, and triangle. The percent field dictates how intensely the change will be applied. And the steps parameter lets you specify how many discrete steps or jumps the change will make from one value to the next. For amplitude, 10-15% is a reasonable value for intensity, and 1% is good for frequency. Sawtooth. 15 step steps are the red dots in the illustrations above. They are discrete values along the trajectories of the waveforms. So these wobbles aren't applied smoothly and continuously, they jump from each step position to the next, without any change in value in between. A good general option for steps is 16. Back to contents 160 the apply menu, the second method of preventing pathogen adaptation is a different kind of frequency wobble found in the apply menu. This menu also contains two feathering options, feathering is true randomization of values within a fixed percentage above and below the frequency being processed. There are 28 choices, all of which are detailed below. The difference between the apply menu options and the other wobbles is that these ones are all pre-configured, no user input or tailoring is possible. The general rules on frequency wobbles and feathering are, for something that's non-living, the apply setting should be frequencies directly for example metals, pollutants, toxins. We don't wobble non-living things because they cannot mutate. If it's a living thing, and it belongs naturally in your body, the apply setting should also be frequencies directly for example normal East liver, relieve pain, stimulate the immune system. This is because we're usually applying precise entrainment frequencies. If it's a living thing, and it DOES and T belong naturally in your body, the apply setting should be anything other than frequencies directly. This is because living things can mutate over time, thus changing their frequencies slightly, and you need to feather to catch those mutations for example bacteria, 
fungi, parasites, viruses. Research and observation has shown that plus-minus 0.02% feathering is generally best for remote mode, although there are also other excellent choices. So please feel free to experiment. But whichever setting you choose, it's important to examine the frequencies you're running so that you can be aware of what that setting will do to them. Here are some examples, back to contents 161 frequency, 1000-1000 Hz-1 KHZ setting 1, plus minus 0.02% feathering result 1, random from 999.80-1000.20 randomization range equal 0.4 Hz. Setting 2, octal harmonics 12 stage wobble. Result 2, 1000, 2000, 4000, 8000, 16,000, 32,000, 64,000, 32,000, 16,000, 8,000, 4,000, 2,000. Frequency, 100,000, 100,000 Hertz dash 100 KHZ setting 1, plus minus 0.02% feathering. Result 1, random from 99,980-100,020 randomization range equal 40 Hertz. Setting 2, Octal Harmonics 12 Stage Wobble Result 2, 100,000, 200,000, 400,000, 800,000, 1,600,000, 3,200,000, 6,400,000, 3,200,000, 1,600,000, 800,000, 400,000, 200,000 Frequency, 1,000,000 Hz-1 MHZ Setting 1 plus minus 0.02% feathering. Result 1, random from 9998000200200 randomization range equal 400 Hz. Setting 2, octal harmonics 12 stage wobble. Result 2, 1 million, 2 million, 4 million, 8 million, 16 million, 32 million, 64 million, 32 million, 16 million, 8 million, 4 million, 2 million. Feather creates rapid random changes in the frequency so it changes up and down in value within a set maximum percentage. Wobble creates rapid controlled changes in the frequency so it changes by constant values dictated by the choice you make in the apply menu. Let's take a closer look at the choices here F equal the frequency frequencies directly applies the frequencies directly with no changes. HI plus minus 0.02% feathering output will fluctuate rapidly by 0.02% above and below the set frequency randomly. Useful where the exact frequency of a pathogen may be uncertain. Excellent for remote treatment. Plus minus 0.05% feathering same as 0.02% feathering but the variation is greater. Frequencies have mathematical relatives called harmonics. Higher harmonics can be very powerful. These options create the following continuous harmonic step sequences at a rate set in the refresh rate field in the advanced menu. Back to contents 162.02% for stage wobble F, F plus 0.02%, F, F.02%.02% eight stage wobble F, F plus 0.01%, F plus 0.02%, F plus 0.01%, F, F.01%. F.02%, F.01%.05% for stage wobble F, F plus 0.05%, F, F.05%.05% eight stage wobble F, F plus 0.025%, F plus 0.05%, F plus 0.025%, F, F.025%, F.05%, F. 025% octal harmonics 2 stage wobble F, FX2 octal harmonics 4 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX2 octal harmonics 6 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX6, FX4, FX2 octal harmonics 8 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX6, FX8, FX6, FX4, FX2 octal harmonics 10 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX6, FX8, FX10, FX8, FX6, FX4, FX2 back to contents octal harmonics 12 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX6, FX8, 
FX10, FX12, FX10, FX8, FX6, FX4, FX2 A perfect square wave is made up of odd harmonics. Spooky 2 can force these to work harder by fluctuating to higher ones, odd harmonics 2 stage wobble F, FX3 odd harmonics 4 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX3 odd harmonics 6 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX7, FX5, FX3 odd harmonics 8 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX7, FX9, FX7, FX5, FX3 odd harmonics 10 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX7, FX9, FX11, FX9, FX7, FX5, FX3 odd harmonics 12 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX7, FX9, FX11, FX13, FX11, FX9, FX7, FX5, FX3 The Fibonacci series of numbers can be seen everywhere in nature. It's an excellent choice for good results, 163 Fibonacci series 3 stage wobble F, F, FX2 Fibonacci series 5 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX2 Fibonacci series 7 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX3, FX2 Fibonacci series 9 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX8, FX5, FX3, FX2 Fibonacci series 11 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX8, FX13, FX8, FX5, FX3 Fahrenheit X2 Fibonacci series 13 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX8, FX13, FX21, FX13, Phi FX5, FX3, FX2 KLR of CH1, F equal 00016673. 8 AM PL equal 20. OOV duty equal 50. 0 P equal back to contents Fibonacci series 15 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX8, FX13, FX21, FX34, FX21, FX13, FX8, FX5, FX3, FX2 The natural logarithm, also called EXP3, is a mathematical way to describe universal growth in time. But it can also be used to calculate highly effective frequency harmonics. One highly respected Rife developer recommends it exclusively to calculate the most accurate frequency harmonic scalar's natural log 2-step wobble F, FX 20.085536923-2 natural log 4-step wobble F, FX 20.085536923-2, FX 403.428793492-7, C8, FX 20.085536923-2 The waveform symbol you see here causes some confusion. Users wonder why, when they've selected a square or an inverse sawtooth in Spooky2, they see the squiggly line instead. Well, as you now know, Spooky2 creates all of its waveforms as arbitrary waves, then downloads them to the generator. And this squiggly symbol on the Spooky 2-5M display simply shows that an arbitrary waveform is being used rather than one of the generator's own built-in waves. Mystery solved. 164 waveform and frequency even though they may look mysterious, waveforms are very easy to understand. They are simply graphical illustrations of how the amplitude, or power, of energy changes over time. Let's look at the waves in Spooky 2. The vertical red line at left measures positive and negative amplitudes, with zero being the divider. The horizontal red line at bottom shows time, one second. Sine wave, like all the waves shown below, this one completes one full cycle every second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A. Amplitude rises from zero in a positive direction at a changing rate. B. Amplitude has reached its highest positive point, or peak. C. It goes below zero and continues in a negative direction at a changing rate. D. Amplitude reaches its highest negative point, or peak. 
E, amplitude once again starts to move in a positive direction at a changing rate. Good for, healing, detox, killing at very high frequencies. Square wave, this also completes one full cycle every second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A, amplitude is running at its highest positive level at a constant rate. B, amplitude immediately drops below zero and continues in a negative direction. C, amplitude is running at its highest negative level at a constant rate. D, amplitude immediately moves through zero to its peak positive level. Good for, killing, healing, detox. Back to contents 165 sawtooth, this completes its full cycle in one second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A. Amplitude moves from negative peak towards positive at a constant rate. B. Amplitude passes through zero. C. It continues to move in a positive direction at a constant rate. D. Amplitude immediately drops through zero to peak negative level. Good for experimentation as a possible linear substitute for sign. Inverse sawtooth. This completes its full cycle in one second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A. Amplitude ramps down from positive peak level at a constant rate. B. Amplitude passes through zero. C. Amplitude continues to move in a negative direction at a constant rate. D. Amplitude immediately moves through zero to peak positive level. Good for, killing. The sawtooth and the inverse sawtooth are the only two waveforms that are mirror images of each other. Sawtooth always rises slowly and drops quickly where inverse sawtooth always falls slowly and rises quickly. Although this may seem insignificant, it's actually very important, and we'll look at the different results in a later section. Back to contents 166 triangle, also completes its full cycle in one second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A. Amplitude moves from negative peak level at a constant rate. B. Amplitude passes through zero. C. Amplitude reaches its peak positive level, then starts to fall at a constant rate. D. Amplitude passes through zero. E. Amplitude reaches its peak negative level. Good for, experimentation as a possible linear substitute for sign. Damp sinusoidal, this is the exclusive spooky two recreation of Dr. Royal Raymond Wright's famous damp sinusoidal which was used in a documented cure of 14 terminal cancers and two terminal TB cases. This, like all the following waves, is different. It's composed of a sequence of 12 internal signs, each with progressively decaying cycles from positive to negative. Spooky 2 automatically compensates for all composite multi-cycle waveforms so that their output frequencies are always correct. A. Amplitude is at peak level. B. Amplitude ramps down with 12 internal progressively decaying cycles passing from positive to negative through zero on each one. C. Amplitude immediately moves back up to peak positive level. Good for, healing, detox, killing at very high frequencies. Spooky to note, the total number of internal cycles in a single composite cycle is controlled by the value you enter in the wave cycle multiplier field 12 inches this case. Back to contents 167 damp square, a new waveform based on the principles of the damp sinusoidal. Its 12 internal square waves progressively decay, and Spooky 2 automatically adjusts the composite waveform to make its transmitted frequency correct. A. Amplitude is at peak level. B. Amplitude drops sharply with 12 internal progressively decaying cycles passing from positive to negative through zero on each one. C. Amplitude immediately rises back up to peak positive level. Good for, killing, healing, detox. Spooky to note, the total number of internal cycles in a single composite cycle is controlled by the value you enter in the wave cycle multiplier field 12 inches this case. H-bomb sinusoidal, another new wave based on the damp sinusoidal. Technically, it's more complex and involves duty cycle computations. It's built from eight internal sine cycles, and the composite waveform is automatically adjusted to make its transmitted frequency correct. A. Amplitude is at zero. B. Amplitude ramps to peak positive level, then ramps back through zero to peak negative level. C. 
amplitude rises and proceeds through six smaller internal cycles. D. Amplitude ramps to peak positive level, then ramps back through zero to peak negative level. E. Amplitude moves back up to zero. Good for healing, detox, killing at very high frequencies. Spooky to note, the total number of internal cycles in a single composite cycle is controlled by the value you enter in the wave cycle multiplier field 8 here. Back to contents 168 h-bomb square, this is a third new waveform based on the principles behind the damp square. It's built from 8 internal square wave cycles, and Spooky2 automatically adjusts the composite waveform to make its transmitted frequency correct. A. Amplitude is at zero. B. Amplitude rises sharply to peak positive level, then moves immediately through zero to peak negative level. C. Amplitude rises and proceeds through six smaller internal cycles. D. Amplitude rises sharply to peak positive level, then moves immediately through zero to peak negative level. E. Amplitude moves back up to zero. Good for killing, healing, detox. Spooky to note, the total number of internal cycles in a single composite cycle is controlled by the value you enter in the wave cycle multiplier field 8 here. So let's sum up, frequency is how often the energy in something changes from a positive state to a negative state in one second of time. Waveform is a visual representation of how the energy's power ramps up and down during one such change. But we're not finished yet. We need to take a look at two other important properties which have great importance for how waveforms behave. The first is offset, and this applies to all waveforms. The second is duty cycle, which applies only to plain square waves. So let's do that, that now. Back to contents 169 waveform and offset you've seen that normal waveforms have two phases, positive and negative. What this means in practice is that positive energy is applied by the waveform for half its cycle, and negative energy is applied for the other half. Some renowned energy medicine researchers, most notably Dr. Hulda Clark, maintain that it's more effective for pathogen killing to apply an e-directional energy only. You can do this by using offset. So that you can see the effect of offset clearly, I've chosen a triangle wave here. This one has 0% offset, the wave is in its positive phase for 50% of its cycle above the red zero line, and in its negative phase for the other 50% below the red zero line. Above are the settings to enter for a normal zero offset waveform like this. On the left, you can see that this is still the same triangle waveform, but its position on the graph is now different. I've given it a 100% positive offset, and the wave is now entirely in its positive phase for its whole cycle. Above are the settings for 100% positive offset when using inverse plus sync with Spooky Boost. If you wish to use follow out when instead of inverse plus sync, the values to enter for both outs are 100 and 100 both positive. For direct connect to out when only, you'd enter 0 instead of minus 100. Back to contents 170 if you choose to use a positive offset, one very important thing you mustn't forget is its effect on available amplitude. The 5M generator has a voltage range that goes from minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts. This gives us a total range of 20 volts when measured from the highest negative peak to the highest positive peak, so the generators output 20 volts peak to peak. However, since we've applied a 100% positive offset here and pushed the waveform up into the positive phase only, this means that the voltage available for a potential negative phase is not used, since no part of the signal is now negative. As a result, applying an offset to any waveform may reduce the overall amplitude of your signal C table below. XM Amplitude Setting XM Offset Setting Percent Output Signal VMA XV, Output Signal VMI and V, Total output signal VPP50 plus 2.5-2.555 100 plus 50510 plus 5-510 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 10 VMAX equal volts maximum. VMI and equal volts minimum. VPP equal volts peak to peak. Note. Applying a 100% offset means that only one LED on your spooky remote will light up. This is normal. 
Back to contents 171 duty cycle duty cycle can be a confusing concept to grasp for many newcomers to Rife technology. So let's try to unconfuse things as much as possible. Every waveform has a cycle, this is one complete iteration of the wave from its beginning to its end, then it repeats the exact same pattern for the next wave cycle. Duty cycle is related to this, but it dictates strictly one thing, for how long during a wave cycle the signal is held constant at its maximum amplitude. And this is the key to understanding it. Because if you cast your mind back to a few moments ago when we went through all the different waveforms, you'll remember that each of them is constantly changing its amplitude. Except for one, the square wave. A square wave goes from zero to full amplitude almost instantly, then holds that amplitude constant for a period of time before falling almost instantly back to zero again. Duty cycle is what gives us control over the length of the period for which that constant amplitude is held, so duty cycle really can only ever apply to a plain square wave. This one on the left has a default duty cycle of 50%. This means that the signal is delivered at full amplitude for half of the wave's natural cycle, then it's turned off until the next wave cycle begins. If you set its duty cycle to 0%, you'd have no signal at all, and if you set it to 100%, you'd have a constant uninterrupted signal, neither of which are useful in Rife therapy. So duty cycle gives you control over how long the square wave's maximum amplitude is held steady inside every cycle of the wave. As a result, it can be thought of as a kind of built-in gate. However, due to the nature of the square wave, duty cycle is much more useful than this. A square wave is naturally rich in odd harmonics, 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, and so on. However, it is almost as if these harmonics are not generated instantly in time, but revealed instead in a lightning-fast glissando, much like someone running a finger up the back to contents 172 keys of a piano. So the larger the square wave's duty cycle value is, the more harmonics are revealed because the glissando is being played for longer. And once you start to go much higher than 50%, even harmonics start to show themselves, too. For me personally, this makes a great deal of sense. Here's why, the heart of every symphony orchestra is the string section, full-bodied, rich, and powerful. As a former professional composer and sound designer, I can convincingly emulate an entire orchestral string section on a music synthesizer using only sawtooth waves. I could do that with square waves, which are good for emulating brass instruments only. Nice, but not the same thing. Back to contents 173 Understanding Spooky Remote Spooky Remote was introduced before the 5M generator was available. So the only generator you could use with it was the UDB 1108 seconds. At that time, calibrating this generator had to be done manually with a multimeter. Because this cheap and cheerful unit's components tended to drift over time, you had to do your calibration routine at least once a month, but preferably every week, a painful chore if you were using a bunch of UDBs, as I was. But Spooky Remote offered a brilliantly simple way to calibrate quickly and easily without needing a multimeter. Every remote has two red LEDs. One LED uses the positive part of the signal to illuminate, and the other uses the negative part. So when you loaded the signal test set and ran it, you turned the amplitude knob up full, then adjusted the offset knob until both LEDs shone equally brightly. When they did, your setup was calibrated, meaning that the positive and negative aspects of the signal were equal in strength. In other words, the signal's offset from the point of equal power was zero. This meant you could recalibrate as often as you wished, even in the middle of a program, and I believe that the constant application of properly calibrated frequencies was responsible for at least some of the excellent results that started to come in after the remote entered widespread use. However, after the introduction of the 5M generator, which is calibrated by the user entering values for amplitude and offset in the Spooky 2 software, the remote LEDs didn't seem to have any purpose other than letting the user know that a signal was being transmitted. Many users were confused. Seemingly baffling LED behavior ranging from only one LED lighting to neither of them working was reported. But to those with the knowledge, this was all normal, and to be expected. 
Back to Contents 174 The truth is that the LEDs are far more useful than they appear, and once you understand how they work, you'll be able to judge at a glance a lot more of what's going on in your generator. Three things control how the LEDs respond to the signal, frequency, waveform, and amplitude. I don't own an oscilloscope, so I've constructed the graphics in Spooky 2 by using wave cycle multipliers to give you an indication of what's going on. First, let's look at frequency, remote and frequency this is a 1 hz square wave. It completes one positive to negative cycle every second. A. Signal is positive for half a second, so the left LED lights for half a second. B. Signal immediately drops through zero to negative. C. Signal is negative for half a second, so the right LED lights for half a second. The LEDs turn on and off very slowly, and are never both lit at the same time. Now here's a 32 hz square wave. It completes 32 positive to negative cycles every second. Count the peaks, there are 32. With this frequency, the entire ABC cycle described above takes place 32 times every second. This means that for every one of those 32 cycles, the signal is positive for 1 slash 64th of a second, so the left LED is lit for 1 slash 64th of a second. The signal then goes negative for 1 slash 64th of a second, so the right LED lights for 1 slash 64th of a second. Back to contents 175 now the LEDs are both flashing quite quickly. Nevertheless, it's always the case that only one of them is lit at a time. Note that if you use a wave cycle multiplier of 12, the frequency sent to the 5M is divided by 12. Now let's move it up a notch. Here's a 256HZ square wave. Please note that a real one you'd see on an oscilloscope doesn't look exactly like this. What we're running up against here are the resolution limits of computer screens. Nevertheless, 256 cycles in a single second moves the peaks of each one so close to one another that the PC screen cannot show any degree of separation between them. Now, the original ABC positive to negative cycle happens 256 times every second. And for each of those 256 cycles, the signal is positive for 1 slash 512th of a second, so the left LED lights for 1 slash 512th of second. I, I the cycle then goes negative for 1 slash 512th of a second, so the right LED is lit for 1 slash 512th of a second. Now each LED will appear to be constantly lit at equal brightness. However, as you now know, it's not possible for each LED to be lit at the same time, because the signal can never be both positive and negative at the same time, so what you're seeing is an illusion that's caused by the limits of the human eye. That same illusion is what allows movies, which are a series of still photos transmitted in sequence at a frequency of about 24 per second, to appear to be a facsimile of real life. We come up against a different type of limit when we start to transmit very high frequencies in the megahertz range, which is millions of cycles every second, the limits of some of our present day technologies. What happens with high MHZ frequencies is that the cycle switches from positive to negative so fast that neither LED has time to switch on fully before it receives the signal to switch off again. The result is the LEDs appear to go very dim, and may even appear to be turned off completely. Back to contents 176 this doesn't mean that Spooky 2, the generator, or the remote have stopped working, just that current LED switching technology isn't fast enough to keep up with what's happening with an extremely fast signal. This is nothing to worry about. Remote and amplitude however, there's another scenario where the LEDs can appear to be very dim, or even unlit, and this one doesn't involve very high frequencies at all. Every time an LED lights up, it uses a very tiny fraction of the frequency's motive power, amplitude, otherwise known as voltage. At amplitudes above about 5 volts, you won't really see any difference in the luminance of the LEDs. However, if you set your amplitude lower than this, the voltage available to light up the LEDs drops off, and the result is that they appear to be dim. At very low amplitudes, they will look like they're not working at all. This is also nothing to worry about. In fact, 
it's a good thing because it means that all of the frequency's voltage is being used for the purpose intended, healing. Remote and waveform would it surprise you to learn that you can get a pretty good idea of which waveform is being used on a channel from watching how the remote LEDs behave at low frequencies? For all of the examples I have already shown you, we used a square wave. With a square, the power is always constant at positive and negative polarities, and the change from positive to negative is almost instantaneous. However, exactly the same positive to negative switching principles apply to all the waveforms in Spooky 2, and at low frequencies, you'll be able to see that the changes in brightness of both LEDs reflects the actual shape of the waveform. Let's go back to some of the original waveform graphics to explain what happens. Back to contents 177 here's what happens with a 1 Hz sine wave. A. Positive amplitude ramps up, so the left LED gets progressively brighter. B. Amplitude has reached its high point, so the left LED is at its brightest. C. Amplitude falls, so the LED dims and goes out, while the right LED starts to brighten. D. Negative amplitude reaches its high point, so the right LED is at its brightest. E. Amplitude once again starts to go positive, so the right LED starts to dim. Here's an inverse sawtooth waveform, also at 1 Hz. A. Positive amplitude falls at a constant rate, so the left LED slowly dims. B. Amplitude passes through zero, the left LED goes out and the right one comes on. C. Negative amplitude increases at a constant rate, so the right LED slowly brightens. D. Amplitude rises through zero to peak positive, so the right LED goes out, and the left one immediately brightens fully. Let's take a look at the 1 Hz damp sinusoidal. A. Amplitude is at peak, so the left LED is fully lit. As amplitude ramps down, the LED dims and goes out, and the right LED comes on dimly and starts to brighten. B. Amplitude falls away with 12 internal rises and falls passing from positive to negative through zero. So each LED will brighten and dim 12 times in succession, and the brightness ramps up and down gradually. With a damp square, the LEDs wouldn't ramp up and down, they'd simply switch on and off alternately. See, at this point, both LEDs are very dimly lit because of the low amplitudes. Finally, the amplitude returns to peak positive to start the cycle all over again. Back to contents 178 by now, you should be able to predict LED behavior when Spooky Remote is fed a 1 Hz H-bomb square. A. Amplitude is at zero, so neither LED is lit. B. Amplitude rises to peak positive level, then falls through zero to peak negative level. This means that the left LED will light fully, then go out as the right LED illuminates fully. C. Amplitude rises and proceeds through six smaller internal switches. So each LED switches six times in succession, but not to the same intensity of brightness as the first peak. With a H-bomb sinusoidal, the LEDs will dim and brighten gradually rather than switch. D. Step B is repeated. E. Amplitude returns to zero, so both LEDs go out. Finally, before we move on, there's one very important thing you will have realized from reading all the foregoing. The spooky remote LEDs are powered and controlled by frequency, waveform, and amplitude. If Spooky2 is not sending a program to instruct your generator to create these, the remote will naturally receive none of them. So neither one of the remote LEDs can possibly light up. Now you, too, have the knowledge. You should experiment for yourself with the various waveforms and very low frequencies at different amplitudes so you can see for yourself the different results they produce in various combinations. With a little practices and patience, you can learn to use the remote's LEDs as a useful tool rather than simply a way to answer today's burning technical question, is this thing on? Back to contents 179 understanding spectrum when I told John I wanted to do a section design to make spectrum easy. He laughed and wished me luck. Now I know why, the mathematics underlying it baffles even the best engineers, and many professional mathematicians would be hard-pressed to understand what's going on under the hood. So the best I can do is to explain how the spectrum parameters affect the output signal, and give you some examples. This will give you a good handle on it all. 
but the first thing you must understand about spectrum is what it's meant to be used for. Spectrum was designed to kill every organism foreign to the body. Its primary purpose is not to heal, not to support, not to detox. It's really meant to be an executioner, for viruses, bacteria, fungi, mold, yeast, and parasites. So whenever you use it, you should also run detox and support programs. There are three sweeps that use Spectrum in the Spooky2 database. And the Create Spectrum Sweep facility makes it easy to design your own. However, you should remember that a sweep slowly moves from one frequency to another, so you will need to know the low and high frequencies that define the range in which your chosen target lives. But sweeps are pretty straightforward. What's less well understood is the idea of applying spectrum to static single frequencies. The first technical area we must look at is power, or amplitude. Spectrum is a mathematical way to make one parent static or moving frequency produce up to 1024 child frequencies simultaneously, spread equally above and below that frequency. While this is an amazing feat, you must never forget that a generator's available amplitude is divided between all the frequencies it's currently transmitting. The 5M, 10M, and 20M generators operate at a maximum of 20 volts. So if you build a spectrum that creates 1024 frequencies at the same time, the amplitude of each would be 0.01953125 volts less than 1 50th of a volt. While this might be useful in remote mode, we can't say for sure yet because we haven't had time to research it, it's certain that it would be no good in contact mode, which needs higher far voltages to penetrate the skin. Back to contents 180 there are two answers to this problem. The first is to reduce the number of frequencies being transmitted so there's more power available to each of them. The second is to use a spooky amplifier, development of which has now entered its final stages. Since it's presently our only option, let's start with the first case by defining our terms, center frequency, this is your frequency on which the spectrum will be centered, child frequencies will range above and below. Spectrum percent this is how you set the range within which frequencies will be created, spectrum is always a percentage of your center frequency. Wave cycle multiplier x, this is how you set the number of child frequencies to be produced. Because frequencies are created both above and below the center frequency, the number of child frequencies you create will be twice the value you enter here. To make things clearer and easier to follow, let's say we want to apply spectrum to a frequency of 500 Hz, this is our center frequency. Example 1, we want to create 100 child frequencies that will range from 450 Hz to 550 Hz with the values 450, 451, 452. 453, 454, 455, etc. So 500 Hz is our center frequency and each frequency is spaced 1 Hz apart. Here's how to find the value to enter for spectrum percent to make this happen. A. We want 100 child frequencies, so our wave cycle multiplier must be half this, 50. Multiply this value by 100, 50 x 100 equal 5000 B. Multiply this result by our required frequency spacing, 1 Hz, 5000 x 1 equal 5000 C, divide this by our center frequency, 500 Hz, 5000 slash 500 equal 10 back to contents 181 so 10 is the value we must enter in the spectrum percent field and 50 in the wave cycle multiplier field to produce our result. Example 2. Let's make Spooky2 output 20 individual frequencies ranging from 990-1010 Hz in 1 Hz steps. This is a far more effective way to produce a cluster of frequencies around a set center frequency than by using any frequency wobble. Wobbled frequencies are produced one after another they're linear, and thus their dwell is momentary. Spectrum frequencies are produced in parallel, and their dwells are thus all equal to the center frequency's dwell. A. We want 20 child frequencies, so our wave cycle multiplier must be half this, 10. Multiply this value by 100, 10 x 100 equal 1000 B. Multiply this result by our required frequency spacing, 1 Hz, 1000 x 1 equal 1000 C. Divide this by our center frequency, 1000 Hz, 
1000 slash 1000 equal 1 so 1 is the value we must enter in the spectrum percent field and 10 in the wave cycle multiplier field to produce our result. Example 3, let's say that we wish to produce 20 evenly spaced frequencies centered around 1000 Hz ranging from 500 Hz to 1500 Hz to produce the sequence 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 750, 800, 850, 900, 950, 1000, 1050, 1100, 1150, 1200, 1250, 1300, 1350, 1400, 1450, and 1500. There are 21 frequencies in all, our center frequency plus 10 below it and 10 above it. A. We want 20 child frequencies, so our wave cycle multiplier must be half this, 10. Multiply this value by 100, 10 x 100 equal 1000 back to contents 182 B. Multiply this result by our required frequency spacing, 50 Hz, 1000 x 50 equal 50,000 C. Divide this by our center frequency, 1000 Hz, 50,000 slash 1000 equal 50 so 50 is the value we must enter in the spectrum percent field and 10 in the wave cycle multiplier field to produce our result. Example 4, let's introduce another factor, mortal oscillatory rate tolerance. This is the actual frequency of the pathogen. Dr. Reif found that if you used any frequency that was within plus slash minus 0.025% of the pathogen's MOR, it would still be killed. To see how this can be very useful, we'll take a look at two frequencies, 150 Hz and 1,500,000 Hz 1.5 mHz. The tolerance for 150 Hz is 0.0375 Hz 0.025% of 150 Hz, which means that any frequency from 149.9625 Hz to 150.0375 Hz will kill a pathogen whose MOR is 150 Hz. Interesting, but not too useful. However, it's very important to remember that virtually all the frequencies we have today were developed on machines that had a top frequency limit of 10,000 Hz or 100,000 Hz but Dr. Reif and Dr. Clark had found that the actual MRs of pathogens were up in the megahertz range, which these machines couldn't transmit. This means that we're still dealing with low weaker subharmonics because of the technical limitations of the past. But that day is over now, Spooky 2 can transmit up to 25 million Hz. So here's where MOR tolerance becomes useful to us. The tolerance for 1,500,000 Hz 1.5 mHz is 375 Hz, which means that any frequency from 1,499,625 Hz to 1,500,375 Hz will kill a pathogen whose MOR is 1.5 mHz, but it will also kill everything else whose MORs lie within that range. Back to contents 183 and that's not the only benefit. MOR tolerance up in the MHZ range means we can take far bigger steps through frequencies and still be guaranteed we're going to kill bad guys. Here's one example of this using 1.5 MHZ as our center frequency. A. Let's say we want 100 child frequencies, so our wave cycle multiplier must be half this, 50. Multiply this value by 100. 50x100 equal 5000b, multiply this result by our required frequency spacing, we're allowed up to 375Hz, but let's play safe and choose 350Hz, 5000x350 equal 1,750,000c, divide this by our center frequency, 1,500,000Hz, 1,750,000 slash 1,500,000 equal 1 1.17 1 so 1.17 is the value you must enter in the spectrum percent field and 50 in the wave cycle multiplier field to produce your result by transmitting 1.5 mhz with these spectrum percent and wave cycle multiplier settings you will hit every pathogen whose MOR lies between 1,482,150 Hz and 1,517,850 Hz. That's a lot of territory that can be covered by just one frequency. So by carefully designing custom spectrum frequency sets with the right center frequencies, you can start to take giant strides through the entire MHZ range, which is where all the bad guys really hang out. Suddenly, 
Those very big numbers are not quite as daunting as you may have thought. Back to contents 184 to formulas 1. The formula to calculate the required spectrum percent value is, spectrum equal half the number of child frequencies required x100, x frequency spacing desired slash center frequency 2. The formula to calculate the frequency spacing that will be produced by any given spectrum percent value is, frequency spacing equal center frequency x spectrum slash wave cycle multiplier x100 note that calculations enclosed in parentheses should always be resolved first before carrying out any other mass operations so in the example above you'd first multiply center frequency by spectrum percent note down the result then multiply the wave cycle multiplier by 100 only then would you divide your first result by your second one one final word of advice about spectrum, always sit down with pencil, paper, and calculator first and plan exactly what you want to achieve. Once you get the hang of it, there's no limit to what can be done. But for the moment, if you wish to try doing contact spectrum sessions, don't forget to divide the generator's amplitude by the number of child frequencies plus the center frequency to see how much power each frequency is going to be allocated. Back to contents 185 multi-leaded Spooky 2 I've owned three very expensive top-line commercial rife machines that together cost me the price of a small car. I returned the most expensive one for a partial refund because it kept breaking down. A second one never worked from the moment I took it out of the box. The third works fine, and it's built like a tank, so it fulfills the first necessity for any machine that's going to be literally vitally important, reliability. Yet I choose to use the cheap and cheerful Spooky 2. I use it because I believe it's the most powerful, effective, and versatile rife machine that money can buy. Very little money. But Spooky 2 isn't just a rife machine. Right now, it can also function as a powerful Clark Zapper, with Spectrum Zapping as an added bonus. Be used very effectively as a Foot Tubs Rife System new section coming soon. I eradicate insect pests and molds in the home. And more is planned for the future. A lot more. Clark Zapper before Spooky 2, only the well upholstered could afford to play with Rife Therapy. If you weren't loaded, your only alternative was the Zapper. Invented by the wonderful and humane Dr. Hulda Clark, the schematics and instructions to build this at home using widely available and expensive electronic components were given away freely. So Spooky 2 stands in exalted company. Since those days, a whole new industry has sprung up around zappers. There are some very good ones, and there are some not so good ones. And virtually all of them cost more than a Spooky 2 rig. Back to contents 186 at its most basic, the original Clark zapper used one frequency, 30,000 Hz and it killed everything you pointed it at. So how can one single frequency possibly do this? The answer lies in the settings Dr. Clark chose. Because her device had to be battery powered, she was limited to an amplitude of 9 volts. She chose a square wave because she wanted as many odd harmonics both higher and lower as possible. Her real genius lay in specifying a 100% positive offset because pushing a square wave like this makes it produces a huge spread of harmonic frequencies, from O Hz up into the MHZ range, all of them spaced 60,000 Hz apart. Later, another zapper frequency was developed, 2,500 Hz. When used with the same settings, this produces a spread of harmonics that are 5,000 Hz apart. Many zapper users believe that this lower frequency is more effective for problems in hollow organs and body cavities. Both versions are now in the Spooky 2 database. We've also added a dual version that uses the two outs to transmit both frequencies at the same time. But why stop there? A second version of this for remote use incorporates spectrum, too, making life frequency hell for pathogens and parasites. Zapping is still most effectively done in contact mode, although Dr. Punkai Mishra has kindly provided very useful remote versions since the last frequency transmitted in contact mode zapper sets is always O Hz for 21 minutes, we've decided to remove it, so these sets now take 63 minutes. But you should use the 21 minutes save to relax and give your body a chance to get organized to deal with clean up. 
then you can help out by running a detox program. If you haven't tried zapping, you should because it's very effective. And it's still the best way to kill a tapeworm safely. Back to contents 187 pests and molds my own informal environmental experiments with Spooky 2 and the Spectrum sweeps have given me some pretty astonishing results so far. It all started at the end of summer 2013 with a black mold on my natural wood and tiled floors. My home is the driest place I have ever lived in, so finding this was a shock. The mold was sticky and couldn't be either swept or vacuumed, both bad ideas anyway. So the only way to deal with it was to get down on hands and knees to physically dislodge it, then very carefully clear one tiny area at a time. Because I'm spinally disabled, this was out of the question for me, so I had to find another solution. I took a sample of the mold and put it in tape, then inserted it into my homemade DNA holder attached to an older UDB1108S generator I was using at that time. I then ran the two-part CAFL fungus and mold set in an endless loop. It took a month to six weeks, but eventually the black mold turned gray, which I took to mean that it was dead. A couple of weeks later, a correspondent whose home was infested with springtails wrote to me at my delusional insects website. She didn't have spooky, but she did have a commercial rife machine. So I told her how to set it up for a remote, use a dead insect as a remote transmission DNA sample then transmit a frequency set that had been reported by another correspondent to drive columbola out of the body. It worked, her home was cleared of columbola. Shortly after the release of the spooky spectrum sweep, I noticed one morning that I had large black ants in an unused bedroom, about 50-60 of them, all coming up from under the floor. So I decided that I'd try the same trick. I killed one, put it in a paper tape wrap, then ran the spooky spectrum sweep non-stop. The numbers dropped dramatically almost immediately, and within a week they were all gone. I also noticed that my fresh organic produce was developing molds very quickly, so I did the same with two different types, one blue, one white. No more molds grow on my fruit and veggies now. Back to contents 188 another escapade was with hordes of red ants in my kitchen. A dual remote 5M ran the converge sweep on two corpses, and they were all gone in three days. After that, I had yet another ant infestation by a different species. Again, I dealt with it using Spooky 2, and they all disappeared from my kitchen, within five minutes this time. Since then, nothing. How does it work? Well, just like us, insects have bacterial and fungal symbionts in their gut to help them digest food. The sweep kills these very quickly, and suddenly the pests are starving to death in the midst of plenty. There have also been reports of Spooky 2 being used successfully to eradicate fleas. The Spooky Spectrum sweep wasn't used in this case, but the CAFL set for fleas. I found this interesting because it means that insects for which a frequency set exists can be killed in the environment. Since there are frequencies for bird mites in the database, this is good news for those infested both personally and environmentally with these dreadful pests, it means that adults in the home will die at the same time as emergent young in the skin. And because there are also frequencies for dust mites dermatophagoids, it's also good news for asthma and allergy sufferers because it's a non-toxic way to quickly eradicate dust mites in the home, simply by putting a few samples of sweepings in the remote. Unfortunately, Spooky 2 is unlikely to be able to solve gardening problems. Outdoor infestations are far more likely to be composed of insects from many different gene pools, so only those genetically related to the transmission insect will be affected. If you have insect or mold infestation problems, please give this a try and let me know how you get on. Back to Contents 189 How the Universe Works If you want to get the most out of Spooky 2, it's essential that you understand one very basic thing, energy. And in order to do that, you have to be prepared to completely discard your present beliefs about reality and the nature of the universe. Because things are not what they seem to be. Right now, you probably believe that the world you live in is solid. And it certainly seems that way, if you bump into a coffee table, you'll hurt your shin and hop around the room in pain. The coffee table is matter, and so are you. But what is matter? Matter is made up of molecules. And molecules are made up of elemental atoms. 
the nature of those elemental atoms, and the way they're joined together, determines the type of matter you're dealing with. Here's an illustration of the difference between atoms and molecules. The top row of spheres are single atoms of oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Single atoms are called elements. Below them are simple molecules that are made up from those atoms. O2 is the type of oxygen we need to breathe, and it's made from two single oxygen atoms. Next is carbon dioxide, which we exhale. That's made from two atoms of oxygen that have bonded with one atom of carbon. The final molecule is water, made from two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Back to contents 190 these are all very simple molecules. Two are gases, and the third is a liquid. Now let's just look at a more complex molecule. This is a molecule of heroin. It's made from atoms of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. The solid links between the atoms in the illustration don't actually exist, they're simply used in models of molecules to show how each atom is bound to its neighbors. This method of modeling is called stick and ball. As molecules go, heroin is fairly straightforward. But there are a great many others that are far more complex than this. When you look at this molecule, you can see that it actually consists of one other thing besides its constituent atoms. Empty space. In fact, it's more empty space than it is atoms. Yet heroin isn't a gas, and it isn't a liquid, it's a solid. A solid that's mostly made up of empty space. Okay, but it's still got a whole bunch of atoms in there, and they must be what give heroin its apparent solidity. So let's examine a single atom and see what it's made from. We'll pick carbon, since diamonds are made from this, and they're one of the hardest and most solid things on Earth. Back to contents 191 the nucleus in the center is composed of neutrons and protons that are tightly packed together. The rest of our carbon atom is six electrons, all orbiting the nucleus very rapidly. Every type of elemental atom has a different number of protons, neutrons, and orbiting electrons. You'll notice that protons all have a positive electrical charge, and the electrons all have a negative charge. Neutrons, as their name suggests, carry no electrical charge, and are neutral. But, just like a molecule, an atom is once again mostly empty space. And when you start to probe even deeper into the structure of neutrons, protons, and the electrons, you find that they're composed of even smaller subatomic particles. Interesting, but not terribly exciting so far. Now let me show you something that will shock you, it certainly shocked me when I first found it out. Let's gather together every single molecule that exists in the observable universe. We'll split all those molecules into their constituent atoms, removing all the empty space. Now we'll make a necklace of all those single atoms end to end. How long do you think that necklace would be? It would be the same length as the Earth's orbit around the Sun, 600 million miles. Back to contents 192 if you think that's amazing, let's go further now and remove the empty space in all those atoms, so we're only left with real solid material. And then we'll roll all these solid leftovers up into a ball. How big do you think that ball would be? Get ready for this, all the atoms in the observable universe, with all their empty space removed and compressed into a single ball, would be the size of one single pea. Solid matter is an illusion. Matter is energy. And energy is movement from one state to another and back again. This movement of energy is called vibration, or oscillation. And it's the mind-boggling speed at which this oscillation occurs that gives energy its appearance of solidity. Think of a propeller on an airplane. When it's stopped, it's two or three distinct single blades. When it's moving, it looks like a semi-solid disk. If you could build an engine that was capable of turning the propeller faster than the speed of light, the semi-solid disk of the propeller would become solid, and you could reach out and touch it without harm. At this speed, linear time breaks down, and the individual blades are now in all their possible positions at the exact same instant. In other words, what were originally positions in time have now become positions in space. So now we've identified three interrelated aspects of energy that relate to its manifestation as matter, and they're not just the building blocks of the universe we're all part of, 
They are also the foundation stones of Rife Therapy. They are speed, space, and time, and we'll look at them in the next section. And we'll see how the combinations of these three variables explain the infinite multiplicity we experience all around us. Back to contents 193 speed, space and time speed is a function of space and time. When you take a leisurely stroll, you're moving through 5 miles of space in 1 hour of time, 5 mph. When light takes a stroll, it moves through almost 671 million miles of space in 1 hour of time, 670,616,629 mph. When something vibrates, or oscillates, it's energy moving through space and time. The difference is that the distance through space is almost infinitesimally small, and the time taken for the journey varies with whatever's doing the vibrating. Another difference is that vibration is always a journey from A to Z and back again, it's never in one single direction. To simplify things, let's call this journey from A to Z and back again a state change. Where energy is concerned, the state change is from positive to negative and back again, and as energy undergoes it, its amplitude, or power, changes. The speed at which this state change happens isn't measured in miles per hour, instead, we measure it by finding out how often it happens in a given time. This is called frequency. Everything in the universe, from an elemental atom to a star, has its own unique frequency. And the reason for this is the different number of protons, neutrons, and the electrons that make up each elemental atom. But there's more. When you take elemental atoms and make a molecule from them, that molecule now assumes its own unique frequency. This happens every time you move one level up the scale of complexity. So the frequency of an elemental atom of oxygen is different from the frequency of the oxygen you can breathe two atoms making up a molecule, and both are also different from the frequency of water two elemental atoms of hydrogen bonded with one elemental atom of oxygen. So frequency is a measurement of how fast energy moves through one single state change in a given time. This used to be called cycles per second CPS, but it's now called Hertz Hertz. But there's another very important attribute of energy we haven't looked at yet. Amplitude is a measure of how strong or powerful the energy is, and it changes throughout every state change. The change can be orderly or chaotic. Chaotic energy change is called noise. Here, we need only deal with orderly change, and we'll do so in the next section. Back to contents 194 how RIFE works depending on what it's being used for, RIFE therapy works in a number of different ways. Perhaps the most common use for frequencies is to kill pathogens, and the best description of how that process works that I've ever heard comes from John, imagine a cowboy with a whip. He brings the whip back, then forward. When the sinusoidal energy wave traveling down the leather reaches the end, it must change direction very quickly. When it does, there is a loud crack as the speed of the tip exceeds the speed of sound. It is only when the direction changes that the energy is expended. This is a close analogy to why only the peaks and troughs of a waveform create the output frequencies. These are the points in the wave where the voltage and fields change direction. Technically, it can be explained as conservation of momentum. Momentum is a vector that has direction. Momentum will not turn corners so some of it is expelled as energy. This principle explains how whiplash injuries sustained in car crashes can be so physically devastating. So now, here's the unsuspecting pathogen, minding its own business, busy making your life miserable, and buzzing along at its own natural frequency. Out of the blue, it now finds itself vibrating with much greater force because you've just transmitted its own natural frequency into your body by cracking the spooky two whip repeatedly. Adding two identical frequencies to each other greatly increases the energy in the target system, just as two ocean waves become bigger and more powerful when they can join as one. But your overlaying waveform now controls how those conjoined energies behave. If you've chosen a wave with abrupt direction changes in energy, the rapid and repeated whip cracks will cause electrical state changes that can damage, disable, or devitalize the pathogen. Back to contents 195 some frequency sets are specifically designed to disable specific life systems, cell wall components, or functions, so that a pathogen can no longer reproduce, take in sustenance, or even move. 
so it will quickly die. For detox, the repeated application of energies serves to bump pollutants out of cells and tissues to where they can enter the blood or lymph and be removed by the liver and kidneys. So it works on pretty much the same principles as pathogen killing, except that its result is the mechanical movement of materials foreign to the body. For healing, the process is completely different and works on the principle of frequency entrainment. Take two grandfather clocks and stand them against the same wall. Now set the pendulums swinging out of sync with each other. Within a few days, both pendulums will have come back into perfect sync with each other, and will remain that way until they're disturbed again. That's entrainment. Another example is a little more mysterious and is seen only in girls boarding schools and university dorms. At the start of the term, the girls' natural cycles are all out of sync with each other. Within a few months, they will all have synchronized to within a couple of days of each other. That's also entrainment. So if you take the frequencies of a healthy liver, or a robust immune system, and you transmit them into a body where these are not so wonderful, within a few days frequency entrainment will have taken place, and things will start looking much better. Some experienced RIFE researchers also maintain that since life itself is frequency, the simple act of transmitting beneficial frequencies into the body, any beneficial frequencies, will act to wake up the immune system, remind it of its function, and set it to work again properly. Back to Contents 196 The Golden Rule of Riffing, any living thing that lives in or on you, that consumes your energy or resources, and that confers no benefit upon you in exchange, is a parasite. This includes insects, fungi, bacteria, and viruses. It may surprise you to learn that, with the possible exception of viruses, all parasites themselves have parasites. Viruses and sporochets can parasitize bacteria. Fungi can parasitize larger fungi. They can also host viruses, bacteria, and insects. And insects can harbor many different parasites internally and on the surface of their bodies. Entirely understandably, insect infestation sufferers wish to be rid of their pests the moment they get their hands on a rife system. I did this myself, and it brought me a world of nightmare and suffering. When you kill hundreds of thousands of large parasites like mites large by comparison with bacteria, you're leaving all their internal and external parasites alive. When the insect bodies decompose, all those living fungi, bacteria, and viruses are released into your bloodstream. And now you're in big trouble. Since you've just killed their hosts of choice, you will have to take their place. You've just given your already overburdened immune system a few million extra headaches to deal with. So the rule when riffing is this, work from smallest to largest. This can also be stated as, work from the inside to the outside from the things contained to the container itself. If you proceed like this, you won't end up in the awful trouble that I did, because when you finally get to kill your biggest parasites, you will already have killed everything they might have unleashed. Back to Contents 197 Appendix A, Terrain When you're dealing with a serious condition, it's a very good idea to start by preparing your body for the war you're about to wage. This treatment plan was devised by Johann Stegmann as part of the original Morgellons protocol. However, its use is also recommended for anyone preparing to tackle cancers, Lyme, or any other non-trivial illness. By completing this first, you will remove metals, toxins, pollutants, and some common parasites, all of which can impede your progress unless they're dealt with first. You will also ensure that your excretory system is prepared for the onslaught to come and that your blood and lymph are cleansed and functional. All timings here are given for a single XM generator using a square wave with a dwell multiplier of 0.33. Run programs consecutively with 4-24 hour breaks in between if required. Best used with a spooky remote VLL Bio North. Settings, Use. TW, Healing or DH, Killing Healing click either one to go there. Settings changes are indicated by the blue text settings within a program. Back to contents step 1, metals and chemicals program when remove metals mercury toxicity VCAFL heavy metal toxicity, extra run this program non-stop for 40 hours. Next, program 2 removes chemical materials detox pesticide, extra detox fluoride, 
extra run this program non-stop for 24 hours. Next, step 2, system detox program when remove systemic toxins detox toxic proteins, extra detox toxins elimination one extra run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next, program 2 remove systemic toxins detox toxins elimination 2 and 1 half, extra detox toxins elimination 2 and 2 halves, extra run this program non-stop for 24 hours. Next, program 3 remove intestinal toxins detox 1 toxins in the intestines, CAFL run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next, 198 program 4 remove systemic toxins detox 4 toxins throughout the body, CAFL run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next, step 3, organ system support, program 1 remove parasites, Restore normal liver function liver IPROV liver 2 PRO5 liver flukes, CAFL liver function balance, extra run this program non-stop for 16 hours. Next, program 2 restore normal kidney function kidney function balance 1 slash 2 extra kidney function balance 2 slash 2, extra run this program non-stop for 16 hours. Next, program 3 restore normal kidney function kidney insufficiency, CAFL run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next, program 4 remove blood toxins and pathogens lymphangitis, CAFL streptococcus pyogenes, CAFL settings, spectrum percent 0.02. Run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next, back to contents program 5 remove kidney liver toxins detox 3 toxins in the kidneys and liver, PROV settings, spectrum percent 0. Run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next, program 6 remove intestinal parasites detox 2 parasites in the intestines, CAFL settings, spectrum percent 0.02. Run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next, program 7 remove lymph toxins, restore normal function lymphs and detox 1 slash 2, PROV lymphs and detox 2 slash 2, PROV settings. Spectrum percent zero. Run this program non-stop for 16 hours. Next, program eight restore normal lymph function lymph support, CAFL run this program non-stop for eight hours. This completes the terrain preparation. Please note that all program timings are the minimums recommended, so don't worry if you overrun any of them. If you suffer with liver or kidney problems, you should consider doubling the time allotted for these programs. 199 Appendix B, Spectrum Story If you're aware of the history of riffing, you'll have heard of the legendary Rife Hoyland Sweep. Normally performed using a 3.3 mhz or 3.1 mhz radio carrier wave and a plasma tube, this 4-hour sweep is reputed to kill all pathogens. By inputting a large audio frequency range into the carrier, a great many sidebands are created that ostensibly hit the MORs of all pathogenic organisms. You can see a graphical representation of this process here, scroll down to the blue image near the bottom of the page. You'll see that the most powerful frequency is the 3.3 mhz carrier, which has no therapeutic value and no function other than to act as transport for the audio frequencies. You'll also see that the subharmonics to the left, and the higher harmonics to the right of the carrier all diminish in power as they get further away from the carrier frequency. It's important to be aware that these sidebands are depicted logarithmically rather than linearly. The effect of this is to make them look more powerful to the uneducated eye than they actually are. Since the design and mechanics of this sweep are based on examinations of some of Dr. Wright's original machines, and on incomplete and sometimes cryptic documentation and reminiscences reputedly made by him and some of his collaborators, we decided to look at the mathematics and science rather than the history and conjecture. This is not the place to go into details, but we will say that what we found made it clear that the Rife Hoyland sweep was flawed, and whole areas capable of vastly improving its efficacy had never, to our knowledge, been explored. So we decided to start again, with a blank sheet of paper. And one single frequency. Because we knew that if we could do what we needed to do with just one frequency, we could extend the principles to sweeps, and we did. The result is nothing short of a rife revolution. We call it spectrum. 
It's an apt name because it's a bit like using mathematical prisms to split each frequency into up to 1024 subharmonics and higher harmonics. It needs no useless energy devouring carrier wave. And, best of all, the sidebands it creates back to contents 200 are all equal power, no matter how distant from the center frequency, another world first. The implications of using spectrum on a single static frequency are astonishing enough, but when you apply it to a frequency sweep, it really comes into its own, and the sky is truly the limit. So we sat down and designed the sweep that we believe the Rife Hoyland sweep could, and should, have been. Because our sweep doesn't need radio carrier wave technology, it can be used in contact, remote, or plasma mode. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. First, some explanations, then we'll show you how to use spectrum effectively. This is the first composite image of the Spooky 2 settings, and the oscilloscope readings that proved we were on the right track. At this point, we were experimenting with a square wave. The center frequency used here was 10,000 Hz-10 kHz. We specified for back to contents 201 subwaves, or wavelets, and a spectrum value of 100%. Across the bottom of the image, you can see the oscilloscope readings of the different frequency clusters this produced in the 0-20 kHz range. Now, Here's what happens when you increase the number of subwaves from 4 to 100. Spike spectrum OOLILM kilohertz are red R4 H R ski R R R R R R P P W F F per M length ratio percent R C 0 to 100 A R I 100 R R 1 0 to R R R R R R F R F R I R R R R M M R R 16 to follow out L R spike R inverse plus sync your feedback scan and pool. R B P M H R V G A L V AV BPM AV HRV AV GALV 40% MUI ML20 Q were still using a center frequency of 10,000 Hz and a plain square wave, but now take a look at the number of frequencies produced. At this point, we knew we were getting somewhere. But how far could we push it? The answer surprised us. Back to contents 202 we used 256 subwaves for this torture test. Normally, this would be quite a bit lower to allow for extended subwaves taking up twice the sample points of the center frequency. And there must also be sufficient resolution to accommodate the reduced waveform if a lower spectrum value is used, then a higher subwave count is possible. But this composite image clearly shows that Spooky2 and Spectrum can now easily do exactly what a plasma machine does. Except that Spectrum sidebands are more uniform across the entire range, and stronger. But we still weren't happy. Notice the difference in height of most of the frequencies? We went back and took another look at our mathematical prisms, and discovered a way to tweak them to work with subhertz accuracy on sine waves instead of square waves. We'd successfully produced the range of sidebands we needed, without any fall off in amplitude with distance from the center frequency. But now we needed to see what our altered prisms could do with sine waves, while comparing like with like. Back to contents 203 so we input parameters for the fabled Rife Hoyland sweep. And this is what Spooky2 produced, the center frequency is the Rife Hoyland carrier, 3.3 mHz. We wanted frequency spacing of 25 kHz, so we divided 3.3 mHz by 25 kHz to give us the, the number of subwaves needed. 132. And we applied a spectrum value of 100%. Now our frequency spectrum is much more uniform in power, from 0-6.6 mHz, with no typical plasma fall off in amplitude. But remember, we control the width of the frequency spectrum and the number of bands. So we altered one setting. 20.00.01.02.03.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Back to Contents 204 Everything you've seen so far is using single static frequencies. But what happens when you input a sweep? The answer is, just about everything. A sweep from 3.3 MHz to 3.325 MHz will hit ALL frequencies. If we produce frequencies ranging from 1 MHz to 2 MHz, we'll hit the octal subharmonics of ALL viruses. The generally accepted tolerance for frequencies to be effective is plus 0.025%. To fall inside this limit, our smallest distance between each frequency here needs to be 825 Hz. This is achieved by using a center frequency of 1.5 MHz, 128 subwaves, and a spectrum value of 33%. See how almost all the generator's energy is focused on the selected band, making the frequencies more powerful? The awesome power of spectrum cannot be understated. Spooky2 now has the ability of transmit up to 1024 frequencies simultaneously, each as high as 5 MHz. And you can tailor the frequency range as well as the number of harmonics you wish to output. This is true multiple simultaneous output, not high-speed digital signal or packet switching. Using the settings above, a very slow sweep from 1.5 MHz to 1.5078125 MHz will hit the MORs of all known pathogens. Which brings us nicely to a sweep that will hit the MORs of all pathogens, known and unknown. Back to contents 205 first, here's our initial version of it using a square wave, once again, the frequencies are not uniform in power. We should explain at this point that this is because the odd harmonics in square waves interfere with signal strength smoothing. Now let's see the sine wave version, all the amplitudes here are uniform, and there are far less power wasting harmonics above our end of range target of 3.2 MHz. But despite this, we still weren't happy with it. Because there are 64 frequencies being swept, and the output voltage of the new Spooky 2 XM generators is 20 volts. This means that each frequency is allocated an average of just 0.3 volts. So we moved it up to the next level and built a new sweep algorithm that achieves exactly the same results using 16 frequencies instead of 64. And here's what we call the spooky remote sweep back to contents 206 R2.0 1.0 J0 Now the average frequency voltage has shot up to 1.25 volts, delivering four times more spectrum power. But that's only half the story because we also engineered our new algorithm to produce matching octal harmonics at exactly the same time, for example, when the frequency is 1604000 Hz, its octal harmonic of 3208000 Hz is also being transmitted. This technique is known to be much more effective than fundamental frequencies alone. Best of all though, it also means that the total voltage applied to every MOR is actually 2.5 volts half of it powering the harmonic. This sweep uses the Cancer BX virus frequency as its center, and the original spooky remote sweep was made up of six one-hour sweeps designed to run in remote mode for a total runtime of 24 hours. However, the six-hour single runtime made it impractical for contact use that's why we called it the spooky remote sweep. Incredibly, within a few days of its release, We'd already found a way to make this 24-hour sweep run in a little over an hour by increasing the number of wave cycle multiples from 16 to 96, without any lessening of pathogen exposure times. We call this version the Spectrum Sweep, and we updated Spooky2S database specially to make it available. But, as usual, development continued to try to make our sweep the ultimate pathogen killer. It culminated in another special database release that featured the very special Spooky Spectrum Sweep. Back to Contents 207 transmitting through an additional Spooky Remote on out 2 or 1 remote connected to a Spooky Boost cable, this adds a second smaller sweep that, when added to the main sweep, saturates the entire frequency range occupied by viruses and larger pathogens. This second sweep is added above in red. Even when run without the second spooky remote, this is still the most efficient pathogen-killing sweep we know of. 
The finishing touch was to re-engineer our spectrum technology so it could create simultaneous ascending and descending sweeps from the same pair of frequencies. The new Spooky Converge sweep also uses an additional Spooky remote connected to OUT2, or a single remote with a Spooky Boost cable. Bottom line, these spectrum sweeps overwhelm all pathogens with frequencies, amplitudes, and application durations that meet or exceed all the original requirements laid down by Dr. Royal Raymond Rife. Although Spooky 2 is packed to bursting with forward-facing technology and new thinking, the Spooky team is most proud of our newest addition, Spectrum. Without it, the extraordinary Spooky sweeps just wouldn't be possible. For us, Spectrum is the main event, the real power, the star of the Spooky 2 show and our coder extraordinaire John White considers it to be the pinnacle of his career so far. We agree. Now we better explain how to use it. Back to contents 208 The Basics Frequencies on either side of a set center frequency, or pair of frequencies expressed as a sweep, can be created. The spread of frequencies that will be produced is called the spectrum. The size of the spectrum is set by entering a value in the percent spectrum field. This determines how far above and below the center frequency will be covered by the spectrum, it's a percentage of the center frequency. The spacing, or distance, between the spectrum frequency bands is governed by the number of subwaves or the wave cycle multiplier, to give it its technical name. The formula, where, F equals center frequency S equals spectrum percent W equal wave cycle multiplier then spacing equal Fahrenheit multiplied by second, Slash 100 W examples, center frick hertz wave cycle multiplier spectrum percent frick band hertz frick spa 1000 to 2800 dash 1200 100 1010 2800 dash 1200 21000 10 5500 dash 1500 51000 100 100 0 dash 2000 10 10000 10 28000 dash 12200 back to contents 209. Appendix C. Making waves spooky to generates 12 different waveforms. Here's what they slash slash vi slash slash sign, useful for healing with the gentle rise and fall in energy. Triangle, smooth constant power rise and drop off. Mainly experimental. Jewelry fly square, normally used to kill pathogens, with almost instant rises to full power. OAAAAR per volt PYVVVVW damp sinusoidal used by Dr. Reif in the 1930s. Very powerful. H-Bond Square, world first, square version. Back to contents Lily, compressed sign with built-in pulsing. R, and what they can do. First, the plane on altered waves, sawtooth, a smooth rise in power, then an abrupt drop, useful for healing. Inverted sawtooth, powerful killer, with an almost instant power rise. 1 fin i m n n n n o l m j u l t u u damp square world first extrapolation of dr rife's damp sinusoidal world first a very powerful new sign spooky 2 offers two additional waveforms from the custom waves menu bx by and square harmonic these are designed to be used without any changes and no frequency addition or modulation should be performed on them so none will be shown on the following pages 210 now, here are the new waveforms generated by adding a second frequency that's three times the first, sign, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Triangle, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. H bomb SQ, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Square, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Sawtooth. Add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. I and V saw, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Damp sin, add F1 to F2 damped SQ, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. F2 equal 3x F1. H bomb sin, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Lily, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Back to contents 211 these are the waveforms that result from adding a frequency that's 11 times the first the Holland 11th harmonic effect sign, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Square, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Sawtooth, 
add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. I and V saw, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Triangle, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Damped sin, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Damped SQ, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb sin, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb SQ, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Lily, add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Back to contents 212 double side band DSB amplitude modulation, this adds upper and lower harmonics. Frequency 2 is 3 times the first, sign, mod F2 using F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Triangle, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. H bomb SQ, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Square, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Sawtooth, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. I and V saw, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Damp sin, mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Damped SQ, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. H bomb sin, mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Lily, mod F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Back to contents 213 DSB amplitude modulation again, this time frequency 2 is frequency 1's 11th harmonic the Holland effect viaduct DSB AM sign, mod F2 using F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Square, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Sawtooth, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. I and V saw, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Triangle, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Damp sin, mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Damped SQ, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb sin, mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb SQ, mod F2 with F1 AM DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Lily, mod F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Back to contents 214 single side band SSB AM adds powerful upper harmonics, frequency 1 is multiplied by frequency 2's third harmonic, sign, mod F2 using F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Triangle. Mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. H bomb SQ, Mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Square, Mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Sawtooth, Mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. I and V saw, Mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Damp sin, mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Damped SQ, mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. H bomb sin, mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Lily, mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Back to contents 215 finally, SSB AM again with frequency 2 multiplied by frequency 1's 11th harmonic the Holland effect viaduct SSB AM sign, mod F2 using F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Triangle, mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb SQ, mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Square, Mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Sawtooth, Mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, 
F2 equal 11 X F1. I and V saw, mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Damp sin, mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Damped SQ, mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb sin, mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Lily, mod F2 with F1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Back to contents 216 Appendix D, serial numbers when the Spooky 2-5M generator was first launched back in January 2014, the autosync function triggered by the selection of inverse plus sync or spike plus sync wasn't incorporated in the firmware because these features hadn't yet been developed by John White. This was rectified about a fortnight later. However, this means that the first batch of generators built must have their outputs manually synchronized. We have now identified the range of serial numbers involved, PN2414001, PN2414081, these XMs have no autosync function. PN2414082, PN2414365, if the revision node is 2.85, autosync is built in. If not, the generator must be manually sensed. Back to contents 217 my thanks go to. Although my name appears on the front of this guide, the knowledge it contains comes from many sources, without whom it could never have been written. Inevitably, it will contain errors, which are mine alone, and omissions, which you can help correct by letting me know what I've missed so I can include it next time. Your comments are also welcome. You will have noticed that there is very little in this guide about using Spooky Pulse. And thereby hangs a tale. Essentially, I haven't had the time to even plug mine in, never mind try using it. And because I can't write with any authority about something I haven't experienced personally, I would feel like a fraud if I attempted it here, where it's so important to so many people. Luckily, John White has now agreed to write a brand new manual for Spooky Pulse as soon as our present hardware development phase is done. As usual, I will be translating it into English. It will be available soon. In the meantime, we've prepared a quick start guide to scanning which is available on our downloads webpage. We apologize for the long wait. So thank you to, John White for vision and passion Echo Lee for decency and goodness Johan and Tanya Stegman for seeds and fruits the team, Keith Body for wisdom and example Gwen Burley for integrity and Will Jodron Dargan for insight and empathy John M. Kane for devotion and courage Manuel Malo for enthusiasm and skill Y. Told Pavlovsky for knowledge and willingness Linda Ray for foresight and zeal Brian Yamamoto for kindness and dedication. Sime G7 for being the YouTube Spooky 2 Lone Ranger Peter Karlick for pointing us at foot tubs, yes, still coming soon Spooky 2 forum members for commitment and support you, dear Spooky 2 user for your trust and your spirit back to contents 218 precautions for users HD if you suffered from impaired liver or kidney functions, please exercise caution when using Spooky 2. 4H frequency generation systems should never be used while pregnant. HI please do not operate the Spooky 2 frequency generation system while driving or using dangerous machinery. HD please keep your Spooky 2 frequency generation system out of the reach of children. 4H if you feel nauseous, faint, dizzy, or have flu-like symptoms or headaches after exposures to Spooky 2S frequencies, Please drink lots of pure water and shorten your future Spooky 2 session times appropriately. 4H Because no electricity is passed into the body when using the Spooky 2 frequency generation system to broadcast frequencies via non-local space remote mode, this system should have no ill effect on the electrical or mechanical components of cardiac pacemakers or internal defibrillators. But, as always when using frequencies, please proceed with care and caution. HD If you do suffer with heart problems, or wear a pacemaker or other electrical implant, you should never attach electrodes to the Spooky 2 system. Please use Spooky 2's remote mode only. HD In general, it's best to experiment with Spooky 2 before about 5 p.m. because the excitation effects of frequencies on human cells can affect sleep. However, depending on the nature of your experimentation, 
Spooky 2 can be run overnight if desired. HD Finally, when experimenting with Spooky 2 or any other frequency generation system, proper hydration will produce better results. As a general rule, it's best to drink 4-8 pints of pure water daily, half of it before noon. On behalf of all the people who assisted in the development of Spooky 2, we wish you all a long and healthy life. John White and David Burke, April 2014 Back to Contents 219 Legal Notice and Disclaimer The Spooky 2 software and frequency generation system is not approved by the FDA as a medical device. It is intended for use as an experimental electronic device only. It is not intended for the diagnosis, prevention, cure, treatment, or mitigation of any disease or illness in human beings. Neither is it designed or intended to affect the function or structure of any human body system. I, John White, and I, David Burke, make no medical claims whatsoever for the Spooky 2 Frequency Generation System. If you have a problem with your health, please consult a licensed healthcare professional. In the US, you can legally use frequency systems like Spooky 2 for testing, energy balancing, life extension, and relaxation. You can experiment using frequencies on bacterial cultures, laboratory animals, and yourself. For what it's worth, you still have a legal right to self-medicate under the Ninth Amendment of the United States Constitution. In Germany and South Africa, as well as some other nations, frequency devices are legally licensed as medical instruments. Please note that neither I, John White, nor any of my associates involved in the design and development of this system, are responsible whatsoever for the use, abuse, or misuse, intentionally or unintentionally, of the Spooky 2 frequency generation system or any of its component parts due to any circumstances beyond our reasonable control. In any case, I, John White, or any of my associates, shall have no other liability. By using the Spooky 2 frequency generation system, you, the user, understand and accept that you have no expectation of curing any ailment. You also understand that possible negative physical and or mental effects, unknown to John White or his associates, might result from the use of the Spooky 2 frequency generation system. Moreover, you intend to undertake only responsible experimentation, and you voluntarily accept all responsibility for the use and application of all frequencies generated by the Spooky 2 system. Furthermore, you agree that you will not hold John White or Associates responsible for any consequences, whether harmful or otherwise, that may occur as a result of using the Spooky 2 frequency generation system. Back to Contents 220 Spooky 2 Software License Although the source code is copyright John White, this software is free, and has been written for the greater benefit and knowledge of all mankind. You are actively encouraged to pass it on freely to everyone you know, as long as it's accompanied by this document. Back to Contents 221.